Hey everybody! Welcome to the first episode of Eberron Woo! City of Towers. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, I'm introing today just because it's like the first game or whatever, but you know, I'm gonna very quickly throw it over to Jack in just a second, who, you know, he, he said he has a acceptance speech ready mm -hmm, and prepared. Mm -hmm, so, for this but, award. But before he gets to it, I just wanna <laughs> say that thank you, Travis, for saying you like the intro. I yeah. spent all night making that. Thank you, Travis, for making that awesome intro music. Thanks to Julio for making the, the art. Uh, <laughs> thanks to uh, all of you guys for being here, all of you guys for being here, and Spencer, what did, what did Barton put in the chat? Barton donated donated a hundred dollars and Ooh. said hey hi hello hoping you all have a lovely game campaign ahead of you not sure if you've heard but jack is a pretty damn swell person so i'm excited <laughs> to see him run Thanks, such a buddy. great game for all and your wonderful characters to become more obsessions in our fan arts. Oh, Peace. thank you so Thanks, much, Barton. Barton. Very yes. appreciate it. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Jack's Jack's great. Thank um, you. I'm I'm very excited for for what Jack's been cooking up in the uh, what is the one place? It's not Hell's Kitchen. It's something's <laughs> kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something's kitchen. Aladra's kitchen. Aladra's kitchen. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm getting my terms down, Jordan. Yeah. Right? I'm getting better at them. <laughs> yeah. I need little flashcards. Just make shit up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. yeah. Yes, and <laughs> Cloudies yeah. is not a real term. I think. It is now. Oh, well, fucking Cloudies it be. isn't real. No. Cloudies with genius. a chance of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's enough of uh, me, me talking. Oh, Jesus Christ. We, Thank you guys for all the have, donations. Thank you, oh Arcane Artemia. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All day at work and at oh. home. It's sorry, gone. Sorry, I scrolled. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've completed Icewind Dale first, Sunder second, and Tesseract just today. You guys have made me laugh cry just sometimes. Just just oh, my you God. You watched Sunder and Tesseract? No, 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 no. I'm, no. So I'm sorry. sorry. Watched Icewind Dale first and then went to Sunder and then stayed through it. That <laughs> is it. That is crazy. Because Icewind Dale is fucking, it's, it's, we'll never, we captured lightning in a bottle. We'll never create it again. Yeah. And then you went to the <laughs> <Tesseract>? worst. <laughs> Sunder and Tesseract are really our worst games. And like, they're super long and still here so thank you so much there's so many so many yeah. donations james Riggs, thanks for the five heh <laughs> nice uh lord king 3195 thanks for the five taking bets as to how long is colton character will last any takers oh my, oh my god, god. what's that 70 right there this is the last one i'm gonna read uh alex fan of spiders thanks for the 70 hi guys i've been going through the roughest time of my life recently but watching jacob's videos has managed to uh managed to cope and helped me revitalize my love for teach rpgs and uh pick dming back up so thank you oh my goodness thank you so oh, much awesome. that means a lot i i I, I hope you're doing all right, um, and uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for the donation. Really appreciate all of you. Okay, the, uh, <laughs> Mushroom Duck 499. This is so exciting. Who's playing the Tiefling? I guess you'll fucking find out yeah, because find I'm out. gonna throw it right over to Jack. Whoa, I'm gonna oh wand sling it right over oh. to Jack. Whoa, he caught he it. He caught it oh, and oh, ate oh, it. Oh, As he showed. No, 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 no. He now has the wizard I'm powers. I'm he, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now the wizard. Manifesting. Oh well, good for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Hi guys. Uh, I'm Jack. If you've watched this before, you know me. Uh, but little do you know that even though I'm a player on here, I am also one of the GMs of all time. Uh, so, uh, yes. before we dive into this session, uh, I did want to, you know, uh, share some thanks because there's so much work and so much. You know, uh, I don't know about blood, but definitely some sweat and tears um, that have gone into making all of this possible. So, but so first, I'd just like to thank Jacob so much for entrusting me with this project. Um, I have been wanting to run a game on here for a very long time, and now I finally have the opportunity, and it's 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 just so awesome. And uh, I, I won't let you down, buddy. You, It'll be... I'm sure you won't, <laughs> but I'm so happy I get to be a, the player in the player seat. <laughs> yeah, so definitely. And also, th thank you for Jacob for creating uh, not only our awesome <laughs> intro, but also the overlays and uh, you know putting together the character profiles. That awesome intro, like just so there, this guy does so much that you guys do not see. And uh, yeah, yeah, round of applause for you, Mr. XP to level three. Thank you. Uh, I second, it. I want to thank our very own uh, good friends, uh, Craig and Emma, for putting together this awesome set. Uh, it is so it is so dang cool. They scoured through antique malls and <laughs> and the interwebs and stuff that we had here. Um, we when we sat down to. Jeans. When we sat down to talk about like what we wanted on this set, you know, we were like, well, we're gonna set some impossible things and we'll work back from there. But no, we have gotten some impossible things, which you might see very soon. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's so awesome to work with them and see their creativity come to life and all the cool things they have. We have got some fucking wands over there. It's so awesome. Dude, those, those <laughs> They're little- They're so cool. They, they, not only to get like a cool wand, but there's like, they found that at, like at an antique store and it's just, it looks like a gun wand. It yeah. is so, mm -hmm. it's so cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And uh, then, of course, I would like to thank two amazing artistic talents that helped us further bring this game to yes. life. First, uh, I would like to thank the incomparable 
composer extraordinaire, friend of the stream, Travis Savoy, Travis Savoy! who made the excellent uh, City of Towers theme song called Steel Silhouettes. Oh, yes. Uh, go, he, I think he just published yeah, it yeah. on his Spotify, so go and go and stream Spotify? it for days. On YouTube? On, it's probably on yeah, Bandcamp, It's probably too, on Bandcamp probably. as well. My guy's yeah, got it's albums for a freaking everything. Oh, yeah, so, all yeah, the pre-writtens. It it's, yeah. it's insane. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, he is so good at taking what is basically a 15-minute rambling voice note uh, that I have created and kind of regret sending <laughs> and turning it into what you just heard at the start of this. Oh. And it's so good, so good. Thank you so much, Travis. And then, of course, uh, secondly, uh, you know, we thanked an old friend, Travis. Now we're gonna thank a new friend, our, our, our amazing artist who did our character art, illustrator and, and artist, Julio Azevedo. Julio. He is, he mm. did such a fantastic job so with the art. Um, mm -hmm. I first, you know, uh, experienced his art through the work that he did for Eberron setting creator Keith Baker for his third party Eberron content. And when I found out that like, yeah, we're gonna do this Eberron thing, I was like, Julio's my first pick. Uh, so I reached yes. out to him and he was he was kind enough to, you know, get back to me. And now we have this freaking awesome character art oh, that looks amazing. so good. And uh, Julio, just thank you so much. Which it's, you'll it's see so on fantastic. stream very soon. Oh yeah, you'll see it, you'll see it real soon if you haven't already, but yeah. And then, um, you know, I also want to thank, you know, Keith Baker for creating uh, the, <laughs> the, the, uh, the setting of Eberron. It's my favorite favorite D&D setting, if not fantasy setting of all time. It's just so amazing and dynamic, and hopefully I do it justice with the story I'm going to tell. And last but certainly not least, I want to thank everyone at this table for participating in this. I'm so excited to go on this journey with you, and all of you at home for tuning in. I'm, I'm, I'm so blown away by, yeah, you. You, right there. All yeah. 445 uh, of you. Oh my god. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, sorry. I, never mind. I mean, no pressure, well, there's, no like, no there's like 50 no people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's like two. Hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm so. I've gotten so many kind like messages and and comments from people who are just wishing me luck with this, and uh, it just feels so good to know that I have so much support at my back for this. And uh, you know what? Just just thank you all so much. I'm getting a little emotional. Oh my gosh! But uh, let's 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 deviate away from that a bit before I, I start crying on stream. Um, and uh, I think without any further ado, let's uh, dive in to tonight's session. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh boy. <laughs> My tummy is. <laughs> Eberron is a world of swashbuckling action, noir intrigue, and widespread magical technology, whose entire canvas is painted in a thousand different shades of gray. One hundred years ago, the United Kingdom of Galifar lost its final king. A succession dispute between his surviving heirs plunged the continent of Corvair into a brutal century-long war that shattered the once united kingdom into separate states, resulted in the destruction of an entire nation, and claimed millions of lives. It's only been two years since this conflict called the Last War officially ended. Now the belligerents have pulled back to lick their wounds and prepare for whatever comes next. But this isn't a story of kings or queens, of nations and armies. This is a story about a city and a group of individuals who will change it forever. In the south of the nation of Brayland, situated on, the, situated on the shore of the Dagger River, stands the largest city in all of Corvair. This metropolis has stood for centuries and has many names. The city of knives, the city of a thousand eyes, the city of lost souls. But mention the name Sharn to anyone in Corvair from the beggars on the street to the monarchs in their palaces and they will know the city of towers. Over 500,000 people call this staggeringly tall and crowded place home, with thousands more coming and going every day from across Corvair and even beyond. But we aren't standing on the peak of the tallest tower, nor on the deck of an airship feeling like we're king of the world as we look out <laughs> over the cityscape. Where we are going, you can't even see the sky, feel the sun on your skin or the ever constant rain. We are going down, down, down to the depths of the lower Dura Ward, to the rough and tumble district of Calistan. Passing beneath the withered marquee of the nearly decrepit Silvermist Theater is a small, lone figure. They hook around to a side alley, their steps splashing in filthy rainwater that hasn't been sucked down the time-worn drain, uh, that hasn't been sucked down the time-worn drain, filled with litter and mud, while parts of the cracked walls aren't covered in mildew are tagged with crude graffiti. A heavy iron door, weathered and covered in patches of rust, with two narrow eye shutters built into it, stands under a lone, ever-bright torch and looms between this traveler and their destination. Jordan, would you please describe Roy? 
Um, Roy, I guess right now, is in his civvies. Um, Roy is a halfling. He's um, got the sort of Talenta Plains ruddy brown complexion of a, a wild halfling. Um, he's got a, a, a kind of a messy mohawk. Uh, and <clears throat> the lower part of his face is a web of scars that reaches from his chin up across <clears throat> his mouth. Um, and when he smiles, you can see his gold teeth. Um, he uh, He's wearing his Sharn is for Lovers t-shirt and <laughs> um, some baggy pants tucked into combat boots. Um, normally, when he's on a job, he wears um, leather armor, sort of flak vest with lots of pockets uh, with his trusty crossbow, but he is um, um, he's trying to blend in. Uh, in the city now. So he's, Definitely. Um, yeah. So you're standing before the stage door of the Silver Mist Theater, the, basically the headquarters of the Boromar clan here in Kalistan. Um, what do you do? Um, he's going to make sure, he's going to sort of pat his pockets, make sure that um, what, he's, what he's bringing is there. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that in his sort of backpack, his rucksack, that the <coughs> the other thing he's 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 got is there and Absolutely. um he hasn't been home in well, he's been home for a couple months, but he hasn't been here for years. Yeah. Uh and so he's gonna take a deep breath, he's gonna steal himself, and he's gonna push the door open and he's gonna head back into a life that he left years ago. Well, you, gonna, got to, you got to, you got to, I'm going to throw up that full art of Roy right now. So oh, sweet. Check him out. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Looks pretty awesome. That's our Roy. Yeah. All right, continue. Well, you go to push the door open, Roy, and um, it is held fast by a lock. It does not, it does not budge to your, uh, your push. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Times have clearly changed. Um, he's going to, <laughs> he's going to tell like, um, he's gonna listen and see if there is, is, is like, does it sound like there's anybody in there? Uh, you, why don't you roll me a, uh, a perception check? Is perception a thing in this? I can't. Yes, it is. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> By the way, folks, we are playing Pathfinder 2. Yeah. And we are all Pathfinder still 2. getting used to it. Yes. Uh -huh. So yeah. please have patience with us <laughs> as we learn this system. Yeah. I know there's a lot of you out there who don't really know Pathfinder 2E. So we'll be learning together. Yeah. Right now. Nineteen. Nineteen. You you put your you put your ear up to the door and uh, just focus in, and you think you hear what sounds like snoring on the other side. It's just kind of this repetitive, you know, droning kind of rise and fall that sounds like some snoring. <sighs> Fucking hell! And he he reaches in and he pulls out his uh, little like uh, it's like a rolled up like oiled leather. Thing and he unties it and rolls it out and there's a series of tiny uh, picks uh, that can sort of catch the light in the alley and he <laughs> he picks one and he's I'm gonna try it and pick this lock. Yeah, absolutely, go for it. Uh, um, that would be a, a thievery check, would it not? I believe so. Thievery. Mm -hmm. A skill. Yeah, let's see. Thievery. Uh, thievery is a uh, palm an object. Disable a device, pick a lock. Ooh. Well, <laughs> first roll of game. Yeah. First roll of game. Second. Roll or technically, second technically the second. But this one's uh, not. What great. was the first roll? A uh, nineteen. Oh, pretty good. This pretty good. An eight. An eight. Yeah. Um, times have really changed <laughs> because they have clearly upgraded the locks on this thing. And you, uh, you, you, you've you've broken into this place before, and. <laughs> Uh, you, you, for whatever reason, uh, every time you get close, the lock just you know resets those tumblers. And uh, as as you're tr trying to get trying to get it on that third try, you hear like the, the snoring stop, and you hear like the shoop of the shutter at the top of the door opening up, and you see like some eyes like looking out, and then they don't see anyone. Down and then, here, asshole. Well, and then and then that shutter shoop closes and there's another shutter at your eye level that opens up and uh, you see just these dark eyes on the other side and uh, and uh, he says you trying to break in here punk who the fuck do you think you are I got I'm a person who's got a payment for Borama oh yeah yeah well you can just squeeze it through here I'll make sure it gets to him nah it's not that kind of payment all right who are you 
My name's Roy. Glint Buckle. Ah, uh, okay. Never heard of you. What, you have an appointment or something with the boss? You see, this place used to be hopping. Where, where's everybody at? Times have clearly changed, bud. Mm -hmm. Looked around lately? Listen, punk, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of time for this. You got about five seconds before, hey, hey and you watch as like the eyes <laughs> disappear and they're replaced with like a new set of these blue ones that have this like intense, like, eye, like stylized eyeliner mm -hmm. on them. And uh, you hear like a feminine voice say, well, sovereigns and sex. Bruce opened the door and uh, <laughs> closes and uh, you hear uh, the like a bunch of locks on the other side of the door kind of <laughs> come down and then uh, the steel door opens uh, out like a, and it fills this alleyway echoing off the the cracked walls like a banshee shriek just as like <laughs> like this just horrible grating noise <laughs> um, and uh, you uh, do you see uh, inside this kind of ni ni nicely appointed interior of the Silver Mist Theater stage door? Uh, you see a half orc bouncer who's in like dark leathers, and he's like, it's the clearly the guy that you were talking to first, uh, Bruce, and he says, "All right, all right, come in, come in." And uh, as you pass in, you kind of look up at him, but then you look at the second figure, and you're a little more interested in this one. Uh, it's this halfling woman with fair skin, a mop of short curly brown hair, and she's got a clawed scar that runs across her mouth at an angle. Uh, that last detail is a new one, but this is a woman you recognize. An old friend what, from what feels like another lifetime. Elsa fucking Tagala. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> it's a bit of a long story, Roy Glintbuckle, but uh, come on, come on in. There's, uh, there's some things you should know. Oh, great. Look, hey, I got, I got, uh, I got Boromar business, so if you could point me to whoever, whatever stooge they got, uh, running the neighborhood now. Follow me. And okay. for sovereign's sake, wipe your fucking feet. Ah, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> heading down the stairs, magically lit, uh, in the, oh, heading down the stairs, magically lit in neon shades, you soon find yourself in a plush, richly appointed nightclub, complete with a bar, a stage, tables for cards and dice games, and tables and booths with divandi up, fabric upholstery. Chandeliers of glimmering magical light hang from the ceiling, restored originals from the days when Silvermist was the crown jewel of the theaters in Sharn. It smells like fresh jasmine and bergamot, a stark difference from the Calistan perfume of shit and sewage just outside. <laughs> um, this is, of course, the, uh, the Silvermist Dream Lily Parlor, the real show that, it, that is going on at the Silvermist. There are no patrons in here, but you see about half a dozen uh, like security bouncer types of uh, various humanoid races uh, in these like kind of dark uniform leathers, as well as some cleaning staff that uh, just appear to be kind of getting ready for whenever this place decides to open up again. Um, and uh, you don't really pay them too much mind though as you and Elsa head upstairs to the second floor office. Uh, and she just opens the door, walks in, and she says, take a seat. And uh, you watch as she just like uh, hooks around the uh, the desk, pulls out the chair behind it, and sits, and kind of kicks her feet up on it. And she says, "By the way, it's uh, it's Ilsa Boromar now." I'm gonna. Um... What's the uh, <laughs> it, uh, Pathfinder equivalency of um... insight? Insight. Sense motive. Yeah, sense motive. <clears throat> uh... oh. I've heard that name a long time. <laughs> That's a name I've not Shades heard of in a 3. long, time. long um, time. What? Uh, I, I don't see that stat. Is that a? Um, it, it's a, it's an action. Ah. Um. Uh, the GM attempts a single secret perception check for you and compares the result to the deception DC of the creature. Oh, so I, you love, roll I love. I love. I guess I roll. Sometimes. I think you roll perception Jack against rolls. her deception. Where is this? You'd think that... It's an action? I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I didn't even notice that was there. <laughs> that just um, came out of the ether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it say... So it's a perception check? You roll my perception against her... Deception. deception. Oh, okay. Yes. If she um, well, then, she... Uh, I mean, what do you do if she's not deceiving? <laughs> I guess just... I nothing? guess you get I to. Know, I you, guess you get to decide. Oh, that's true. I guess. Well, or you I mean, cat's kind of Roy. out of the bag a little bit. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll roll your perception, Roy. What's yeah. your perception modifier? Plus seven. Whew. Uh, you 
Yeah, immediately you're like, no way. Like that, you must be joking. But uh, she just kind of holds your holds your stare and kind of gives you this look, like, <clears throat> like are you gonna say something? And and you realize, oh no, she's she's being serious. She's the one in charge of this operation. Well, <laughs> shit. Uh, well, um, I guess I'll get down to it. Um, yeah, as much as I'd love to catch up, Calistan is falling apart, and I've got a hundred fires to put out. So, what brings you here? I just want. Uh, well, I just wanted to make sure that I, uh, I am not one of the fires you feel uh, uh, inclined to put out. Have you started one? Uh, it's not so much a, a fire. Uh, it was a, it was a brief <clears throat> spark in the night. Um, it's already burnt out, so it's just sort of a. Just sort of a little, a little black patch. And, and it why comes. exactly? Why exactly does that bring you here? <sighs> Look, I am no fool. I have, haven't been around in a long time, but I know that if you want to operate and shine, you got to operate with the blessing of the Bormar clan. What I wanted to do is, we did a job. We did a job preemptively, and uh, I wanted to come and make sure that you got your cut, uh, to make sure uh, that we didn't get cut. Very wise. We, are you running with a crew or something? Yeah, no, I put a, <clears throat> I put a gang together. Is that so? Mm-hmm. First time is mostly, uh, but we're pretty solid. I don't know. It was a good, it was a good run. What'd you hit? <sighs> well, <laughs> it's uh, so I caught wind that there were some fucking cloudy tourists down here spending Ooh. money uh, over. Uh, this is not Roy looking it up. This is <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, down in the stores. Uh, and so uh, I thought that I would put some people together. We'd go liberate them <clears throat> from their money. And we showed up there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, what they had been doing was uh, an underground fucking exotic animal fight ring. And, uh, look, it did not go tits up. It was tits up when we fucking got there. Very convenient. And uh, we uh, laid waste to the um, the menagerie and uh, made off with whatever we had. Uh, but it turns out um, that there. Do you know? Do you, do you are you aware that there are were rats? Like fucking like a werewolf, but instead of turning into a wolf, you turn into a fucking rat. Well, I've heard of them. Right. I've never met one, to my knowledge. <laughs> so. A fucking were rat was running this place, Ilsa. A fucking were rat. And you might. I don't know if you've ever heard of these people, but they're from Stormreach. Yeah, the bilge rats. We were doing biz with them. Well, their business hopped out of its cage and killed a bunch of people. Yeah, I know. And Orum Concordium was killed. Mm, yeah. Uh, I have the rings, um, <clears throat> which I can give you in addition to this bag of gold as a tithe she and takes it and kind of weighs it and you should it down. know that uh, our goods have not been fenced yet but we do have the goods at that ledger just in case you didn't know that you were doing business with fucking wear rats well this is certainly not how I expected today to go but all right we'll take your cut you planning on selling it through a Boromar fence? They take a pretty hefty cut, you know. Well, I know a person who knows a person who knows a person. If you prefer that I work through someone you know, I could do that. Mm -mm. No, stick to your contacts. They'll screw you seven ways from Sewell, the Boromar clan will, so. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like that operation from the start, but I don't know. It's good that it's gone, but uh, you know, Roy, you come at a very interesting time. Roll back into town right as Dask starts making moves, pushing us out of Eastbridge. You have a lot of use for someone with your talents. I'll admit, when you went off to the war, I thought the only chance of you coming home would be in a shoebox, or worse. Yeah, me too. That's why, uh, well, I didn't. I planned for mm -hmm. that, so, yeah. Well, if you're ever looking for maybe a more secure gig, a more 
professional one than whenever, whatever chuckle fuck crew you've put together of first timers. You come to me, and we'll see if we can find you some work. Are you inviting me to the Borma clan? I don't know if you've looked around lately, Roy, but things are kind of rough here. Dask has pushed us out of Eastbridge. Kalistan, two years ago, was under complete control of the Vormar clan. Then some Dromites show up, and suddenly everything goes tits up, and we look like shit. Tarkanon and tyrants are moving in. A bunch of shitty little street gangs are claiming independence. The clan needs to reassert their power here. I need to be the one to reassert the power here. Sidon's breathing down my neck. I need all the good people I can get. Elsa, Elsa, Elsa. Why don't... Okay. I hear you. And if you wanted another fucking grunt, you could find another grunt out in the fucking street. What you have with me and my crew is a wild card. Right? We are not affiliated with Barama. We are not Dask. We are not Bill's Rats. If you ever needed a job done with plausible deniability, well, hmm. now you've got someone who can get it done and not blow back on you. But of course, if it goes swell, then Elsa Borama is the one making the power plays. I'll definitely keep that in mind. But for now, why don't you, uh, you're the victor, so go and take the spoils. We'll stay in touch, I'm sure. Are you still, I mean, this is where you still operate from the door. Yes. Okay. All right. Is there like a, a fucking code I should know? Or like no. a secret knock? I'll add you or... to the list. Oh, the list. There's a list. Okay. But the next time I see you, it better be because you're looking for work. I'm, I mean, I'm looking for work now. In between <laughs> jobs, if that's, if you've got anything. Let's see if you can, let's see if you still remember how to contact a fence, set up a deal. Then... Maybe we'll talk. All right, all right. Standard rate supply. The, the usual. All right, all right, all right. Pleasure doing business with you, Ilsa Borama. <laughs> uh, I still haven't gotten used to that, but thanks. And it's good to see you, Roy. You take care of yourself, okay? You too. It's going to stand <clears> up <throat> and... <laughs> look around her office. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's not too grand. It's kind of sparsely appointed. She's got some like paintings up and some like some bookshelves that look like they have like fake books on them. Um, and some real ones. But uh, and there's like a little window that kind of looks down into the theater. Um, looks all <laughs> kind of <laughs> decrepit at the moment. But that's a good one. I read that one in the hospital. <laughs> Definitely worth a check out if you haven't already. <laughs> 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 st strolls out. All right. Fantastic. So, a few hours pass. Just a few blocks away from Silver Mist stands another relic of Kalistan's past, a once grand structure bearing a sign that reads Anvil Inn and Tavern. There's a silhouette of letters that spell out golden, but they have either been painted over or stolen at some point in the sign's lifespan. Inside, though, is a warm and well-kept space with a, decent, with a decently stocked bar and plenty of tables and chairs, uh, including a small stage and some gaming tables. The robust scent of a bubbling stew packed with Talentin spices fills the air. A few patrons eat, drink, and converse amongst themselves, but more than a few of them are shooting a half-curious, half-concerned glance over at a hulking figure cleaning glasses behind the bar. <laughs> Colton, we'll would you please food. describe Beerbot? Do you mind doing that while I throw the art up? Describing them while you. I, was, I wanted to make sure that I have the full, put the full art up while uh, while, while, while you're describing. describing? Yeah, okay. sure. Oh, boom. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Go for it. What you want? Uh, yeah, he's uh, we said a, kind of a hulking figure. Uh, <laughs> most warforged uh, have at least like a couple features that are typical amongst the majority of them, um, given how they were. They were kind of created for a purpose. Mass produced. Uh, mass produced. No. Um, Beerbot is a bit different. He's uh, got that height and the the large juggernaut juggernaut armor, um, kind of making him uh, uh, increasing his size even more. Um, with a little furnace, unique to, as far as most people are aware, only Helm has a warforged uh, that's constantly um, running. Uh, and doesn't seem to have show any signs of stopping anytime soon. <laughs> he uh, <clears throat> has a little, little like kind of ragged like loincloth and, and pants as he's as he's walking that 
uh, these uh, cleaning out the glasses. Mm. You, um, have it, like, you have it like balanced on the hammer hand. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, like, it's, yeah. It's right or like hand, in the arm. <laughs> his his uh, right arm, his right arm, rather than being a, a typical arm, is instead a, a hammer with a pick at one end. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as he holds it kind of up, he has the the glass mm-hmm. on it. He's going through. Um, typically uses it as a as a mini table of sorts. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a so. little bit of a serving plate as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you're uh, as you're cleaning, you know, going through your motions, um, the door opens up and uh, uh, a woman enters. Uh, she has this like olive skin, auburn hair, these dark, simple clothes, and a satchel with some tools peeking out of it, and a bracelet with some small bells on her wrist that jingle ever so slightly as she moves her hand. Um, and uh, Irana, your employer, yes. this kind of matronly halfling woman, and like what what would be like the halfling equivalent of like your probably like mid forties. Um, she kind of peeks her head out of the kitchen and she says, uh, "Beerbot, honey, I- I'm putting the final touches on the stew. Would you mind taking her order?" Oh, of course. Uh, he takes the glass and sets it mm-hmm. down, puts the little the little cloth kind of inside <laughs> of it, and uh, walks over with. Um, I guess, just kind of walks over. <laughs> Just nods towards her and welcome. Uh, what would you like? Uh, she, she looks a little surprised at seeing this huge warforge, and she says, uh, "I'll I'll just have some black dog ale, please. Okay. Uh, just the, whatever is the house special." All right, <laughs> that's uh, simple enough. Anything else? Um, yeah, actually, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I I've never seen a model of your warforged before. I, I've never seen like that furnace unit before. What what is that? Mm-hmm. Uh, to be honest, it's never really gone out. I use it to heat things sometimes. <laughs> um, but he just like sticks some bread in there <laughs> until it is golden he brown. He does. Um, it's a nerf fryer. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> The only time it dims is when I uh, <clears throat> go into rest mode. Oh, I see. That's very interesting. Yeah, you must be some type of like prototypers of something, because I, 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 well, you know, I, uh, uh, oh, my name is Keeley, by the way, Keeley Vone. Um, I work down in the Cogs. Um, you know, the Cogs are basically like the industrial part yeah, of Sharn, yeah, yeah. where there's a lot of, you know, like big heavy machinery mm-hmm. work, you know, a lot of Warforged and stuff that right. work down there, people that fix up the Warforged, you know, when right. they get broken and things like that. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and she, she says, she says, yeah, I've, um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of Warforged uh, back when uh, I served. I, I, worked with, uh, I worked with a lot of Warforged, but yeah, no, never seen one like you. D- do you mind if I, like, sketch you out a little bit? This is, this is, <laughs> this is insane. Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> pose? <laughs> do you the, strike the a arm, pose? The Armstrong for the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, awesome. he would say, I'm just going to go about my business, but mm-hmm. you're more than free, uh, I suppose. Mm-hmm. And, I uh, don't think that's something that's on the menu. I don't think that <laughs> costs anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> um, uh, as, uh, as you're kind of uh, don't really know what to do in that moment, there are these two... Uh, there are these two uh, people that kind of turn this this uh, this uh, male dwarf and this female half elf that kind of come up to the bar and uh, kind of like point at you for the, like like the kind of their universal sign for like refill please and uh, they look <laughs> over to this uh, this woman and say, "So where'd you serve? Which uh, which unit in the king's army?" And she says, "Um, oh, uh, I-, I fought for Seer." And uh, and she you know looks a little she remind me, Jack. Which- yeah. Because we we decided this like two months ago, and I never <laughs> That's fine, yeah. went and reconfirmed which side did I fight. Oh, uh, you kind of swapped around a lot because you were a mercenary. Is that how basically. that works? Okay, yeah. so I didn't really whoever have paid, like a whoever paid the most for your services, basically. Right. Which um, which wasn't always particularly yeah. Up to me. And it's not like you were receiving that. Right. It, it was it was House Kenneth. It was receiving that. Yeah. House Kenneth was like, all right, you're on this battlefield fighting mm-hmm. for this. Yeah. Side it's today. like you're fighting for Karnath okay. today, and it's like okay. Cool. Just sure. wanted to make sure that we were on the same page. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, and, okay, and, and, yeah. As, and as they kind of say that, um, uh, the other two, uh, the other two, like, look and, like, kind of look at each other. And, uh, so, one, and the dwarf says, well, oh, Seer, huh? Well, why don't you get out of here and go back to the moorland and scum? Yeah, so I imagine that this has probably happened not 
I mean, Not, you, most, you mostly a couple get, of times. You mostly get brainless veterans in here. Definitely. Yeah, but I'm sure that it's probably happened <laughs> before yeah. that someone has said yeah. they fought for the other side. Um, knowing how quickly that the, this can deteriorate into mm. uh, not great, Beerbot will just kind of instinctively stand in between the two groups. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, uh, just all of a sudden, uh, you appear, just this massive uh, hulking figure uh, between the, 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 the two Brailish, uh, the two Brailish people I'm and Kiwi. I'm going to have to ask you not to uh, harass other customers. <laughs> Figures that the damn Forge would take sides with the enemy. They should have reduced you to slag, scrap heap. You, what, you fight for Seer too, huh? You know how many war forts killed my fucking friends? Killed my fucking friends at Saren Road? And they fought alongside you as well, I'm sure. Oh, he doesn't know how to feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like getting ready to fight and now he's like... Roll, roll like a... I don't know. As he, as he says that, uh, the the furnace would kind of. I'm kind of trying to do it. Kind of trying uh, intimidate to intimidate a little him bit. into like. I was gonna say into like I, I quieting was gonna, down. I was gonna say intimidate. As he yeah. says that, um, just fucking. I would like to. <laughs> I would like to go ahead and uh, use. A, <laughs> I would like to go ahead and kill him. <laughs> use a rage. Well, I would like to go ahead and rage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. And as he rages, uh, you hear that. That sound, that mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. engaging combat mode, just a deeper voice. <laughs> engaging that, combat mode. That oh isn't the voice that you know. And as he does that, Jesus uh, the furnace flares up, and his eyes turn this like blood red, shining. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to use uh, intimidating glare. Yeah. So rather than using a using vocally or with with show, I can just look at a at a person and intimidate. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Go ahead. Yeah. This go ahead so and awesome. go ahead. Um, that's fucking awesome. That's so cool. I love this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how I'm gonna is... give you like a circumstantial like plus three to this. And then that's a 23. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, immediately, you're, like you kind of look down and you say like, and, and they fought alongside you as well. And that kind of catches him off guard a bit. And he like looks down and then it's like combat mode engage. Zoom. And, 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 he and he both of them are like, oh shit. And they just book it like <laughs> out of the thing. Um, and uh, you, awesome. see, you see too, like other people were watching this exchange and are also like running for cover, <laughs> like getting down. And um, but uh, oh, Keely damn. doesn't seem too perturbed <clears throat> by it. But um, but yeah, uh, and, and uh, like people like shout and scream and, and kind of like get out of the way. And obviously, like you don't do anything. Yeah. yeah After um, six seconds, the rage ends. Yeah. And then he goes, "Sorry for the disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> can I go back to your drinks and food?" Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jedi business. Yeah. You can go back to your yeah. drinks. Pours uh, <laughs> the, <pours> the ale. <laughs> Amazing! Um, <laughs> uh, all of the patrons at the, at the anvil like slowly come out, and uh, they they just like look at you, and some of them leave, some of them sit back down, and very like shakily take their drinks. And um, uh, uh, Keely looks over at you, and she says, oh, "Thank you, thank you so much. I, I, I don't, I don't know what was going to happen there. Uh, I appreciate you stepping in, though. You, you didn't have to do that, though." Mm -hmm. Both sides fought for what they felt was right. <laughs> yeah, I guess they did. Um, oh. Or for survival. <laughs> yeah, In that's uh, that's more often what it felt like out there. But um, yeah, thank you. It's uh, it's been a while since anyone's uh stuck up for me, so I appreciate that. You can't be blamed for wanting to live. <clears throat> uh, um, I would know. At oh <clears throat> fuck. <laughs> all right, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> See you guys. Thank you all for, you all for joining. You win, you win. <laughs> God damn it, go then. Why you gotta hit me with these heels, man? Oh, I need to just sit here for a minute. I need to, I need to take a drink and collect my thoughts. I was thoughts. like, oh, that was nice. And then I, I looked around. I was like, I just saw the Warforged start, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, at that point. Um, uh, you kind of head back to the bar and Arana comes out and she has like the, the pot of stew that she's like putting over the, the fire behind the, the, <laughs> behind the bar. And she says, Beerbot, honey, what, what was that? What happened? I heard, I heard combat mode engaged. Did you threaten a customer? <laughs> Not again, Beerbot. <laughs> we talked about they, this. They were threatening. Yes, but 
because they fought for the other side. Uh, uh, yes, Pierbot, honey, I, I understand, but just because somebody threatens a person does not mean you need to immediately escalate to, to combat mode. I, I don't, I don't know. It um, gets rid of them every time. <laughs> Um, you know what, uh, Beerbot? Why don't why don't you uh, why don't you just clock out for today? All right, I, I think I think I can handle it, and and uh, and and Remy's coming in a little later, so it's it's fine. Why don't you just why don't you just go home for a little bit? And she like she just kind of looks up at you, <laughs> like she doesn't really I mean, know what to it's do. A, it's a blank face. So yeah, no. kind of nods. <laughs> <laughs> So do you do you just do yeah. you just leave and yeah. head back to, <laughs> head back home? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Got off early today. Yeah, <laughs> you're like sweet. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's not like I'm particularly hurting for gold right now. So that's true. Like, this is okay. That's true. Um, uh, though I won't go home um, unless unless. You, you wh know. Where would you like to go? Uh, there is a particular. Uh, Location? What? Blink, blinkies? Blinkies. Blinkies. <laughs> blinkies. <laughs> well, it's, perhaps it's funny you should there. bring that up. Because <laughs> this is why I was as you head out, um, and, uh, and, and Keely kind of gives you a wave, no. and she says, hope I see you around here, bot. I'll be here. Um, and uh, yeah, you head out, and as you walk out, you look to your left, and you see those two people <laughs> that you scared off again, these Brailers veterans, they're like talking outside, like they're trying to like hype themselves up to go back in, and then you just emerge, and they just book it again. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, you look at the blinkies, and they're sitting there. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> they're like, God damn it, I can't even get a blinky Rito in peace. Uh, you don't even know what that is. Um, well, you'll find out. Yes. Yeah. Will so uh, find yeah, out. you, uh, you know, you, head out of the anvil and you look around and uh, you know that uh, Blinkies is uh, right on the corner of like where the four corners of Old Keep, Gate of Gold, Precarious, yep. and Calistan meet. So you start heading in that and direction. That's where I'm most likely to find... Uh, find someone you know. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. For some reason. For some, <laughs> for some reason. All right. Hold on just one second. You're good. I'm really, I'm really playing a lot with the lights today. So oh, you guys' yeah. eyeballs are going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but, uh, <laughs> so, so Craig did something really awesome today yeah. and set up Every this day. really cool, um, uh, projector <laughs> over here, but unfortunately we, oh, I think we need to get a more powerful one because it's really difficult to see, but I want to show it off for just a second because I think if I turn the lighting super far down, you can kind of oh, see wait. it. This isn't the music I use. And look, it's like raining. It, it looks so nice. good, but it's really hard it's to see. Cool. So we all have to Spencer's appreciate it. Drenched. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to appreciate Spencer's it. Spencer's got her own. Yeah, when, are a... we getting the, when are we getting like the water dropper that put over Spencer? So it's like really. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Just a little mister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that will do very well in. Yeah, my mic will be fine. Electronic field room. My laptop. I didn't wear like a rain hat. Just an umbrella? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're going to shift the scene a bit here. Shift to our favorite our favorite music. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The copyright-free... The uh, royalty-free corporate playlist? Corporate Yay. playlist. <laughs> the scene transitions from central Kalistan to its western edges, where a square building adorned with a flickering, ever-bright sign of a winking blink dog, with its tongue hanging out of its smiling mouth, with text underneath it that says, Blinkies, with an exclamation point. Uh, the inside appears to be your standard fast food restaurant layout, a counter for ordering food with a kitchen behind it, and a main floor with tables and boots. It's not filthy, but it definitely doesn't look or smell clean. Uh, it's also nearly empty, save for a single figure sitting at a table with a spread of greasy food in front of him. Spencer, would you please describe Stick? Um, <clears throat> Stick is... Uh, elven I looking. I love that this is the music that yeah. introduces Stick. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever serious <laughs> moment you wanted to have, yeah. you know, Blinkies, gone. No, never they a play that, moment yeah. in Blinkies. Yeah. Um, he's elven looking, he's kind of, he kind of has like a blue tint to his skin. Um, black hair that's kind of pushed over, wearing all black. And he's probably just sitting in a booth, kicking his legs, eating like a burrito. Mm -hmm. And there's like some really greasy, nasty looking fries. Oh that yeah, time. And he definitely. Just, he just keeps looking out the window. like. It's like when McDonald's like overcooks your fries a little bit. But yeah. They, but they're not like, they're not like crispy. They're just like kind of wet and gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what, what you're dealing with right now. <laughs> 
Mm. A burrito with fries Smoking is also up. like a really bold move, I'd say. Put the but burrito yeah. with fries. That's true, Del Taco. Yeah. I forget That's about the Del thing, Taco. We keep sometimes. talking about like what Blinkies kind of represent. I, I honestly, I keep thinking like Del Taco. <laughs> yeah. It's Del, Del Taco, Taco but with like Taco Bell quality. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> with a dash yeah. of McDonald's. Because Blinkies also has burgers, but uh, yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, as you're uh, as you're sitting and uh, waiting, you of course see your yeah, and and kind of low key jamming out to the little like minor illusion music they got playing in here. Um, you of course see Darmai and Estelle, the two workers that work here, and they're they're just like, there's nobody in here except for you, so yeah. they're just like absent-mindedly cleaning. Um, and uh, you you uh, and uh, as as you're kind of like like looking around you do see uh, <laughs> that the door opens and a cloaked figure walks in the minor illusion doorbell that goes or makes like a <laughs> kind of sound uh, <laughs> because they haven't fixed that in a long time um, it's a uh, um, and then uh, Dar Darmai, this this gangly half elf young man in a green and yellow uniform with like blink dog ears on the baseball cap, uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks looks at the guy who's like walking past the counter, and he says, "Ah, oh, hello, welcome to blink." Oh, as as he just like keeps going. Uh, he's um, here for me. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, and like, the cloaked person does <laughs> just like walk over to you, stick and and uh, Darmai sees like says like, "Oh, okay." Oh, okay. Um, yeah, don't worry gonna, about it, Darmai. I'm gonna go clean the fryer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, Estelle, you should come clean the fryer with me. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as Estelle, this this dwarf, uh, the dwarf manager of the place, kind of goes back with him. Um, and uh, this guy approaches you. It's it's the he like you can see under the hood. It's this human man with like short brown hair. He's got like a like a stringy mustache, and his face is like seemingly like locked in a scowl. And there are these really deep bags under his eyes. And he says, hey, "You stick." Hey, bud. You got my money? Yeah, let's let's take this outside. Ah, oh, give me like give me like forty seconds, okay? I'm gonna. <sighs> I, all right, yeah, sure. You Whatever. know what? For you, uh, I'll, I'll walk outside. Awesome, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna turn off the corporate music now. <laughs> no, uh, no, we'll hear it again. We'll hear no, it again. Please. Don't worry. I'll, it's, it's I'm hilarious. going back inside. Oh no, <laughs> definitely. We'll hear it again. We'll hear it again. For you, twenty Hopefully seconds. Hopefully, no roaches crawl on it while I'm gone. <laughs> I love that corporate music, but in session zero, it was planned through some heavy shit. Was it like, was, it was. Which is really Guys, can funny. we leave the Blink case? <laughs> no, no, it's Everybody perfect. kept coming to Blink case. It's our, it's our go-to. <laughs> it's our basic it's so per it, I love the, it's the I love the in-between of like us like, we're gonna do this thing. And it's, like, <laughs> Dude, it's a really <laughs> cyberpunk-esque thing to happen. <laughs> Plotting a murder. <laughs> in a McDonald's. In the McDonald's. So you follow this guy yeah. into the this alley behind right. the bees. Uh, a black cat slinks around a reeking dumpster at your approach. It looks like there might be someone asleep against some rotting barrels a little further down the way. And one of the drains from the upper city has like this steady drip of water that into this puddle uh, that grates somewhat at your nerves. Mm -hmm. And there's layers of graffiti that mar the cracked stone walls of the both the back of Blinkies and then the the the, the side of the building next right. to it. Um, the most recent one, uh, looking like it's a crimson sword that is skewered through a crown with the words, let the crown die with Boronel, scrawled beneath it. Um, and, uh, and he says, uh, let me see the stuff. Oh, how much do you want? How much do you got? Like, like, like five? Five? Five. Five doses of dream room? Yeah. Do you charge, like, what do you charge for that? It's like a gold each, yeah. Gold each, huh? Yeah, for you. All right, uh, shit. Um, let me see what I have. And he yeah. uh, he like reaches down and um, as as you as you do, he kind of like parts from like the cloak that uh, is around him. And you can see like uh, his his arm. It's not like a prosthetic, but uh -huh. it does look like it has like pieces of like metal like grafted onto it almost. And uh, like on the fingers too. And and he pulls out like a coin purse and he like um, he like uh, he like looks in and kind of counts it out. He's like, um, ah, shit, I think I've only got enough for like maybe two. Two's good, two will get you. You know where to find me, I'm like always here. Can you roll like a sense motive check for me uh, <laughs> really quick? I have to get fucking robbed. Actually, you have to roll it. Oh yeah, you I have to roll it. sense motive. Well good, cause I rolled can back. You, me, roll us. <laughs> can, can you, me, roll us? Can you as me roll? Can you, me, you? This yeah. is, man, this is going to be a learning curve. You mean, yeah. um, My perception's plus yeah, really four. Plus four? Yeah. Do you want to know the funny okay. thing? Oh, never mind. You do your thing. I'll, I'll mention it <laughs> All right, sir. So you you see this guy looking at you, yeah. and you, you've, you know, you deal with some pretty rough customers. Right. You've definitely had people before who have that, 
I could totally kill this guy right here, like eyes. And it's fitting. You, you recognize that? Uh -huh. um, and then it just kind of fades a bit, and he says, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, two's good. Two's, two's good? good. All right. I mean, he, he kind of like scrapes together like two gold and like silver and copper and kind of like, and um, he, uh, he like takes, vials. yeah, these little vials of like this kind of like shimmering magical liquid. And uh, he says, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's I get the fuck out of here. It's been a days. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Um, enjoy yourself. Uh, yeah. Not too much. Don't take both of those at the same time. You will uh, die. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. No, I, I'm, I'm going home and then I'm going right. to do it. All I'm right. going to go back to my food. All right. See you. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. see you. Um, all right. I go back to my... Yeah, you go back to uh, you go back to your uh, you go back to your burrito, burrito. Um, and uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna do a little scene shift there too because um, uh, this guy like the the camera kind of shifts as as stick you know stick he's about to bite into his burrito and uh. then hard cut to, <laughs> to that same guy that you just gave drugs to walking like walking down these like dark alleys in uh, in Kalistan he's uh, like a few blocks away and. Um, as, as we kind of follow him, we can see these like shadows behind him. And he starts to like realize that he's being followed right now. And so he kind of like picks up the pace. Uh, he like peeks over his shoulder, he doesn't see anything. He's winding through these alleys, uh, kind of starting to rush a little bit, clearly like looking a little, little nervous. And then he turns a corner and he finds himself standing face to face with an imposing figure. Jacob, would you like to describe Azarephus? Azarephus is uh, is a tiefling, pretty uh, you know deep sort of red skin, uh, and he's got these glowing um, yellow eyes. Uh, he he looks really uh, you know uh, 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 like drag and like scrappy. He's got holes in his shirt. Um, there's blood stains on his on his uh, long sort of leather coat. Um, and what? You said drag. drag. Oh, yeah. he's in drag. Uh, <laughs> no, Slay. no, no, no. Yes, Slay. Slay. Um, he, uh, uh, he has these, he has these pretty nice boots that, uh, have not been cleaned in a long time. Um, he, he's very dirty. Um, he could have very easily been one of the people sleeping in this alleyway. <laughs> very um, well could have been yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's got, like, mud across his face. Um, uh, and, um, he, he kind of, like, staggers himself forward, but kind of plants himself, um, sort of like on his hip with his uh, hand down to his side as he um, unlatches um, a belt down on his leg as he uh, pulls his coat aside and grips onto his uh, his wand, which is sort of in the shape of uh, what would be like what we would know as like a revolver of some kind, mm -hmm. but it sort of glows uh, like this uh, orange sort of heat at the end of it. Yeah. Um, and he uh, kind of tilts his uh, head down. He sort of like looks up um, and he just says, where you off to, deft? Uh, he he also like reflexively reaches down to like the like his hip. Mm -hmm. um, as seeing you show up, yeah. he says, "Who the who the delur are you? <laughs> you, <laughs> I've been following you for a minute. All right. Well, you just got us from my buddy. Everybody around you. I'm in your fucking zone. I'm in your head. All right. You can't run from me." I know everything about you. And he still, like takes a step forward and he says, oh, I'm your fucking nightmare. Buddy. <laughs> um, this guy, the guy like takes a step back and he says, you don't know shit about me. Friend. <laughs> if you wouldn't have gotten my way, you could have gone free. You know, you'd be in middle Dura about now taking off on a sky coach off the free skies once again. But no, I had to scum it down with the rest <clears> of <throat> us in the fucking mud. And now, oh, you're going to pay. You know, you got a lot to lose if you throw down with me, son. <laughs> you really don't recognize me? You don't know who I am? I know it's been a minute. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever um, god you go to at the end of this, or <laughs> whatever void you face at the end of my barrel, you can make peace there. Uh, he kind of settles back into, like, clearly, we're not going to talk our way out of this situation. 
Um, and kind of like holds his hand down as he sort of mm-hmm. just like watches. Mm-hmm. So like I think that there's like this air of like like Azarephus is sort of like appearing relaxed. Like he's sort of like he's kind of off to one side yeah. with his hand down, mm-hmm. but he's been slowly like leaning forward. But I think his eyes are like wide yeah. open. Like his no, eyes definitely. like betray that stance where he's just mm-hmm. like he's he's just focused down this guy and like staring yeah. him down. Um, maybe there's a part of him that's like nervous in in mm-hmm. that, but uh, uh, he's putting on something. Yeah, um, as he just stares into this guy as he like tilts yeah. himself forward. Got it, yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we're basically gonna do like a quick draw. Um, Sounds good. So what, uh, <clears throat> what like three skills would you like to use to kind of work your way up to yeah. this quick draw? So I think it's stealth, I think it's perception, and then I think it's also <coughs> intimidation. Sounds good. Um, so I like, think he'll probably use the same ones. Sounds good. So he'll probably he's gonna match your energy. So it's a like bit. the perception for like I'm keeping an eye on him. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing mm-hmm. when he's gonna move. Yes. And then uh, we you know stealth just to um, do the same for me to act inconspicuously when I'm going to reach um, and whip that thing out to uh, to <laughs> fire that over. Thing out, yeah, yeah, with that I keep that thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's my uh, we have funny <laughs> names in our in our group chat for all You're... of us. Um, and what, I'm I'm uh, gunshots at night to keep the rent low. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love so, that. Terrible. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, um, and then it was perception, and then stealth, and then intimidation. intimidation. Like he's just he, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, w- you, I don't have to describe that. Yeah, no, <laughs> you you did it. You did it. I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> um, But uh, okay, so how this is gonna work basically is um, we're gonna we're gonna roll these skill checks, and then basically like whoever uh, rolls higher on the skill check is gonna get like a plus one to their attack roll. For this thing, so like for each skill check you succeed, or like for each check that you like, uh, or you know what, we'll set a DC. That's what yeah. we'll do. We won't make it a competition. That's fine. Uh, so we'll set a DC. Let's say uh, you can we'll make d- it a competition. Okay. Because then whoever beats whoever. Is yeah, the exactly. Most is, is gonna is yeah. So okay. So let's just roll uh, all three of those. Which one would you like to roll first for this guy? Do you know how funny it would be if I died right now? <laughs> yeah, I, I will say. I will say if uh, if anyone hits with their thing, and it's not gonna be like whoever succeeds these is gonna draw first. Yeah. There's gonna be an attack roll at the end. Sure. Any attack that hits is a critical hit. <laughs> okay, so let's do a super perception first. Okay. I was afraid I was gonna die. In I was gonna say, I thought I'd be the first one <laughs> to Please go. Please don't pull a Colton. Chatted. 18. Okay, he I, rolled okay. a 60. I never okay. died So that's one for you. All right. Uh, that's then let's technically not true, okay. but never in no, no, oh my recorded God. game. Oh my God. 22. Okay, yeah, no, no way. Um, another to you. Let's roll Intimidation now. Intimidation. Ooh. That's a nine. Natural 20. Oh. You scared uh, him. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, like, yeah, you've got a lock on this guy, mm-hmm. and you think you could sneak up on him, but then he just gives you the stare, and it's just like, it's oh, this guy's seen some shit. Like, and um, as <laughs> as, as, as two yeah, seconds. Yeah. Oh, uh oh, yeah. And um, and uh, yeah, as you get that better look at him, he kind of like brushes the cloak out of the side, and you see the same thing that Stick saw. There are these like metal plates like grafted onto his arm, and you can see that he also has like an arcane firearm at his hip. Um, There's somebody Azarephus knows that has something similar, and I think that that <laughs> makes him go fuck. Um, <laughs> And he says, uh, what's wrong? Rat got your tongue, devil spawn. <laughs> no, 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 I just, uh, I didn't know you were compensating. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move to, <laughs> we're gonna move to, uh, to attack roll now. So you get a, a, an additional plus two to your attack roll and he gets an additional plus one. To his. With my hand <coughs> cannon, which is a wand, which is also a gun, which is also a wand, <laughs> which is also yes, a cannon. Sixteen. Well, eighteen. Uh, eighteen will hit. He rolled a uh, a twenty four. <laughs> oh, you're getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you're both getting hit at this point. Um, so go ahead and roll damage. I will also roll damage. Uh, um, Trick dead. Sneak attack to that. Yes. <laughs> because you succeeded your stealth check, I'll give you your sneak attack. Cool, 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 cool. And it is a critical hit, so. Oh, shit. Yeah. It is. <laughs> All right, so I gotta figure out how crits work. <clears throat> it's a. I think it's just. Uh, you, you roll the dice and then you is double it. Times it. two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mine's funky. That's you roll fun. the dice and then you times two it. <laughs> oh, so. I Also, oh no for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duel! Bam! <laughs> bang, bang, bang! Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> 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 Uh, that 
is six. <laughs> oh, he rolled four. <laughs> <laughs> He's a uh, A one and a two? Yeah. Oh, man. No, yeah. Yeah. Your um, okay, yeah. so no. yeah, uh, you're both still standing at this point. No, so standing. I guess roll initiative. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first combat of the Green. game. Realism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Realism. <laughs> no, do not. This will probably, this will probably be over pretty quickly. Um, it's uh, it's. Uh, <clears throat> um, oh, he didn't roll well at all for his initiative. <laughs> he rolled like a six. Okay. Um, Did you follow me to twenty-seven? Okay, you're going first, is this. Okay. Um, you both. So you you get shot so like uh, he he quick draws and fires off this like uh this this like ice like this like ray of frost basically. Oh shit! That's that, cool. Uh, that strikes you like in in your, like your lower side, and mm -hmm. you feel like this like icy coldness kind of permeating throughout your torso, and it and it cold, so cold it burns, which yeah. is a strange sensation yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah. Um, and then you, where do you hit him? Uh, I probably just like wing his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and it like um and it's it's a moat of like flame, mm -hmm. but it's really mm -hmm. sort of like thin. You know, it's mm -hmm. almost um I, I've described it before, but it's like a it's <clears throat> almost like a tracer round, but it's uh -huh. pure um uh it's it's almost I almost imagine like it's long, mm -hmm. um and it like pfft, like flies yeah. through the air and it smokes through it as well. Mm -hmm. And as it hits him, it like it like blasts like flame and smoke yeah. off the side of it, but it almost like pierces <clears throat> through him at the same time. Yeah, pfft, like through him. Yeah, um, and he and he notices that. And he and he's like, what in the lure? Because uh, he's clearly never experienced anything like this before. Um, and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and as as like the the fire spray, like the the yeah. cloak, like catches a light, and he like he uh, it's you know he's not like taking the damage from it, but you know. You know, like, actually, no. I think he I think he does that, and I think it's almost like a like a like a faint. Mm -hmm. um, there's probably an ability for this. I don't know what it is. I think there but, is a faint um, ability. And then he, you can faint. I think he just runs towards him, and I'm going to use my. Uh, you can. It's a deception roll. Well, is that what? How much? How many actions is that? One. What does it do? Um. How come uh, that's not on here? I think you have to be a melee attack. Well, that's what I'm about to do. Oh. Oh. Um, when you're within melee reach of an opponent. Can deception check against his perception? That's what against sorry, his sorry, perception. Sorry. Yes. Against his perception check or his perception DC? DC. Okay, so that would be in this moment. I mean, I'm uh, mostly doing it to try to see if I can get sneak attack. Yeah, yeah no, if go you, ahead. Okay. If you... So uh, <coughs> your DC is 13. Okay. And what am I rolling? Deception. Okay. I guess I should get some combat music going. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't, yeah, no, no, I, I wasn't no, prepared. No, that doesn't happen. Um, that's okay, though. Uh, he, like, goes for, uh, like, the faint, <clears throat> and then um, he quickly realizes, you know, uh, my guy's chipped, chipped in. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's quick. Um, and he's yeah, like, he, ah. he quickly reacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly um, uh, a trained combatant. Uh, Aziraphus pulls, uh, 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 takes, uh, throws his gun into his other hand, um, uh, takes his hand, and he's, uh, uh, I'm going to use my, um, I have a, a starting thing I got. It's Form of the Fiend. I have claws. Um, and so, and they're sort of like, uh, uh, like his hand's red, but they like slowly turn like black and like pointed to, like, towards the end as he pulls them up. And uh, uh, he's going straight for his throat. Yeah. Just, like throw them like yeah, into the make, ground. Make your tackle. Yeah. Uh, 13. <laughs> Uh, 13's gonna miss, okay. unfortunately. He's like, he's like, yeah, um, and he just gets out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, you you're not good. You have one more action left. One more action? Mm hmm. Because you fainted, and then you. I love Pathfinder. And then you, you attack. I am going so. to attack him again. With mm -hmm. my hand. Oh, wait, you moved, didn't you? You strided up to him. Oh, I did. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so it's not no longer your turn. <clears> he <throat> is going to. Um, also make a melee attack against you as he whips out his other arm, and he has an arm blade. Uh, oh, just shit, come up what? as he's gonna strike at you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is blade. a fourteen. Fourteen, Missy. <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 not quite a Mantis blade, and it's it's like yeah, it's like um, and uh, you know you've seen Warforged before, like yeah. robot and stuff. It, this is this is like a sort of Warforged grade like Holy uh, shit. attachment, but it's uh, clearly been modified to fit like a like he, a like, humanoid frame. He like slices up, and it's mm -hmm. like and he like yeah. moves out of the way it's, like this, and it like yeah. slices it's like, down it's like, like a, a It's honestly like a bayonet. Like he's like like oh, he's like shit. gonna go up to like stab you, and, and he like does kind of catch and tear your coat. Yeah, yeah, and you're not like now on opposite sides oh, of each other. Perfect, perfect. Um, and then uh, what he's gonna do next is I, he'll make another attack. He'll okay. he'll take the penalty. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. That is. 
an, another fourteen, so he's yeah, gonna yeah, miss yeah. again. Just, just a, just a you just dodge. Yeah, he that. like he like mm. goes into like uh, uh uh like pulls into like strike, and I think Azarephus like grabs uh, that part of his hand and like mm. pulls him down, and it's like, and yeah. it's like uh, pushing downwards, and he like shoves himself out of the way. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Um, and then uh, he is going to. Uh, shoot. I mean, he's just gonna make the attack again with the penalty. Okay. Um, that. So that would be like a minus ten at this point. Mm -hmm. Um. 15? Nope. Wow, yeah. So he just makes these three attacks and yeah. you, you just you just hold on to him. You, you, you're able to avoid Perfect. all of them. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go for my attack again. All right. Um, that's that's cock. That's cock. Uh, that, there we go. Come on. 21. 21 hits. Okay. So um, what I kind of imagine is I was, I was going to see how this hits. So like <laughs> he, uh, he pulls it upwards. I need this. Um, uh, uh, and... Um, so like strikes inwards, then pushes the blade out of the mm -hmm. way, and I almost imagine he pulls up, and they're both like staring yeah. at each other, and then he goes like right for his head. He like <laughs> he like ducks underneath it, yeah. and then like grabs his hand and uses the momentum to just like yeah, grow for like his neck. Definitely. I don't want to deal damage. Um, I'm wondering if I can if I I know grappling is like a whole fucking thing. Uh -huh. So um, I I want to I want to be able to either do less damage or do something to where I can just like like kind of hold him. Uh yeah. Let me let me see here. Uh. Because grappling's probably a whole thing, and yeah. I should have said I wanted to do that um, beforehand. Yeah. Let me look. Let me look. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Man, the basic actions on gee, here. Gee, grapple. It's an athletics check. You yeah, have, enough time have at least one free hand. I can just look up all this stuff on Archives of Nethys instead of this, this GM it's screen. It's true. It's true. GM screen is great, but... It's an athletics check against their fortitude DC. So okay. let's do this. Let's. I'll, I'll do that with second action if I can. So like, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll attack, attack the damage, first. and then I'll grapple. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay so roll your damage, because you hit. Um... That's a that's a D four. That's that's not a D four that I just rolled. Uh, that's three damage. Three damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then uh, I make a athletics check. And then you rolled. You did four, six damage with your your first attack, right? Yeah. So you've done nine total at yeah, this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh, and then uh, this is this an is athletics check to his fortitude. Got it. DC. So the DC is fourteen. Uh, yeah, that's a ten. I try. Okay. Yeah, you try and grab him, but he just like <laughs> swats your hand out of the way, like do this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, like, you, ah! you, you claw his neck, mm -hmm. and he, uh, and and he, uh, he like grits his teeth and goes, just kind of like grabs your hand and throws you back cool. a little bit. And you're back in kind of this like West Side Story, mm -hmm. like knife fight melee, as like <laughs> his neck is like all cut up from your from your claws. Perfect. He's uh, <laughs> he's not bloodied, but he's looking rough. I think he's good. I've got one more action still, and I am going to, um, ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'm not going to do anything <laughs> crazy here. Uh, I think. I'm gonna see what happens. I think he goes for another uh, like uh, uh, attack of the hand cannon with okay. the, with the launch. Yeah, go for it. Um, thirteen. Thirteen will miss. Okay. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. goes down the alley and kind of like ping, like bounces yeah. off one of the walls. Perfect. Uh, I mean, you hear like <laughs> <laughs> like that. Um, he is going to um, he's gonna stride back. He's just yeah. he's gonna get he's gonna get back and he's gonna fire at you twice with, cool. uh, with his it. wand. Um, that same like ray of frost. Um, natural one. That's a critical fail. Yikes. Um, second uh, is a three on the die. So oh yeah, gosh. he gets back and he's like holding his neck and he's like <laughs> firing off these rays of frost mm -hmm. at you and you just they just sail right past. I you. think Azarif is like sort of like standing forward and he like takes his gun and he like fucking flips it. Uh -huh. And as he's stepping forward, it's like he just kind of like dodges like this and yeah. he dodges like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, John Wick. Uh, <laughs> All I right, wish. it's your turn. Um, yeah, and then he, I, I think I stride over towards him, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt that that deception to his um, that feint again, mm -hmm. deception to his his perception? his perception. So perception, fourteen, or I think thirteen was the DC. Thirteen. Okay. There we go. That's that's uh, that's that's uh, twenty one. All right. Yeah, you successfully feint. Okay. <laughs> and then yeah, another claw attack. <laughs> right? What does Faint do again? It uh, gives him penalty to his AC? Or? I think or so. He's flat-footed now, flat isn't he? He's flat-footed for you. Oh, so that means you can get your sneak attack. But doesn't that mean I get a, like his AC decreases? Yes, it, it's a minus two to his AC. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, and I think it also means you get you get sneak attack. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's twenty three. Yeah, definitely hits. <laughs> okay, so add sneak attack to this. Um, no, not a not a crit, not a crit. Close, but not a crit. Eight. Damage. Eight damage. Ooh, he is mortal. 
<laughs> you have one more attack, I believe. One more action. Because you faint. Oh, no, you move. Faint no, you move. Yeah, so that's it. Um, he is just going to... Um, He's just gonna stride away, like like both, all three yeah, actions. Yeah. He's getting the fuck out of there. So, so he, I th yeah, he like he like made made his way forward and then like like juked him a little bit mm -hmm. and then once again with like the claws, I think he like <clears> went <throat> upwards and uh, uh, like went up like the uh, uh, like the metal of his arm. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. And then um, like slicing like towards like his neck again. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Just like across. And he, he is now like just kind of like in flight mode at this point, mm -hmm. just running away. He's like, um, you can't run. <laughs> and it's your turn. Um, I think I should shoot him. <laughs> 13. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, 13? 13. Uh, oh, misses. no, 13 misses, yeah. Hang on. He's not you, flat you, anymore. You're bad, you're bad, you're bad. I've got, I've got three attempts here, all right? I know, yeah, but it's still three attempts. <laughs> um, what's the penalty to each one? Minus five. Okay, minus, and then yeah, minus 10. Plus one and then minus four. Uh, nope. And come on, come on. Come on, minus four. Oh, it's 10. Yeah, yeah. so he just like, he starts moving, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, he just completely misses. <laughs> it's your turn. Um, I mean, that guy's gonna stride three times again, so uh -huh. I think he might get away at so, this point. So yeah, could could I? Uh, we'll 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 um, do like. So if he, I mean, he's he's now striding. He's he's now stridden, stridden, uh, 150 feet away from you at this point. So he yeah, is yeah. like he is like running down the street, going through like he's like he's cutting through life. alleys. He is like running for his life. Right, 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 right. Can I stride after him? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be behind, but um, I, I don't. I don't know how Chase is working, Pathfinder. I don't really want to do this right now. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I think eventually he hits a dead end, and now it's his turn. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it could also. T sure, that's fine. that's fine. Let's just do that because this is going on a lot. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. So, um, <laughs> so uh, let's. So yeah, he's. Uh, I'll say it's. It's on his turn. He's. He's. Uh, what? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Stop. Uh, stop and look. <laughs> Um, I, 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 I have an Why idea is, for this. Do not disturb you. on my phone. That's so strange. It's like you're streaming. I'm not, <laughs> not going to disturb things. Um. <laughs> I know, I know. I think, um, uh, like, kind of what happens is he's, they're, like, running through, like, alleyways and stuff, and then he gets, like, to a dead end, but it, he turns around and waits for a Xerophis, who, uh, mm -hmm. like, turns around the corner, kind of, like, desperate and looks, yeah. and then, like, he gets his turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically that. Let me see what what Tyler is asking me here. Okay, no and worries, then, uh, no worries. And then, and then we will continue. No worries. Apologies, folks. How many what? Yeah, how you fired, I think. Have you reloaded at all? I think I have till 10 to reload. Mm -hmm. oh. I have definitely not fired 10 times. But I will look real <laughs> quick. Um, 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 no, it's fine. Um, so here's what happens, Jacob, just, just for the sake of... Just okay. for the sake of um, of time here. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, because <coughs> this has been an epic confrontation. Uh, Aiden, this is this is a this is a fight. People like you know in movies like the fights are all like polished and clean. Yeah, like yeah. no, if you fight someone in real life, it is messy. Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. is rough. You are you know you are missing. You are you are getting confused. You are yeah like yeah, so this is a, this like is a proper what's street brawl. Is that like you know Azeroth is talking a lot of shit, mm -hmm. but like once they get into it, he's like ah. Yeah. So so uh, yeah, what happens is you you see him dart into an alley, and you know that alley. Mm -hmm. You're like there's no way out from there and right. uh and then you kind of slide uh have your have your hand on your gun he he is turned around at the back of the alley he has already drawn his mm -hmm. and he is about to fire and then a flower pot <laughs> falls on his head <laughs> and and he collapses on the ground um and uh you look up and um see a familiar face Tyler, would you like to describe your character? <laughs> what you would probably see at first from directly where the pot fell is a, um, uh, a, a, a little kind of glowing figure. Um, looks like a, a fox, mm -hmm. um, but um, kind of... 3D, but not like physical completely. Like um, it almost gets like been drawn, but drawn in three dimensions somehow. Um, and then you see um, it like hop off of the balcony and um, 
kind of run through the air, uh, <laughs> flying, and goes up like another couple of stories up, and you see um, Rena. Mm -hmm. um, now I'll th I put the art up, and I, I was yeah. like, "Oh, you're describing your familiar." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> familiar we don't have the familiar yet. We're, we're working on it. It's okay. Yeah, no, we don't have the familiar art yet, but yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna be really cool though. Just you, see, wait. But you see Rena, uh, uh, a woman, about twenty-five years old. Large witch's hat, mm -hmm. um, long um, ginger hair with some green streaks running through it, kind of a green dress, like uh, with like, like sheer sleeves. Yeah. Um, and one um, arm is completely um, uh, like glistening white porcelain mm -hmm. with um, some markings on it um, that kind of disappear into the um, sheer of the sleeves. Um, and uh, you see uh, the the little fox puck um, kind of go up and like crawl into her mm -hmm. lap, and she's like petting, like, "Oh hi!" Uh, he like stops, and he uh, he he kind of like pushes into like his wound for a minute, and he kind of like turns his head down um, and uh, keeps his uh, uh, his his. Um, his his wand on him as he uh, sort of like makes his way over towards uh, uh, this dude, um, and he kind of like tilts his head down almost as if like uh, I, he probably just he grumbles to himself a little bit. Just like, <laughs> and he makes his way over, um, and he says, "Are you following me?" Nah. You just back here. I, I thought something was gonna happen over here. <laughs> this guy came in, seemed stressed. So you throw a flower pot on him. Pucked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that wasn't me. Pucks ready to kill. Well, thank you. Look, look, looks like you need some help, anyways. You know, I did. So, thanks, Rena. <laughs> um, can I go over towards him? Is yeah. he's he, he got a flower pot thrown on his head? He's looking pretty rough. Is he? Um, where where where's where's my guy? I think at? He's unconscious. Yeah, yeah, of course. I just kind of go over to him, push him <clears> over <throat> like the boot. This guy has a. Uh, you know, he uh, he <clears throat> he looked like trouble. So I was. See his arm. He's got like a like a warforged arm. Yeah, you can see uh, he's mm. got like these kind of like uh, metal plates, mm -hmm. warforged esque kind of grafted to his body. And, he, and his left arm, he's got like the war uh, arm blade kind of attached as well. Is that so, why you're chasing him? Well, kind of. And I squat down and I go into like his pocket. And I pull out the dream lily. I'm like, he stole this from. Stick. I want you to roll a percentile die for me. Oh boy. We'll see if uh, we'll see if any of these vials cracked. <gasps> Ooh, that's a twenty-three. Twenty-three. <laughs> one of them has that's shattered. Fine. That's fine. He's I like, was going to give you a quarter well, chance that one of them shattered. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So, so that's, that makes sense. Um, he gets one and uh, he kind of uh, holds it up and is just like, "Yeah, he stole this from Stick." <laughs> Piece of shit. <clears throat> Puts it in his pocket. So uh, what? Well, yeah. um... Like from down below, like mm -hmm. echoes up. He's like, "What are you doing? <laughs> you, know, you just hanging out, okay? You know." Uh, uh, well, um, <clears throat> good, this is like a good uh, flower Ro pot. Romeo and Juliet Rowan. balcony scene uh, yeah. in another time. Yeah, uh, but soft. What light through yonder flower yeah, pot breaks? Yeah. <clears throat> what you gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I'm gonna go to Blinkies, and I was gonna probably get a milkshake. You wanna, you wanna go get, you wanna go get one? Yeah. You wanna do that? All right, great. Yeah. Why don't you meet me there, and get me the, give me one. You know, you ordered this time, cause I, I got it for you last time. True. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. She, okay. she, 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 does not even think twice about it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a terrible way to get you to leave. <laughs> he's he's like, I could have gone better. Oh, she's gone. All right. <laughs> yeah. um, she jumps up and um, Puck kind of like sl slips off of her lap, is like next to her and just kind of crawls around onto her arm and just phases into the arm, um, the porcelain arm. Um, and then she just like hops down from like the ledge that she was up on and the kind of disappears out of sight <laughs> yeah. as she's you like <laughs> skip your way down the buildings <laughs> mm -hmm. um 
Uh, he he kind of like he kind of like watches and like smirks and then sort of like drops that and sort of like looks down at this guy. <laughs> um, and uh, as he's sort of like bleeding, he's got like f- you know cuts on his face from the flower pot. He like grabs his hair and like pulls him back. Um, no, still unconscious. And, uh, and he's just like. <coughs> And he looks like he's gonna like say something to him, but he sort of like stops himself. And he just kind of drops him, and he uh, puts his hand uh, 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 puts him down. And he sort of like stands up, and he like dusts himself off a little bit, and he spins his wand, just <laughs> fires into yeah, him. Yeah, just one final resounding echo in this chamber. And he's just um, like, you can join the pile, mate. And he walks away. There's still gold on his body. <laughs> oh, I know he can. Oh yeah, you also find uh, you also Shit, you also, you also do it. find like a coin pouch with like uh, like nine silver oh, and yeah. three copper. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Mm-hmm. He was just he shy. Had enough for he three. was just shy uh, of three. I already gave him a fat discount. <clears throat> He's fucking. I, for real, you were very generous with him. Yeah, he um, sticks a little devil on your shoulder. <laughs> Loot his body. So, uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys head off to Blinkies, um, mm-hmm. and uh, we're gonna cut. Uh, Somewhere I, I, else. I, I just want to say, um, when, when you show up to Blinkies, Venna hands you the milkshake, and as she's saying that, she said, "You know, uh, you could just, you don't have to like pretend <clears throat> to do anything." Wow, this is so good. <laughs> you know, I heard the gunshot. <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was I, hard not I, to. I, I was like ten misfire. Stick is like bing, the bing, what? Bing, <laughs> bing, 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 bing. You could have just. I wasn't gonna stop you anyway. You were killing guys. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> if you guys want to talk about now, I can give you a minute. Please. Okay. Oh, do you want right. that? I was like, I want, to, I want He's Grace to so have nervous. Okay. Yeah, then, <laughs> all right. You know well what? then. Well then. All right. Yeah. Uh, eventually. How much gold was uh, that? Sorry. Nine Cut silver, blinkies, I guess. three copper. Yeah. Rena and and uh, Azarephus, you guys trace your way back through the streets of of Kalistan, uh, through the back alleys, and and make your way to Blinkies, where Stick uh, has probably finished his food by yeah, now, yeah, yeah. and uh, it looks like he might actually just be getting up to go. Yeah. And then you hear like the. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like sh- uh, you, you're probably in first. And then you, you oh, hi, Rena. Hi. You here for your milkshake? Yes. I'm, and then Zephyrus also <laughs> said he want one. He like shoulders it in. <laughs> like makes his way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then uh, Zephyrus, you see, has this like um, like frost burn on like it's like like punched through like another hole in his shirt that has like this like frost burn underneath <laughs> it. You good? You look like you got shot. Oh, he was Good to see you too. He was trying to kill a guy, so I assume that was a guy. I was, um, you Did know, you kill him? doing the good of for the oh, people yeah, no, shot. I, well, I assume so. Unless the guy shot him again. Yeah. Oh wait, we're in blinkies. I didn't see, Shit, I didn't hold on. Is he dead? Yes. We're in blinkies. Yes. Yeah. We're in blinkies. Yeah, we're, we're in blinkies. blinkies. We're in blinkies. <laughs> we're in blinkies. <laughs> we're in blinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just get the fucking milkshake? Which one? Want? Uh, whatever you get. Try carrot. Carrot? Yeah. I don't think he's actually carrot. I think it's a lie. The carrot is a lot. Okay. <laughs> um, carrot cake. I get strawberry, so. He sits in like the booth next to, um, like across from you, Stick, and he's like, what'd you get? Oh, I got the, the burrito. Oh, the grist and I, burrito. Yeah, and I, grist got, burrito. I got the fries. I don't like the milkshakes, they're too watery. I think, I think they are just kind of water. Half water, maybe? Yeah, it's just something to sip on. Like a watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> a water kind of shake. <laughs> Do you want me to heal that? Uh, yeah, it kind of hurts. Did you kill him? Um, yeah, he didn't give you any trouble, did you? Did he? What? Yeah, you know, who the, did you kill? The guy who just gave that dream lily to, and he like pulls out one. Like, <laughs> Why'd you kill him? I wanted that. <laughs> oh, that's not why I killed him. Well, it was like maybe 45, 50% the reason I killed him. You can have it for two gold. It's a discount. <laughs> you trying to hustle me right now? I know you sold that to him. Were you following me to Blinkies to sell No, trucks? I wasn't following you. I was following him, so I did have to follow you, yeah. <clears throat> he was a real shit. Yeah. Um, and he, he fired first. I don't believe you, Fico. He called me a hellspawn. Yeah, and he made fun of my horns. Horns. And he said I belonged he called, in the gutters. He called you devil spawn. Well, and he called me. He's making. He's exist. making this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he called me devil spawn. Kyber spawn. Um, he said I should uh, go back to the depths. I probably belong in the cogs. Yeah, it really hurt me. 
<laughs> so I had to kill him. In the face. Well, I think it really And Rena is. helped by throwing a pot on him. Oh, good job. Pot threw a pot. Oh. And now I've told I, you, so we're all involved. I told Pot to throw the pot. <laughs> Are you scared, Stick? No. Good. That's great. <laughs> Why does it smell like that? Like that? <laughs> uh, How much are you missing? Dar Darman, this sucks. It's it's Darmai. Dar but you can call me Darman if you want. Do you just heal me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> stick. Uh, oh, thank you, stick. stick, stick. Please don't touch me. Thank Please you. don't touch me. Thank you. You're so good. Oh. Yeah, it's too gold for that. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Um, that was all just a big distraction. I don't actually want this, but thank you. Um, you know what? I'll drink it to be nice. I'm actually gonna go back. I'm really what? fucking tired, and uh, I'm gonna take that dream lily. Um, <laughs> I'm say, I am taking this. This is my reward. It's too gold. You already got your gold stick. It's too gold. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna kick me out? I could. What are you gonna do? I could. What are you gonna do? He's backing out. He's like, nothing. You're not gonna do shit. Does that mean I get the couch? Oh, yeah. I'll give her the couch. You can goes, sleep on the rug. Right on. Look, Beerbot's got that chair. I take pride in that couch. I found the couch. But there is. And he pockets the dream lady. He's like, you can always, that invitation, you can join me on that couch whenever you like. Ooh, hey, yo. There's that bingo you know, spot. You can, you can I got bingo try. from that. <laughs> What did you say? Hey, hey, bingo. Oh my god. Bingo. My last one was uh, PC's party. Oh, well, all right. Um, you could join me on the floor. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, it's like, yo. It's, it's, it's not very comfortable down there. But... No, but you know, maybe with you, it might be. <laughs> I'll see you later. Weird. He walks out. <laughs> Don't join him on the floor. The walls are very thin. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to do that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, are you, are you going home? Because I'm gonna go home. Yeah. Do you want to walk together? <laughs> Safer? No. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. She looks into the air. Very positive. Would you like to <laughs> 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 Can okay. we walk on the street and not on the roofs? Puck turns into an umbrella. <laughs> it's kind of boring. But Parkour. it's safe on the ground. Well, <laughs> is it? You know, I maybe have you I see. Any of your... Huh? Are you taking any of stuff? Is that something? No. I'm. It's, I. I had to work. I had to come here. I'm Fuck. high on. You know, it's it's bad Burrito. to take from your own supply too. Life. I'm trying to um not do that. Okay. Sure. Um. Are you just afraid of heights then? Well. Courage does help with the fear of everything, and I'm not currently on it. So, um, you know, you walk home, and I'll catch up with the therapist. your courage. Okay. Oh. I will walk That's home so on the sweet. roof. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> what? You, are, you guys are sneaking up on me, <laughs> you two over here. Sheesh. Okay. Oh, okay. we're gonna corrupt the fuck out of that. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, all right. <coughs> With that, we do have to say goodbye to the corporate royalty-free music for now. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Sure, all right, Grace. You would appreciate that. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. As you'll ever be. As you'll ever be. Mm, I need to find good music it's for this. The boy. <laughs> I don't oh, think he, I think I think I'm the boy. I think yeah. you're you're the lad. You're the, you're the man. <laughs> Anybody in the Discord who's watching right now, I thought it was really funny that a lot of people thought Grace was a Zerapus. It was is just, very funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's my nasty tiefling. <laughs> 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 That's my trash man. <laughs> All right. So let me pull up my notes here. Apologies, apologies. Yeah, the next time we see a therapist, then a trash can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm There's stuff in here. Uh, Oscar. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Sorry. You're good. We cut to a lightning rail platform, terminus station. It's completely empty. 
save for two figures, a half-elf woman and a young half-elf boy, standing under cover as murky rainwater splatters down from up above. The boy looks up at the woman with a smile. She looks back down at him and returns it as a whistle sounds in the distance. It gets louder. It gets closer. Until it turns into a woman's voice. And it says... Uh, shoot, hold on. And it says... Oh, so here we go. Until it becomes a woman's voice that approaches like an oncoming, an oncoming rail going full speed ahead. And it, it's kind of like a Doppler effect almost. Like it, like it starts out kind of quiet and then it's like, Severin, hold him off a little longer. I've almost got the blast stick set. And then it's followed by a roar as the boy is thrown from his feet, wrenched away from the woman as he tumbles and, and rolls on the ground. It is revealed to be Severin. Um, Severin. Uh, cha cha cha. Let's see. Uh, he, you have been thrown off your feet by this towering warrior decked out in armor made from dark iron and bone, tumbling to the dusty cracked cobblestone ground, but recovering in time to right yourself. Would you like to describe Severin? Well, <laughs> um, <clears throat> Severin is a half elf with kind of this ashy brown, ashy blonde hair. Um, pale tan skin if that makes any sense it's almost like it's he's been drained of some of that color um he wears black and dark gray leathers and uh purple eyes and very striking prosthetic arm with clawed uh hands with you know i'm sure at this point in his dream because it's what these are (laughs) um there's this red mass of just color on his his prosthetic of just writhing energy um and that's what he is he's got a (laughs) gun in one hand and sword in the other Mm -hmm. and he's staring a nightmare down (laughs) (laughs) the carnathy brute that you are taking on lets out a growl as they advance with rage in their eyes and their bastard sword in hand roll initiative (laughs) (laughs) whoa whoa Too combat. I wasn't expecting the first one. <laughs> it just kind of happened. Sorry, I we'll sucked. To, no, no, no. We'll need to. Well, he sucked too, so we'll need to refine those Feel dueling issues. Well. Pulled a knife on Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, everybody gets one combat in their character intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Where do you have? Uh, yeah, that was great. That was great. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. You're intimidated out of yours. I, I did. I mean, this you, has been the you most. You did go into combat mode. It has been the most us fucking intros ever. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. All right, what did you roll for initiative? 15. Okay, he rolled. What's his Please What's his Please perception? Please plus twenty. He rolled a fourteen. <laughs> Remember when you took that plus one last night? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what did you roll again? I'm uh, sorry. Fifteen. Okay. So yeah, he yeah. rolled just one lower yeah. than you. So Severin, as you like, kind of recover this kind of like superhero landing almost, as you like scrape back your 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 sword in one hand, your gun in the other, as this Carnathy this Carnathy Bone Knight is coming towards you, kind of dragging the sword along the ground as he goes. What do you do? Um, he's gonna move to meet him, mm-hmm. um, attack once yes. with his uh, sword, mm-hmm. and then step back to shoot. So we're Got looking it. at two attacks because I don't want yeah. to do more. <laughs> Got it. So it's going to be a stride, strike, mm-hmm. and then strike with the gun? Mm-hmm. Got it. All right. Make it happen. So sword is probably going to miss. That was a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Where, <laughs> where are things? Where did I put this? You strike for free. Huh? You can strike you for can. free. Yes. free. <coughs> but it's... No, I'm saying, Let are you see. doing that? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're good so, so, okay. So, so you're striding for free because mm-hmm. way of the drifter. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to strike with the sword, stab to get out of range, mm-hmm. and then fire at him? Okay. Yes. Got it. Um, so we're looking at... That's why I was... Yeah, sure. sorry. No, you're good. Uh, you're six good. plus seven, so that's 13. 13 uh, will unfortunately miss. That's fine. Ooh. Uh, gun I is... I barely hear this music. Sorry. It, it faded out. Oh. Skip to the next one. Oh, it did. You're right. Oh, classic. Uh, seven. Uh, <laughs> I know. And then the seven shot is, is uh, 28. 28 will... 28 is a critical hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that matters to me. <laughs> so you get a 13 and a 28? Yeah. So, so what? Remind me of critical So critical, cri- the way that critical hits and critical fails work in this, uh, if you roll a natural one or a natural 20, of course, that is a critical f- uh, fail or hit, um, like in any other TTRPG that uses D d20. Um, if you also, if you roll 10 above the target AC or DC or below, okay. that is respectively a success or a so, fail. So it's actually like, you. you 
there's no more of that like oh, I rolled a 24 oh ha 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 yeah. like, it's like well actually if I roll no, high enough it, 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 is, it is important yeah, to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah and your and crit it, yeah and your crits yeah. are deadly so <laughs> also sorry I wasn't trying to rule swear I was trying to make sure you got yeah. the most out of your turn no I, I appreciate it um, it helps we're all still learning the system yeah. Yeah. um god 18, 18 damage. 18 damage. Seven. <laughs> Good that's, God. That's, that 18 damage took me four turns. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So so you you go in. You dart in. This is like fucking anime. Honestly, <laughs> like you yeah! you cut in. You go in and you like jump with the sword. He easily parries it, and you kind of use the momentum to like bounce back and mid air. What does it look like when you fire your wand? Um, it's coming from his prosthetic, and it's transferring to the uh the wand in his other hand. And it's just a pulse of red energy, um, a dart almost, uh, that when it collides, it almost kind of takes over what it's hitting. And um, it starts building if he keeps oh, hitting. Oh, yeah. And uh, what, what you do is is you, like, jump up and you find, like, you got close enough to find your target, the opening in the armor. And you blast it and you watch as you just, like, blast off one of the pauldrons and, like, this, this like, magical shrapnel kind of, like, flies up into the helmet as he lets out this, like, ah! And he, but he, like, still, you know, pushes through because this is a tough dude. But, uh, yeah, you have you have messed this guy up. He is, uh, he is bloodied. Okay, um, then with his last action, he'll shoot again. All right. <laughs> Which is a... Oh, yeah, that's not going to hit. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the penalty again? Well, minus five. ten. Two very different colors. I had a minus five and a minus ten. <laughs> I, 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 hang on. Is oh, that a second attack? Would the second, would the second attack have a minus five applied to it then with the um, 28? Yes. Okay, then that would oh. have not been a crit. No. Or did you, or did you still roll a 28? <laughs> what is your modifier? Hang on. So yeah, it would have been. So it would have been a twenty-three. Okay, so yeah, that so that okay, so that wouldn't be a crit. But that. you know what? It I was forgot. pretty cool. We'll mm-hmm. keep it. Oh, Fuck it. You know, we're learning. I just we're learning. Let you guys know that Grace has, is responsible and has like flashcards right now. We're learning. <laughs> we're learning. We I'll let to. it fly. So this is a dream, anyways. Fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, spoiler alert. I mean, I already ruined it. So if I need to do any gold math. So do you want to take that third action to shoot as well? Or you missed, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a miss though, because it's like a, it's slow. It's a. 11. Yeah, no, and then, that's not going to hit. Yeah, there's a minus. The next okay. one, as you kind of land, you fire it again, but this time he's ready and he just like shifts out of the way. Um, surprisingly quick in that big suit of armor, he is going to uh, stride up to you and then make two attacks with the bastard sword. The first one is a natural one, Severus. Oh. As he, as he swing, it makes this big swing, you're already out of the way. Um, second attack is a 16. Oh, that misses. All right, yeah. Once again, you just leap out of the way. Hell yeah. Uh, it's your turn. Fucking, fucking Christ. Dice? I moved them. Um, I have a focus bolt, but I don't want to deal with that right now. Um, it's going to kind of be the bread and butter. Uh, he's going <laughs> to... trying to think. Because he, he's far enough away, he's going to shoot first, step forward, mm-hmm. um, melee attack. It's... For him, a lot of fighting is a dance. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of well, this guy's close the out. close the distance with you at this oh, point. That's so. yeah. It's going to be the same thing then reverse, so be melee and then and then step. get back and yeah. then fire. Very yes. cool. So I uh, love that this game incentivizes you to move. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. No opportunity. God. Yeah, that too. Yeah. That too. Yeah. Uh, sixteen to hit. Sixteen will miss, unfortunately. Oh, Jesus Christ! This guy's wearing armor. Yeah. Um. 19 plus 4 is... Uh, that'll hit. <laughs> yeah, 23. definitely hits. Definitely hits. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be low damage, though. Uh, 5 damage. 5 damage. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. He is, uh, he's, he's rough. Um, um, and... You said 5? Yes. Okay. And then he's actually going to then use the rest of it to move out of the way. So Got he's going to start from range next time. Got it. Away. So 25 feet? Mm-hmm. Okay. He is going to move 25 feet towards you. going to just keep chasing you and make two attacks. The first one, that is, a, that is a 27. That hits. Is it a critical hit? Uh, what is that, 10 plus? Plus 10. What's your AC? 18. Okay. So just shy of a critical hit. <clears throat> so you take... Um, so he's two-handing this as well. So it's a d12 Whoa. for damage. Um, seven points of hands. piercing damage. Fucking... Uh, as he as he like runs in and just like stabs into you. Oh, then he's shit. gonna then he's gonna make the second attack. Um, Twenty, not natural. 
Uh, that hits. All right, so second attack. Um, oof, that one is, oh, I rolled max. That is a 16 piercing. That takes him down. Yeah, so so uh, you, 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 it's this, it's this melee of you two going back and forth, and then he just rushes up and just runs you through and you like grab the blade instinctually and feel your legs faltering. And uh, as you do, you you hear uh, Thora's voice. She says, Severin! And you watch as this bolt of like crackling magical energy just, and just, just blows that guy away. Um, and uh, you're, you're like, you're still up basically, but you're on your last legs as, um, as Thora runs over to you. And she says, all right, we're set. We gotta get out of here. Come on. And she, uh, she like goes to lift you up. Where's uh, everyone else? They're gone, Severin. It's just us. As you look around, you can see the bodies of your squad mates just laid to waste. Um, she says, but the, the, the charges are set. The resonator's going to get destroyed. Come on. Right, I'm, he's going <laughs> to... And, uh, and uh, so uh, she'll like uh, lift you up. And as you, as you look around at this, this scene, you know, this mission that uh, your comrades in arms have died for, you kind of look over to see... The, uh, the object of it, and uh, you see a, a, a figure standing before the resonator. This small, uh, um, this, this, uh, where is it? Uh, you see a figure walking towards the Mabaran resonator that your squad was tasked to scoring. Uh, this small figure dancing around it. You can't see her face, her back is turned. But all you can see is her long blonde hair and hear her laugher, laughter ricocheting off the walls. Yeah. As Thor is like trying to drag you away. It's probably just one of those moments where like time goes slow. Mm -hmm. And he's pushing off from Thora mm -hmm. and running towards the girl. She's like, what are you doing? Stop, Severin! As you run towards the girl, you're about to reach out to her. She begins to turn, and then there's this huge explosion. The last thing you see are hazel eyes before you wake up. And uh, you're on your couch in your apartment. You wake up in a cold sweat. Um, As you do. Your heart is like hammering. You feel that familiar <clears throat> burn of your mark whenever you have one of these dreams. Um, is your mark on your side or on your arm right now? It's on his arm because mm -hmm. he sorry, on his side because he doesn't have his arm Got on it. right now. Yeah, so you just wake up and just in this cold sweat. Um, He's staring up at the ceiling, uh -huh. just like going through the steps of waking up and just having to go, okay, it's a dream. I'm in Sharn again. Oh, fuck, I'm in Sean again. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, you hear this kind of like chuckle from across the room as uh, you kind of sleepily turn your head over and see uh, a seized in uh, your half work uh, mechanic, uh, basically uh, life companion, <laughs> essentially. Um, uh, 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 you know, she's all dressed for work. <laughs> she's dressed in like her coveralls and she has, it looks like she was like about to leave and she says, uh, have another nightmare again? I'm gonna talk about it. Yes and no. It's, go on, I got a few minutes before I gotta go to work. Uh, I'm not. I died in my dream again. Life sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That keeps happening. You think yeah. it means anything? Uh, the impending doom of dying? Yeah. Mm. I hate it when that happens. You're just gonna kind of sit up and just. <clears throat> contemplate. Mm -hmm. By the way, our favorite scumbag came by this morning and informed me that the rent's getting increased again. So, uh, we're gonna need to rework the budget for this month. Mm -hmm. I think Nix is gonna have to get out of the house and maybe get a real job. Are you gonna tell him, or am I? Well, that depends. Are you gonna go and... I mean, I'm about to go to work. Where are you going? Are you gonna go and meet those people you met down in Calistan again? Yeah, maybe they have a job. We can table, all table, mix that whole shit, because she's going to be heartbroken. Uh, I'll think about it. Oh, did they say why? Oh, wait, sorry. Not Nix. Phi is going to have to get a real job. Yeah, Nix has a real job. Yeah, uh, Phi is going to have to get yeah. a real job again. <clears throat> he probably would have then gone, don't you mean Phi? Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Um, and uh, she, says, <laughs> she says, shit. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I've gotten it down. I nailed it last night. You weren't here, but I nailed mm -hmm. it. That's every single night. I you nailed say that. it. I did. You weren't here. How do you know? Um, she says, "Look, all right." And she stands up and she says, "I know I'm not going to convince you to stay out of trouble. So just don't die, okay? Or suffer any long-lasting injuries. It's tough enough trying to keep everybody out of trouble mm -hmm. solo." Yeah, you know, don't take any wooden coppers or anything. 
Yeah, exactly. <sighs> All right. Let's have fun with the clankers. Oh, you know, you really need to stop calling them that. They're pretty good people when you get to know them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, mm, we'll figure that out. And he's going to reach for his arm, put it on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> <laughs> ching. Uh, yeah, and um, get ready. As uh, as <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as uh, Zin heads out, uh, you hear kind of a, the the telltale sounds of like someone wandering down the stairs. As um as uh, Nyx walks in, and she's like in her pajamas, and she's stretching. Uh, this uh, you know this like eighteen year old uh, you know b- blonde haired uh, hazel eyes, and uh, she she looks at you. She says, "Morning, Severin. Can you make me pancakes?" <laughs> It's been three seconds. I love her. <laughs> I love her too. Um, Severin, on the part. other hand, though, he's just <laughs> he's processing. Um, first, what do you say next? Please. Uh, second of all, I don't have time, unfortunately. <sighs> Why? What are you doing? Uh, figuring out rent. Oh, yeah. Wanna... Scumbag came by this morning, I heard. Scumbag. They all call him Scumbag. <laughs> they say why rent was increased? What do we do now? Because he's a landlord and a bastard? <laughs> Thank God, at least we didn't do anything. Papa, what if, what if, what if it is... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Might go egg his house later. <laughs> we'll see. Please do. We'll see if I have time. I, I, you didn't. You didn't. I didn't say anything. And me neither. Yeah. So you're not gonna make me pancakes. Unfortunately. Not. Okay. And she just <laughs> walks off into the kitchen and she starts busting out the pancake stuff for herself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted me to do your job. <laughs> well done. You're better well at making played. pancakes. Yeah. Well. You've got the secret recipe. Right now I have one arm on. I'm putting on the other arm. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I can do my fucking. Mm. <sighs> uh, all right. Well, I am then, I guess, going to make these pancakes. Do you want one, or are you just going to get out of here? I'm going to have to get out of here. Okay. So. Are you going to come back for dinner? You're going to cook, right? Now I don't want to come back. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Mm-hmm. She says as uh, <laughs> she, you know, starts mixing the the, the dough together, <laughs> or the batter, I guess. Yeah. Um, um, he's gotten very good at dressing quickly, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so it's probably only a couple minutes. And he. <laughs> yeah, she, she's <laughs> making a pizza pancake. <laughs> yeah. Chenaru <laughs> nametsuma. Uh, that's why Severin is the one who makes uh, the pancakes because uh, oops, every pizza. <laughs> yeah, those yeah. are our pancakes. <laughs> and as you uh, leave, she's like, Severin, it's stuck on the ceiling again. <laughs> It's a very thick <laughs> pink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll have kind of walked by, ruffled her head, and then... Yeah. You too. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. He's going to leave. Have a good day. <laughs> He's going to close the door and head out. All right. <laughs> you head out. And with that, we've done all of our character introductions. Okay. Huzzah. 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 They were all so good. Yeah. Heart. All right. So, you guys... Uh, obviously had uh, a heist that you all kind of ran before this, and uh, there is a, a stash of goods involved, some Zendriki artifacts that yeah. uh, could potentially be sold for a pretty good price. So, yeah, you all... who's asking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm just laying the laying the scenery or the, the circumstances, of as it were. Of um, so, where are you all meeting up? It's been, it has been, it has been, it has been, where else, where else, where else? <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll get the corporate music going. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. safe there. Yes, it is. There's a bunch it of losers there. Safe. No, it's safer, it's Nick's apartment. Mm. Seth never learned about the I, Blinkies thing until now, I and he's sitting outside of it just like. I think it's the moral question is where does Roy tell us all to meet? Yeah, for real. That's where, true. Roy, I mean, where do you Roy t- probably does tell him to Need it. God, yeah. All right, we're busted out the corporate music. <laughs> we just folks. left. We're gonna leave to go back. <laughs> yeah. Guys, no. So, we have so, to meet so somewhere. Uh, in, in my mind, this yeah. is all. This is all stuff that has happened like over the course of a couple days after oh, the sure, heist. Sure, sure, sure. Today is the uh, the first of Zarentir, 998 YK. It is New Year's Day. Nobody in Kalistan is celebrating because everything is awful. Everything is awful. What's the um, 998 YK. We are now at standard Eberron starting time. Hey, uh, so, we did it. <coughs> yeah. 
and uh, you all find yourselves in uh, in Blinkies. Ooh, wait, Again. I'm about to put the, all of our art names. Oh yeah, and let's see on. everybody. A boom! Oh. Well, it's not the big one. I meant to uh, put that on there. I which, do have that, but it's one? under our heads. Oh, by the way, which Jacob, um, the, the full one. I'm gonna let you. But I do have that one, but. The, what are you talking about? Oh, which one? <laughs> what the, the one, the one where they're really far away. Oh, on the not that one. No, 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 no. I'll, sh- I'll post that one. Oh, the, the that overlay one. Overlay with a note on yeah, it. Yeah, with the yeah. note on it. Not I don't have that one. Hey, uh, hey, I'll post all my memes later tonight. Just so you know, um, it turns out uh, chat chat helped out a lot. Uh, I missed the four free ability scores that you get when, uh, you, when you make your character. Oh no. So they the were like, why do you not, suck? So everyone was like, man, Beerbot's stats seem kind of low. Did you miss something? And oh someone no. Pointed out. And then J- uh, Jordan and I like did oh, some math. I saw you guys pointing well, at books over there. I'm like, yeah. what are you guys talking about? Jordan and about? I did some math and oh, found good. that he had Thank you, chat. Really appreciate it. Stats. Like we said, we're so, still figuring this shit so, out. But <laughs> if, if, the, if the stats get shown uh, for Beerbot at all, those yeah. are inaccurate. No worries, so. Those are grievously low. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's his not combat mode. <laughs> yeah. 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 Once combat mode is engaged, then he gets his four yeah, free yeah. abilities. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, do, 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 yeah, do. Uh, you guys are in Blinkies. Uh, it's probably about like 11 o'clock in the morning at this point, mm. um, maybe just past. Um, Dharma and Estelle are at it again, absent mindedly cleaning stuff until you guys order. Um, <laughs> We're just baffled. Um, yeah, Severin never been to Blinkies before? I don't think so. Mm. <laughs> so, like, so the burrito and the fry crumb combo is really good. Uh, depending on what dog. you get. That, that, is, that is not true, but it is edible. You should get, it's you, very, you very good. Shake. Darn I just tell him it's grist. Okay. It probably is, right? It's, it's just water. No, is it? actually it's not. Oh, is it dinosaur? No. It's Rat a trade Mole secret. Raptor? Trade secret. Mm-hmm. Oh, big I secret. I have to sign an NDA. Did you really? What the fuck? He sets up. Fucking who? With House Galanda, the owners of this establishment. Wow. Well, right. <clears throat> I uh, I prefer the blink dog. Is that? <laughs> about, was it your attempt at humor? <laughs> no, that's actually look. It's on the. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Texas is really never know. Yeah. 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 I thought that was number like an one. Yeah, yeah, the I number know, one. It's something you could get. It's the blink. The blink dog. Oh yeah. shit! Then yeah. I get up and I go over and I and I see Roy and I'm just like. Roy, how you doing? I'm all right, how are you? I'm going to get a blink dog. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give you a puppy. Yeah. You know, I think I like to be honest with people more nowadays. You know, I try to be better. Because yeah. when you hit rock bottom, the only way you can go is up. So I'm kind of fucking terrible. But seeing you, I feel, you know, <coughs> a, you know, a modicum better. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you mean. Wait, what? I just don't. I want. I don't understand. Are you saying that you have hit rock bottom, and that you are now coming up from rock bottom? Well, there's only the only way forward is up, right? Usually, yeah. Unfortunately, you can't go back down. Here, you can. That's true. You can stay down. No, you know. Yeah. Then I think I'm still at the bottom. Well, especially now though, like we we we've, we've stuff gone up a little. You know, having some gold in my pocket. It's, 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 it has been. Sorry, what it, are they called? I'm fucking uh, Galifars. Galifars. Guess having it, some Galifars in my pocket. Still need pocket. to get you guys that document. It has <laughs> only that common been knowledge document. A handful of days mm-hmm. since yeah. I last saw you, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you're you're telling me that you have hit in that time, you have hit <laughs> rock bottom. We did drink a lot last night. Is this a it was pretty bad. common occurrence? Like, you ever had to come out both ends? Shot. He did get shot. I had to heal him. Jesus. He got shot. Wait, yes. when did that happen? I'm fine. Two Remember ago. that time I said you should all go lay low and not attract attention to yourself? I, did I just low. went oh, back to my job. He got so shot. Okay. He got shot and then he killed the guy. I just went back to my job. And then took his dream levy. You fucking that, that the man had just bought. Okay, okay, we're going to stop analyzing his service schedule and uh, going <laughs> over every little thing I did. <laughs> What did you do, Roy? I hid the goods. Mm-hmm. I paid our tithe to Borma oh. and set us up for with future work. So with, we are now officially a criminal fucking outfit. With Borma. Well, no, uh, we're independent contractors. I told the world they're just gonna not be a gonna, wild. They're just not gonna come slit our throats <clears throat> and in our sleep. But What's we're that? taking jobs. No, they're not gonna do that because yeah. uh, I paid them. Right. Taking jobs from Borma. Um, we are going to take the jobs that Bormar cannot take. Is taking jobs with Bormar bad? 
Oh yeah, it's a... uh, do you not want to work? I mean, yeah, do you not want to work with with Barma? You is have that a to problem? when you're down here? Right. No, it's. I mean, it's crime. Why is it a problem? Uh, do you have? I mean, look. Is there someone in the Barma organization that wants to fucking kill you? I we. I don't. I'm not joking around. We probably should know that right now, so that if we <laughs> if we go there and visit them and they say, hey, that's the fucking guy we want to cut the fucking head off of. Oh. It would be bad for the rest of us. Severin doesn't seem like somebody who uh, Do keeps you? enemies. <laughs> I feel like you become an I enemy of Severin. So. You... you just doesn't recognize that if... You're Severin. Um, You're skin severed. <coughs> oh, is that your attempt at humor? Oh. Ah, fuck you, bear butt. <laughs> <laughs> Never do that again. <laughs> Anybody else have problems with the Bormar clan? I assume you don't because you went there and still have your No, head. in fact, I, uh, I have an in with the Bormar. Oh. I know the capo of this area, and named Ilsa Borma. Oh. Grew up with her, which is nice. Her last name Borma? Well, her last name wasn't always Borma, but she like took that last name. I guess you could buy her something. She didn't get like married? Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I didn't see a ring. Well, not everyone that's married wears a ring. Stick who she get married to? Mr. Uh, Borma? I don't I don't really know <laughs> how it works. Mrs. <laughs> Borma. Uh, I don't that's know. How how it works. Works. Yeah. Is it Thank you, Rana. <laughs> Roy, yeah, good job. You're doing. You're 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 helping us out, and uh, you know I recognize that. I, and then he just sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Ugh. so. Uh, first things first, we gotta get that stuff, and we gotta fence it. So I have a person. I know. I know a guy. Well, you know? a lady. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Slow your roll there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. I love the enthusiasm, but not yet. <laughs> but you know better, probably. <laughs> there you go. Well, see, the danger is we can't sell it to anybody. Uh, we need to fence our goods through a Boromar approved agent so they get their kit back and we don't get killed. I like and being alive. I think the person I know is mobbed up sufficiently. I mean, we could use yours in maybe in the future. I I don't I don't know where she is or if she is affiliated. I don't remember, but I could try to remember. <laughs> you know what? Stick, um, why don't here, you go here's ahead what you remember. <laughs> <laughs> so um, get, on, get on that. Your your associate, um, she's freelance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I will I will point out. I don't know if I if I laid this down sufficiently in the message I sent you, or that I communicated this well. Your your fences are also freelance. They don't work with the Boromar clan, <coughs> and oh, there's God. not necessarily. I, I will say the thing about you could fence it to a Boromar contact, but they're going to take a pretty hefty cut for 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 their for your for their troubles. Um, hey, and so, Jack. Yeah. For, uh, I'm the audience. What's Boromar? Oh, hey, the Boromar clan. They are the uh, the halfling crime family that runs Sharn, basically. <laughs> they used to control Sharn, uh, like, from top to bottom. But now, uh, a new gang has showed up called Dask from the Nation of Monsters, and they are fucking their shit up. And now, <laughs> they're, uh, so now, they're kind of like the mafia? They are sort of? sort of like the mob, in a way. Wow. Yes. Um, but, uh, but... And uh, you know they basically got very comfortable. They they were used to not having any uh, people that were competition that would try and mess with their shit. And then yeah, uh, Dask crazy. showed up, and now everything is ruined. Uh, <laughs> like now you know they're pushed back to a, a point. They are weaker than they have ever been, and they're kind of getting desperate. Other groups are starting to pop up, like mm -hmm. Dask and other mm -hmm. other things like that. So the underworld's a bit of a mess right now, mm -hmm. coming out of the war. Um, so we gotta sell all of our stuff to somebody who they, they're gonna agree with? I mean, why? I mean, Galfar's I, Galfar. Yeah, I will say you don't have to. You can sell it to an independent fence. And uh, from and I, I don't, and I think maybe maybe it was something I said as Ilsa that I didn't come across right. I think Ilsa said, go through an independent fence. She, she said, don't okay. go through Boromar for this one. Okay. You got yeah. this, like whatever, have your fun. I'll let, I'll let this slide is basically what that okay. meant. So sorry for the confusion. Yeah, uh, then we'll just, um... In fact, I know a guy who can fence this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad that we could use somebody not associated with Boromar. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's just if you're going to do business here, you got to make sure that you're doing business that's okay through them. And since we already hit their territory without getting prior okayed, I just wanted to make sure we're not stepping on anybody's toes. Right. Boromar toes. Little tiny toes. 
<laughs> if you said that they are, are they smaller than you? They're the same size. Physically or like metaphor, like are we talking about like? Rena. Yes. They're the po- politically. <laughs> yes. No, they're much bigger than I am. They like run this city. I think that's why we don't want like to the whole on thing. Toes. I mean, not the whole thing now, but most of it still, like seventy-five like percent of it. But, but, but you said they had small toes. Right. Well, they have. So they have very small toes. Like, I mean, little guys. Small in comparison to like yours. Like, or this, his. Then, then they wouldn't be small to you. No, it's but I am a process. small person who lives in a regular sized world. So, tell him. You know. Are you in a booster seat? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you in a booster I was saying, are you no. in a booster seat? Oh well, yeah, it could be a booster seat. It's okay. it's not for kids. It's just for halflings. Look, Rena, I don't want to have a fucking conversation about how uh, 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 height regulations and ramps and stairs are uh, 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 fucking abysmal rate for, what, 35% of the fucking population of this city? I don't want to have that fucking conversation. I had that fucking conversation. I got really fucking upset about all the goddamn ramps and having to jump up and grab a fucking doornail. Anyway, it's not great. Zerifus, you're the second tallest person here. Right, you can grab any doorknob you wanted to. I, I never struggled opening a door, that's true. Yeah. I haven't thought about my door privilege. Nope. You should. All right. I'm gonna do that. Do you know how fucking hard it is to walk up stairs that are like the size of your calves? I can see that would be very frustrating. Oh. Oh, oh you're, you're acting it out. Yep. Someone's like, contemplating his milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you when are we gonna that. get rid of all of the stuff that we shouldn't have? Well, we replace it with gold. If we go and talk to my. I see guys. She's not a guy. If I go talk to my person. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we could get the ball rolling and we can see how, how, how fast it's going to take. She's pretty good. I mean, she was good. I don't know. She's new. We should go talk to her. Okay. All of us? Please. I'd love to get out of here. <laughs> okay, what's, what's the fucking point of this place? It's very good food. <laughs> it is pretty good. Are you oh, asking oh, no. what's the point it's of this terrible. place like an everyday or why are we here specifically? Take like your pick. Terrible. We're here <laughs> specifically so that whoever's uh, perhaps trying to follow us or yeah. interrupt us or kill us doesn't know where we live. Yeah, and those two fuckers back there know we'll kill them. But everybody knows. Blink Why are you a shit. hassling? We're not hassling them. They just know. <laughs> as you as you say, like those two fuckers over there know we'll kill them. You hear like a ping, ping, like sorry, sorry, sorry. And, and <laughs> he's like ten. Yeah, he's probably shitting his pants. How old 17? are you? Uh, 17. He's See? like 10. Hey, yeah, you let me you're listening. <laughs> he retreats <laughs> into the back. I gotta go uh, chop the potatoes. And as for why Blinkies uh, exist in the first place, I guess poor people have to eat too. Yeah. And it's very good. It's, it's right not very good. It, I think it's it good. It's the best that we've got. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean that we're poor people? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. Well, I am sleeping on the floor. I think this is the most money I've had in my life. <laughs> where, where really? It's better than sleeping in the alley like yes. before. Wow. You know, you could buy a bed with your cut. Just put it right in the middle of the living no. room. I'm sure it's different. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't no. think no. like that. <laughs> my place is a temporary place. You guys can find your own place. Play with your own money. Stag, I'm going to have to save. Save what? <laughs> How much is left? Money... You're already stealing from me. What, what do you got to say for? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking uh, everything you've given me from the, uh, the graciousness of your heart. Still being a dick. <laughs> so let's go see my 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 fence. Let's go. Uh, you uh, want us all to come? Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Right. Let's go. All right. Fantastic. So you all head out of. Oh shit, Severin, your burrito. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Catch a burrito! Yeah, it's, 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 it's falling! It's the <laughs> <laughs> it's opening up. <laughs> the Tarmite's like, oh, I gotta clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Sarah's> like, <laughs> um, Okay. Earn your corporate gold as he walks out. <laughs> Damn. Since this is a silent time, um, Sev's metal hand arm is hidden. He does not walk around with an average. I was gonna arm. ask, yeah. Yeah, it's just because Art 
And I was like, oh no, mm -hmm. I have to cover it up. And people went, you shouldn't do that. So I went, <laughs> <laughs> While we're so, waiting yeah. as well, I just want to point out that we got two hundred dollars from Box Ratio. Oh my gosh! Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, so I was yeah. going to read before we went to break. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure that that is oh, oh, recognized. Yeah. Holy shit! Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Crazy. A while, We've all been popping off with mm -hmm. the with the stuff lately. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you all head out. Uh, in the... <laughs> what? Sorry, Gabe just said this party ain't the one percent. They're the same. <laughs> Game is fucking funny. You guys. We're the ninety, like yeah. the ninety-nine point nine, yeah. whatever that. Like, it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah. no, you're the one percentile, <laughs> <laughs> or the ninety-ninth percentile, I guess. Yeah. So you all head out into the streets. Uh, you leave the uh, the the safe haven of Blinkies behind. Um, <laughs> the safe haven. And uh, as, safe, as, safe as, as safe as Kalistan can get uh, in Blinkies. Blinkies. Um, and uh, it's your respawn point. you guys head uh, <laughs> deeper into, yeah, for real. You guys head deeper into, there's like a bonfire in there. Uh, you guys head in deeper into Calistan, uh, crossing <coughs> over into the neighborhood of East Bridge. Uh, Calistan is divided into two sections. There is the, there, the, there's the bridge plaza in the center where a bridge from the upper levels has fallen down into the center. And that is kind of the dividing line between Calistan. West Bridge is about as safe as Kalistan can be. It's where Blinkies is located. And uh, it's, it is mostly controlled by the Boromar clan and their allies. Everything to the east of the bridge is East Bridge. And that is controlled by Dask, uh, some Boromar loyalist gangs, some uh, rising upstart gangs, and is basically the Wild West, except yeah. it's east. Um, so it's the Wild East, you know, and no man's land, basically. And uh, we're in Lower Dura. So yes. This is like... This is the, the pits of Sharn, basically. This is the worst of the worst. Julia was very nice to put the sun in our art. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you, you know, you don't. You guys got to, you guys uh, got to go up to like Middle Dura for that picture. It's like, <laughs> all right, shit, we gotta get out of here. The Sharn watch is coming. Uh, Run, uh, guys, we need a shot we for all of our on... little flyers we're giving out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to put on sunscreen for that one yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys rock so up to, uh, uh, you guys uh, head over to uh, a tenement in East Bridge where you know that um, your. Uh, your uh, old uh, your old comrade Hada lives, um, oh. and uh, as you as you uh, all of you walk up through this like dark street, you know East Bridge, everybody is like minding their own business. If 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 anybody looks you in the eyes, they immediately like dart off or, or get very defensive. Um, you see just rough individuals in the street, people just keeping to themselves. <laughs> they don't, <laughs> that, and you see like people lurking in the alleyways, maybe like sizing people up to you know jump out and grab them. Obviously, you guys are all traveling together in a pack and look scary as shit. So like you know they're not gonna jump With you. With Rena, yeah, <laughs> they see Rena, and you see like one guy come out. It's like oh no, never mind. <laughs> There's a war forge there. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Um, and uh, you you get uh, up you get up to uh, where her apartment is. You've been, you've been around here before, uh, and you find Roy that um, the door has been kicked in. Oh, oh shit. shit! I think that means stop. It does. Roy's going to um, it means stop. Yeah. Try and uh, sneak to the door and see if he can uh, like look in and yeah, we'll stop. <clears throat> Uh, 19. Yeah, you very silently um, make your way to the door and peek in, and you see that the place is kind of trashed at this point. Um, you also see, looking in, um, you see your uh, your friend Hara, uh, Hara Cormer, this, uh, this hobgoblin woman. Um, she is currently unconscious on what appears to be like a, like a kind of a ratty sofa, essentially, and... Um, Next to her, you see uh, like a younger hobgoblin woman, probably like in her late teens. Uh, you know that this is her daughter, Kala. Um, and uh, you see that she is like, uh, she's like like putting like pillows under her. Uh, uh, Hara has been beat to hell. She, she, you know, her eye, is, she's got like black eye, you know, bloody nose, you know. Uh, and she's breathing very, you know, like, uh, shallowly, so as not to hurt herself. Basically, like catatonic at this point. And um, you're you're so quiet, Kala doesn't even hear you. But uh, you do hear her like kind of talking in in, in Goblin, like trying to like reassure, like her uh, like just this, like reassuring tone as she's like, you know, like clearly uh, in distress, Kala. Um, 
Roy's gonna like knock on the door um, loudly and kind of push it in. Yeah, um, she immediately like dart like looks over and sees you, and she says, "Oh, Roy, oh, come 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 in, please." Um, uh, and uh, she says, "These men, they, 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 they came and they were asking questions. They were asking questions about the job, about the job that you told my mom about." All right, hold on, hold on. Um, have, have, Roy's gonna go make a medicine check mm -hmm. on yeah. um, Hara. Mm -hmm. It's not very good. Can we hear this? Can I? Hear uh, this? Yeah, you, you, you see. I'm not going Roy. in, but yeah. I want to hear. Yeah. Well, you can hear it. Okay. You hear. You hear. These men came and, cool. and they were asking questions well, about, that was a about, about oh. your stuff. Yeah, you, you get in. You're. I think at this point, things have been fine up until now. But now there's clearly something very wrong, and you can't quite focus on diagnosing her medical condition at the moment because all the other gears are turning at right. this moment. Like, what does this mean? Who did this? What, like, what do we do now? Damn. Kind of thing. Stick, um, stick. Can you, yeah. get, can you get in here for, can, for uh, a yep, minute, please? Yep, 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 hi. Uh, what do geez, you mean? This oh. is my friends. Who's this? this is, these are my friends, these are my friends, these are my friends, okay? Yeah. Stick is very good. Yeah. He's great. gonna help your mom. You okay? all walk in and you see, you know, this, this trashed tenement um, <clears> and <throat> this hobgoblin woman that has been savagely beaten. Hey, stick. Can you can you can you see if you can stabilize mm -hmm, her? Yeah. I'm gonna talk. Uh, okay. Hey. So uh, tell me. Did you see it? Did you see what happened? Were you I, I was hiding. My mom told me to. My mom told me to hide in the, in the cupboard in the back. Okay. I need every single detail you can tell me. They were from the steel skins, Roy. Does Roy know the steel skins? Roll a uh, knowledge of the underworld or knowledge of crime. Crime. Um, in that meanwhile, Seth's gonna be still by the door. Yeah. Kind of just keeping a lookout. Yeah, you you post up and, you know, Could keep your hand, on, inside, your, your hand on your gun. Yeah. God damn. Um, eight. eight. Level one! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you've heard of the Steel Skin Gang before. However, you don't know a lot about them. They're kind of a new outfit. Um, they have cropped up in the last year or so, at least. You know, definitely wasn't around when you were here. Right. You've definitely heard of them. Uh, other than that, you know they're 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 out in Eastbridge. Okay. But other than that, you don't you don't know. Okay. Steel skins. How many were there? There were four of them. Four. Of them. Uh, they came in and they they were asking questions about. Uh, if, if you know, they've apparently they've been going to all the, the independent fences in Eastbridge, and they've been asking questions about if anybody knows who hit the warehouse in the in the stores. So they, they know. They know about. They knew about the job, but it sounded like they didn't know who you guys were. They so, didn't mention so this is any very, of you. This is a very important question. What did your mother tell them? She didn't tell them anything. No, no, no. Look, it's not a time to be brave. It's not a time to lie. You're not protecting me at all. I need to know what your mother told them. Because well, if they hurt her, and she said, which is completely fine, everybody cracks. Everyone thinks they're going to be tough under pressure, mm -hmm. under torture, and they ain't. So if they hurt your mom, and she said something, I absolutely need to know what it was. She didn't say anything, Roy. You know my mom. If anyone tries to throw their weight around, she throws it right back. She hit first, and then they were on her. Damn. And they just, they just kept kicking her, Roy. Uh, it was bad. Um, you know, I think eventually they kind of realized, you know, they weren't going to get any more information out of her, so they just, they just moved on. But they know about the job, and they're looking for the stash. They're looking for the goods that went missing. Roy, okay. Roy, who else knows about the job? I mean, you're looking at them all. Boromar knows because I told her about it. But that was this morning. So Look, gonna be... how long ago did this, did this happen? It was just an hour ago. Shit. Recent. These guys, they, um, what do they look like? They got, uh, metal pieces on them. Maybe a sword hand? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I mean, see. these were, these were yeah. like, these were, uh, you know, I think kind of <clears> lower <throat> level. They didn't have quite as much modification on them, but... But yeah, some of them did. Wait, so tell me, there were four. There were four, yeah. Humans, uh, hu There was two humans, a half-elf, um, and, uh, <clears throat> and um, I, th I think I was, it was a gnome or a halfling. I couldn't tell. Uh, I found one of them. We've been snooping around. Is that the person? He uh, got some dream lily from Stick. 
is to recover. He's dead. This is the, oh, my oh, my this is the person you murdered in the alley. And he pulls up his coat and he shows like the piece and he's like, that was his fucking arm. Why do you still have that? It's nice, I like when, it. When did that happen? <laughs> and the guy who I killed it for was like super <laughs> good. Jake, when did that happen? Like two days ago. He was fine. He knew they what did was mention. Going on. They did mention that one of their own got killed. I thought he was point. just a. I thought that this think, guy was I just a white I think they're out for blood. Okay. I didn't think he was uh, a part of a whole fucking gang. No. Stick. How's uh, how's she doing? Uh, do I have permission to? Uh, to the, yeah. uh, she says, please, anything you can uh, do. Yeah, of course. Um, I'll just cast heal on her. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, she gets eight hit points back. How much? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Well, no, I got to roll. Oh, I was going to say. I'm like, wow, just a static? That's yeah. great. What does your magic look like? Yeah. Yeah. What does what your does magic look like? <laughs> your healing magic. Yes, what does it look Smokes like? Smokes a blunt blue smoke. It feels <laughs> <laughs> You are healed. <laughs> hey, drink this. Like seven hit points. Seven hits. Seven hits. Back. It's cool. um, like a, like a, probably like a dark green magic that comes from, mm -hmm. yeah, just mm -hmm. comes over. And I, yeah. You said she's like pretty beat up around oh, her yeah, face and stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. And been probably kicked in the stomach oh, and the yeah. chest a whole bunch. Probably uh -huh. just focuses there. Then. And, uh, and she, uh, the, 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 the wounds begin to kind of heal a bit and, uh, you know, still roughed up. But mm -hmm. um, she she uh, kind of begins to come around and is, like, muttering under her breath. It's, like, still, for, for all intents and purposes, is, like, unconscious at this yeah. point. Uh, just really, you know, ma healing magic can only do so much. Yeah, she's just not going to hurt as much. Kala, K-A-L-A. It's the goblin word for uh, singer. Oh, that's, that's cool. Right. And Hara, uh, God, uh, no, Hara's not a goblin, but uh, Kormor, their, their last name means Redhorn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fun fact. In the goblin language. Okay. Shout out to uh, the Dar language in Eberron. Uh, okay. Um, has, do you, uh, Hara would probably have visited Roy's squatted building. Abode. Definitely. <laughs> um, do you remember where I live? Yeah. Okay, can you take your mother there? Yeah, as soon as I can get her on her feet, sure. Do you know how to get up the stairs? No. Okay. Up two, over to the right. Up three, over to the left. Up one, right. Up one, left. Could, could you like write that down? Or uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> she's like she's like trying, <laughs> to, but she uh, she takes it and she says, Th "Thank you, Roy. Thank you." Okay, get there, lay low. Uh, Is there anything you need here? No. Is your mother uh, got a stash? No, uh, but there's maybe something I can help you with. Um, she she goes into the back and um, like into a back room and she comes out and uh, she has what appears to be like um, like a crate, like a six like a six pack kind of crate of House Jorosco healing potions. She puts them oh, down. Oh, she shit. puts them down on the ground. She said, my mom... Uh, I take one immediately. My mom uh, found those falling off a sky coach. Um, yeah. And, uh, uh, and you know, she, uh, she was going to sell them, but, uh, you know, if the steel skins are coming, after, uh, are coming for people, and uh, I, I think you might need them. But, yeah, Roy, they're going after all the fences. They're going after all the smugglers. <coughs> they're asking, they're asking, they're interrogating everybody. I, I saw them outside. All right. I wonder if we know who could be next. Uh, did they take anything? They beat your mom up. Did they take anything? No, they didn't. Okay. Take your mom. Leave here. Get out of here. Uh, we got business to But play. what about the stash, Roy? You still got to sell the stash. And we'll handle that. Uh, we can't sell a stash to anybody if they're all beat up. Well, no, but I think you should take it to Whisker. Whiskers will... Whiskers is in... Steel skin territory, though. So if, if if you could take it to him, you know he could probably handle it. But you gotta have to find a way in there. Wouldn't he have already been checked? Yeah. That's what I'm counting on. I feel like if if something happened to Whisker, we would have known about it. Hmm. We would stay in touch. If he's in steel skin territory, he's probably working for them, so they wouldn't beat up their own. No, the steel skins. The steel skins only took over his neighborhood just a few weeks ago. They're treating people pretty bad over there, Roy. Real bad. All right, kid. Remember the stairs. Be careful. Lay low. Don't go anywhere. <coughs> you see, we're gonna literally do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she, uh, she, she nods as, uh, as, as you guys, um, <coughs> I, I guess, are about to, to go. Um, uh, spare bot. And, uh, and uh, we're next. Before, uh, before you do go, she says, "You know, everybody's real scared these days. Um, everything's so uncertain." 
all the independent fences, you know, they're either flipping to Boromar or they're going into hiding, leaving the district entirely. My mom, Whiskers, everybody, they're all looking for a safer bet to make. Maybe that could be you guys. Hey, uh, let's cross that fence when we get there, huh? Yeah, okay. Um, and she, like, holds up the little uh, piece of paper with the, st uh, the stair instructions. She says, I'll, I'll remember this. Thank you, Roy. We'll, we'll head over there as soon as I can get her on her feet. All right. Um, everybody in the hallway. <clears throat> you you the recognize hallway. that, yes, that <laughs> stealth isn't an option if I can't break you, never done. <laughs> um, well. You're more of our distraction. Mm -hmm. You're a really good one. Yeah. Sorry, what's the plan right now? I think we're going Can we get a to... wheelbarrow? <laughs> you know, that's oh a great God. idea. It oh. worked, <laughs> mostly worked last time. No, no, look. It's just, um, it's up, it's up to what would be the greatest fucking piece you could go fence to somebody right now? Post war. A wheelbarrow. A fucking warforged. <laughs> a warforged. A warforged. A, sh a fucking crazy ass warforged that no one's ever seen before. Right. So, what we gotta get you to do is lay down in a fucking wheelbarrow. And then we just cart your ass in there. You know somebody who could maybe cart your ass in there, Stick. <gasps> I do know someone who could cart so his look, ass in there. So look, you just gotta pretend to be out of commission. We're gonna sell you for parts. Once we find whiskers, okay, then we see what we can see. I think that's the best way to get you somewhere that's not having you clump around on, on the mm -hmm. street. What? That's smart. Wicked what's, smart. Uh, what's the word? Fucking wicked. <coughs> what's the word for me to... Uh, not be decommissioned anymore. I think the word might be something like, Bibba, fucking get up! <laughs> <laughs> that seems, that don't seems, actually let them take your bits. That seems very, uh, like, bits. obvious. I mean, I at the think... point when blades get drawn, it's gonna be real fucking obvious. What? I mean, look, Bibba, you're not a dumb guy. I'm, I'm sure you can What'd probably you? tell. I mean, we didn't do stealth all that much, so I'm not really sure all that. Oh, well, look, look, the yeah, last yeah. time, the kinda, last job I we mean, did... If you look at, if you look it, at me, it was kind of... The last there. job we did was sour mm -hmm. by the time we got there. Our plan was pretty fucking solid, okay? And it worked up until the point we got to the basement and all the fucking animals. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather have a special password to wake up? What's your activation sequence? I mean, like, yeah, what would you... Plug, what would you it, want? it could be something like peanut butter. <laughs> what? Or the <laughs> peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Pe Someone peanut says butter. peanut butter, peanut and butter. then you get up and start killing people. Is that an activation yeah. code? Peanut I mean, butter? the peanut activation butter. code is... If he wants it, that's good. A P E R dash eight zero T. Yeah, it. that's going to be really hard to say. Yeah, ah. just wake up works. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so... Uh, there has been a wrinkle in this plan, but it sounds like we've got an idea as to how we can address it. Mm -hmm. We'll figure that out. When we come back from our break, Yay! thank you so much for joining us. Hi, uh, Jacob. Would you like to read some Patreon? I would love to read. But before we do that, I think I, um, Spencer, do you think you could um, uh, hit those hit those donations that were in the chat while I load the this patrons? One right there. You you got it. You you got oh, it. Oh, you read, read it. Read you read it. it. You read um, it. Box ratio donated mm -hmm. one hundred and ninety nine. Dollars and ninety nine cents, Ooh, and yeah. said, nice. "Super excited for the series. I I also wanted to say your creativity recharged my own a while ago Aww. with Even Fall, and now I am publishing my adventures and writings. Again, oh, so thank cool. you for oh, your wow. words so and cool. encouragement. Yo, that's oh sweet. my gosh! <laughs> and uh, the work you can do, um, the work you can do, often has a larger effect than you know. You are golden." That's thank sweet. you so much, thank guys. Really appreciate that. Um, and uh, thank you to everybody else who's donating in the chat too. Um, you, you guys I'm scrolling are, are the absolute best. Yeah, if you see any, you can I hit them. At the, oh, there's one. Um, Jelly Roll Junior donated five dollars. Thank you for everything you guys have done for all the people that watch you guys. You guys have gone so far, and hopefully, we'll go even further. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. You guys are very sweet. And and yeah, uh, Barton with another twenty. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you gotta go play Underdark game with a lot of other cool Testonomicon server peeps. But my gods, what a fantastic stream! Y'all are the best. Uh, thank yous for everything you do. Thank you guys. Thank you guys you. are so awesome. You guys you are know great. About that, Seriously, Jacob? they've started a whole community just based off of like. Oh, yeah. I know. Testing yeah. No, they're the, they're awesome. Back when, they're um, so cool. 
back when Questo was like had like the the, the little test the test thing, thing they, and they've been, they've been keeping it going since then. <laughs> so if you guys want to support us over on our Patreon, there's a link down in the description. If you get on our ten dollar tier, well, if you get on our one dollar tier, you get a cool Discord uh, thing and you you help us out. If you don't get on our ten dollar tier, you also get uh, a Discord uh, role, and uh, we read your name uh, before the break of every Whoa. streams, which everybody makes very heinous all the time. <laughs> so a uh, big shout out to everybody who's helping us out right now, which is. Fucking 77 of you, um, which includes uh, Artemis, Disciple of the Keeper of Secrets, Viscountess of the Shattered Aurora in the Court of Shadows. There you go. <laughs> Spider Alex, fan uh, Spider Alex, fan of spiders, thinks Jacob could stop the rumbling. <laughs> rumbling. <laughs> rumbling. Um, Trivial Slope, Brokey, Joe Scamo, It's Gwen, Trans Homie. I see you playing Pathfinder. Did you know all the rules are free online? I will have more Pathfinder facts next time. I did that know that. That is true. Mm -hmm. I'm using tomorrow. Archives of Nethys right now. Hell yeah. Richard Hawkins. Hi, here to announce I no longer easily distract. Oh, a penny. Um, Brittany Anderson. <laughs> Leon Kennedy's Milkers. Azarifus, more like Azara Daddy. Haha, <laughs> please claw me. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, yo. Nice. I, the Assomancer. Nice. <laughs> I, the Assomancer, thank thee, O oh great booty. Let us find the butcher of Craig's leggings and march to the tractor and supply. <laughs> <laughs> Combining all of them. Okay, Dave I, the, I, 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 hear, I hear Craig in the background yeah, just yeah, laugh. Yeah. Dave the Grand, Joshua Cordell, Lego Builder 899, ever ready to see this game unfold. <laughs> ever ready. <laughs> That's in great. Pod Squad. Nolf says trans rights. I also say trans rights. Right. Kate 12, Boku no Chin Chin Chisai Desu. And you better <laughs> believe it. <laughs> we found out what that means. Oh yeah, I know exactly what that means. <laughs> you fucking weep. Uh, Arena the Forever DM, tax collector, Craig's foot cam cameraman, upset he doesn't have a dump truck like the others. <laughs> oh my god. Shania LaBulge, Pokemon addict phase, a bar named Scandal ready for some Eberron. Date the, uh, da sorry, da uh, Dana, the Thanks. late blooming fruit loop, Winter Stella, ML Wolf, Brittle Dragon, Lady Arby of the drive through protect trans homies, indeed. The booty of Blaviken cheeked up, doing sick twerks and pirouettes to the battle music. <laughs> ah, the dichotomy. <laughs> Wins howling. Cheeks clapping. Cheeks um, clapping. The the dichotomy of our audience, mm -hmm. you know, protect mm -hmm. trans homies and then doing sick twerks hey. and to the battle music. I mean, keep it intersectional, you know? <laughs> sick joy. I mean, what if both? I mean, what if both? It is both. Kevin Krupa Jr., she. <laughs> She city my she city ever on my towers till I campaign. <laughs> oh, you guys watch the next uh, podcast. Episode. Watch the next podcast. Watch the next Rory podcast. Rory Sinclair, Shista, Sai the Owl, Sandman, Coops, Austin, Austin Stowell. Why do they call it oven when they open yeah, the cold, cold food? About how to eat, eat the food. food. Redbeard, one sack, one load. Death Wolf, majestic whale of corn. Get ever on this D. <laughs> 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 Grandma got run over by a kobold. Small town eye care. The pinky life. Seven ninety nine at tractor supply for a hoe. <laughs> it's a good deal. Pure <laughs> osmium. Farragus, butler in chief to the cringe lord. Uh, Bob said I made his name overly long to make the cast read it for no reason other than his own amusement. The Diabetes, Dak Cop, waiting for the Technomancer to show up. <laughs> Mystical Combat, Venus, Loris Chris of House Cliff, Big Hoss, Scape the Goat, Gusta Ada, King Countess of Lovelace, Schmeep and Heaps, Thorin, before he DM'd, Jack was a logger, but he couldn't hack it. He didn't have the chops, so they gave him the axe. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Dormammu doesn't know much about Pathfinder. Has two e made grappling take less than an hour? <laughs> we skipped right over it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we skipped it. Whatever. Argus Fallen. Uh, Alice Lilybottom. Shurik and Sean looking out for changelings. Oh, shit. Uh, Barden, but I'm literally laying on the floor crying in joy over this game. Aww, oh, thanks, Barden, buddy. 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 Duncan York. Zach says she ever on my path till I find her. <laughs> oh, yeah! oh, that's the stream, everybody. Thank <laughs> you so <laughs> much. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know her. Oh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Dub Mill, Red Storm, Miria Stall, Mimi H, Pimp the Hood, Mama Love and Papa Joy, Josh Travis, and the Butcher of Craig's Leggings. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We will see you in a see few you in minutes. A
Hi. Hello. Welcome back to Eberron. <laughs> We, I don't know why. What do you do to keep back going? To uh, welcome back to uh, Eberron. I want to, I want to do like the, the Clone Wars announcer guy. Oh, but it's yeah. like trouble in Kalistan. <laughs> After hitting a place where people were fight making exotic bugs fight each other, <laughs> the party has yeah. You keep know, in mind Severin the exotic, Skywalker. <laughs> keep in mind, <laughs> the first Legion. Keep in mind that the exotic bugs hit first. That's true. They did. They did. Um, that, that struck first, really, we, is, we that saved just sounds people. like what? A, a transatlantic <laughs> accent? We actually did a good thing by hitting her. Yeah, like, transatlantic. Yeah. Really? Alrighty. So, <clears throat> we are ready to dive back into Eberron. I'm so ready. <clears throat> yeah. So, you guys uh, recently found out that the fence that you guys were going to use to um, sell your stash that you took from this previous job has basically been beat to shit by um, another mm -hmm. gang in Kalistan known as the Steel Skins. Um, so cool. You, uh, you guys are currently hatching a plan to go contact Roy's other fence, uh, who is deep in steel skin territory, see where his loyalties lie, and uh, go from there using Beerbot as the product. <laughs> um, so, um, but first, you guys are going to need uh, some transport to help mm. you guys get into the uh, the steel skin sort of uh, portion of Eastbridge, and. Stick uh, knows someone and mm -hmm. is probably leading you guys out to Precarious to find Stick's smuggler client. Mm -hmm. Precarious is the uh, the district right next to uh, Kalistan, which is uh, it's basically um, a warehouse district where uh, you know what I'll just read the little flavor thing I wrote. Do it. I don't need to. Do it. I don't need to. You can read the book. <laughs> Go read the book. Go read Shard City of Towers. It's a very good source book. And also what I'm using to run this, basically. Um, as you cross into the precarious district, you cover your eyes and allow them to adjust to something that you never get to see in Kalistan. Sunlight. Streaming down from mostly cloudy skies. The warehouse district of Precarious bustles with activity as massive skydot cranes pull cargo and freight from ships anchored in the Dagger River below. You also spot another rare sight for Lower Dura. Officers of the Sharn Watch, toting oh, halberds and saps, patrolling the, patrolling the streets in their signature blue jackets. As you pass by, a pair give you, give you a suspicious look before moving on further down the street. Though the district is dominated by massive cargo warehouses, tenements, flop, oh, sorry, warehouses, tenements, flop houses, and other establishments surround these storage facilities. Um, you know kind of the rough idea of where Kalana works. Okay. Um, and uh, you eventually uh, kind of arrive at this, uh, this kind of <coughs> intersection where, uh, sort of near to the docks, um, where uh, you all uh, see there's this, uh, this dwarvish woman, probably about like, four feet tall she's um very very muscular got these like intricate uh like sleeve tattoos of like dwarven like non-representational sort of designs um as she is uh like basically looking around as people pass by um and she's also like chewing on what appears to be like a fried lizard skewer um <laughs> as she's like um got her mouth full and she says be it f people of freight kalana's got you covered reasonable rates for transport anywhere in the city of towers as uh, she's like standing next to this cart um, and nobody really appears to be paying her any mind. She's just like, whatever. And she's <laughs> chewing away <laughs> on, her, on her lizard skewer. Stick, how well do you know this person? I sell her drugs on a, uh, I don't know. Um, she comes around sometimes. Two, three uh, times. So Is she going to charge us? I mean, I mean, I could maybe get us a discount. Like, By blackmailing her. What are, what are the odds <laughs> that she is under the influence right now? I think so. I just want to make sure that we're <laughs> Stay, not... If she was on Dream Lily right now, you'd know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just, you know. Okay. No, you, 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 okay. Do you trust this person? Yeah. With uh, my life? No. <laughs> that's kind of what we're, what we're about to do, though. <clears throat> Roy, Would she sell us What's wrong? Out? Why are you so nervous? We're just renting a room. Oh, uh, I don't know. My friend just got beat almost to death, and uh, very mm. nasty people are looking for us. Oh, you did know, you actually know them? I... Like you cared about them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's... That's why I invited them back to my home. No. Okay. Uh, but I don't think she'll that. sell us out. Okay, everyone. Plus, aren't we just looking to rent a wheelbarrow? If this person can get us into that neighborhood, we don't need... Well, I mean... We'll figure it out. Just 
Be She's prepared. getting us in or are we getting a wheelbarrow? What are we doing? Be prepared to be betrayed at any <laughs> moment. Right. Okay. And the, the key word is, everybody were being fucking betrayed. <laughs> oh. I think. Very direct and to the yeah. point. Pe- um, peanut butter. <laughs> so, <laughs> <one of> the- <laughs> Wait, no, 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 we can't, they can't be the same uh, thing. No, yeah, it can't be the Because that's what he We're being betrayed. <laughs> <Right. laughs> um, Come back, oh, Jelly. Jelly. <laughs> I'm going to say strawberry jelly. Jelly. Yeah. Or why, jam. Why not just jam? Jam. Jam. Sure. PB, well, jam. We're, but what if someone says that we are in a jam? That's well, jam. Jam. That means <laughs> kill. We shouldn't say that. If, you know, just if it comes down to really so we can say we are in a jelly. In case some of us aren't good at reading in between the lines if somebody's betrayed us. We, right. we are in a peanut butter. We, <laughs> yeah. we are in a peanut butter. We're we're in peanut jelly. butter is activate the war force. <laughs> when are we going to need to oh, do no. that in conversation? No. Do no, not. no, 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 beer bot. No. You, you funny, you funny guy. You so easy, easy just joking. All right. Oh, he's just cold and smiling, but beer bot's just looking at you with no <laughs> facial. He's a big, he's a big jokester. He's, he's, uh... Where do we want? Do we want her to take us, or are we just getting a We're going to the cat cafe. The cat. Oh, what? Called, uh, I'm sorry. Hang on, hang on. It's called... Sorry. It's crooked cat. It's called the crooked. Sorry, I had it in my notes. Um, you're good. You're good. It's called the cro- the crooked cat cafe. Perhaps you've heard of it. Uh, I it's didn't. A, it's I actually didn't. quite I a nice place. I've lived here for, What's a cat cafe? I've lived here it's for It's a cafe time. where you go and pet cats while you drink your coffee. <laughs> they also serve tea and tall. They hey. do that as well. <laughs> you guys think we're gonna run into an altercation there? Look, I have some big cats. Here's, here's the problem. It's not the cats you have to worry. Whiskers is an old hand. I've been operating this thing for a long time. Whiskers? Yeah. Uh-huh. If he's safe, if he's doing business, yeah, and the steel skins have not knocked his ass out, right. he's we have gone. to assume that mm-hmm. he's made a deal. So we are potentially heading into... Or the steel skins are scared of him. Of the cat. Or that. He, he is an are independent contractor, him? has been for a very long is, time. Is he like part of that group mm-hmm. where it's like, be afraid of him because you don't get as old as he is without clearly like <laughs> knowing what you're doing type of guy or is it like see that's what gives me hope um, I would assume that he would know but um, surviving for that long is uh, often dependent upon um, Being not having many him. friends yeah. so just you know Let's be careful in this uh, weird person's car, and let's be careful when we get to the Whiskers Cafe. All right. So just so if you general, be careful. I think we're, Always. We're, we're, right. We should, we should be on guard. Okay. There are weirder people than her. Yeah. She, she's like, the, she, the dwarf she takes another bite of her lizard skewer, and she's like, she like picks out like a bone, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Well, I'll go talk to her, unless All you right. want to talk to her. Make the uh, introduction. Right. You like walk forward, I... and as you walk forward, I kind of turn towards Severin and I go, Peanut butter! We'll get there. <laughs> um, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, uh, that was for beer bar. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oh, you didn't see that like a few seconds ago? I said peanut butter. He activated. Severin was like, oh, he's getting scared. He was put right back in the war. (laughs) Fuck. So so you're giving the war soldier PTSD triggers. Intentionally. Uh, Sure. For fun. Thanks for, you know, just really set it out there. It's more of the idea that we're... <laughs> sure I didn't sort of put it that way, Rena did. Potentially, you know, unleashing a fucking... No, he's a big sweetie! I think he's an air fryer. You do use that. That was it. Uh, Could be an arm <laughs> so fryer. Have fun, arm Stick. Fryer. Don't get yourself, you know, God, I guess. Oh, I'll try not to. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Stick. Um, you, uh, approach, uh, Kalana, uh-huh. and uh, as you, as you kind of walk up, she sees you, uh-huh. she's like, hey, Hi. look who it is, you never come around here, what are you oh, doing Oh, no, I here? don't like the sun. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know, you're, wow, you're blue, never yeah. noticed that before. Yeah. 
<laughs> I like the idea you just never noticed the skin well, I color. Only, I, I don't know why I'm talking to you. Yeah. Uh, it's always dark. Well, only, it's always dark whenever I see you. So. Yeah, it's better what, that what way. What are you doing here, Stick? Oh, well, we need to get me and my friends over there. We need to get somewhere. Okay, and good. I was going to say, because I, I told you last, I'm not coming around my fucking place of work with Dream Lily. Oh, I don't have any. I... Okay, all right. You yeah, sure? Promise. Kind of, just, you know, the, <laughs> Because, like, look, you know, it's real sweet you think it'd be for that thing, but, like, the watch is here, and if they oh, see that yeah. shit, no, you know. no, I'm not stupid. No, I know, I know. All right. So you need, uh, you need transport, then. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, we can, uh, we can arrange that. Uh, uh, are those your friends staring at you over there? Yeah. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like this. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, is this, uh, is this uh, a transport job or a transport job? Oh, the, the second one, for sure. Okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's go meet your friends. Okay. And uh, right. she'll uh, she you watch as um, the the cart. Uh, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty good size. Um, not something that like uh, like it, it's something that maybe like a single horse <laughs> might draw, like a single mule. As uh, and you watch as Kalana just like stands in front of it and like picks it up and like like pulls it over. Um, and uh, moves. You know, with with some ease, as she just kind of drags this you know wooden heavy wooden cart over to you guys and sets it down and says, "So, uh, I'm aware you folks are in need of transportation of the on the down low variety." Yeah, mm-hmm. it would be nice to not be noticed. All right, what's the cargo? Us. Okay, that's easy. Uh, <clears throat> I, this big fucker here. Oh, hello. Greetings. <laughs> Sorry, that's Jack, not her. Um, uh, she says, He's so, so happy to be sold. <laughs> so, uh, so, <laughs> is that what a therapist? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, whoa. <laughs> I thought we were implying that we're like, gonna, <laughs> you're like, hi. <laughs> so, so she says, uh, so with, with transport and war forged. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, we don't want to go stomping around down uh, where. It, He's gonna get noticed, so we we need to take him uh, somewhere clandestinely. Okay, all right. So, where's the where's the the drop off? We're going to the Crooked Cat. The Crooked Cat. Mm-hmm. Whiskers place. Mm-hmm. You do know that steel skin territory, right? Oh, his name's actually. It's, uh, sort of what we're counting on. <clears throat> Can you get us? There? Oh, oh, you're not giving different. him the Warforge to chop up, are you? I mean, you're not giving him the Warforge to chop up, are you? I heard you the first time. I'm oh, sorry. Because <laughs> I hear that's what they do. Look. We need to be transported. Can you transport us? <sighs> yeah, all right. Um, so you're going you're gonna to sell the big guy to Whiskers. Look, the less you know about what we're gonna do, I'm just I'm just making sure that you're actually making a sale here because I just want to cut. That's my only offer. That's my only ask. Ten percent, fifteen percent. Let's say fifteen percent of the cut for the big guy. Um. Um. Uh, Somebody else noticed that uh, Jordan's got dice and an Altoid. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice that. I think for that's very, very long time. I was I actually ask him for an Altoid. Or <laughs> right? no, and I was like, like, wait. I have right. Altoids in my car. When I empty out the can, I actually might start putting my dice. What are you doing here? Wow. Um, <coughs> he, uh, he wants to start uh, negotiating. Oh, uh, all right. Or rather, to Make, know whether fifteen percent is like Make an reasonable. Offer. Um, I mean, you're just fucking driving, so... That considerable risk to myself. You're asking me to go into Eastbridge. It's well, crazy out there. Look, you're a driver. You're a, con- you're, a, you're a transport. Anyone who's good at transport's good at transport. And if you're not good at transport, you should be in the game. No, I am good at transport. 8%. I'm just, it's just... It's just, you know, hazard pay. You know, what happens if Dask shows up and breaks my fucking legs? Then you're in a transport, you get away, and we're stuck. Uh, well, Eight if you haven't noticed, percent. I'm pulling the transport all on my lonesome. Right, you're pulling the transport anyway. All right, so so what offer do you have in mind then, uh, Mr. Haggle? Eight. Eight percent. You insult me. You better work. You insult me. Let's call it. Let's call it ten. How about that? Let's call it ten. I won't go any lower than that. Yes. <laughs> Deal. Ten percent. How much are they bargaining for? How much am I worth? <laughs> 
I don't know where I'm from that we 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 didn't really use. You. Right now, you're a steel. Fucking. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good one, uh, Well, right. I hate not, you so much. <laughs> like we're not. Right. So. All right, everybody, load 10. up. All right, at least we got 10, ourselves a deal. Ten. Ten what? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, as, uh, as she says, <laughs> hop in the back and we'll be off. Hi. And, uh, and then, uh, as, um, as, uh, squad a la. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, I was thinking more like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like, climb around and we'll be off. Uh, but, uh, and, um, as, uh, as you guys go to kind of mount up, um, two Sharn Watch officers approach. Uh-oh. Um, and they say, Kalana! There's a, one of them, it's a, it's a, um... Ah, oh, shit, the fuzz! <laughs> <laughs> one is a, a female gnome, the other is a male shifter. As they walk up, um, mm-hmm. uh, the shifter's got, like, the, the, uh, the, the halberd kind of, like, like, leaning up against the, leaning up against the shoulder. And then the gnome doesn't have a halberd, they have, like, a sword and then the, the, like, club that they use. As, a uh, as she, uh, and Kalana looks and goes, ah, officers, uh, to what do I owe the... Pleasure, you know. I was about to head out on a on a, on a job, you know. Uh, maybe this could wait until later. And um, the shifter says, "No way. You, <laughs> we. Sorry. What what did I write here? This makes no <laughs> sense." I turn to snake and I'm just like, "No, it makes sense. I just read it wrong." All right. Yeah. So they approach Kalana, and, and uh, he says, uh, "He says we haven't forgotten that you we let you through that uh, customs inspection, Kalana, and." Uh, you said you'd pay us later. Well, now's later. Pay up right now. Or we're taking you in. And uh, and she says, uh, uh, "Look, you know, I I I don't have the money right now. Uh, I, you know, I I I'm just like I said, I'm just about to do this job." Uh, and they're like, "Well, if you don't have the money now, the the gnome says she like gets out the handcuffs." How much is it? How much is she? Yeah. <laughs> they look. This is the two of us. They're like, <laughs> and they're like, uh, "You've chosen the good option." <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's like, and uh, and Kalana like looks at both of you a little surprised and says, uh, "The the shift is like she owes us fifty gold." You really want to pay for this piece of trash? All right, your it gets funeral. Gets us moving faster. <laughs> she uh, and Kalana, Kalana's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, love you too, officer." Uh, um, so you guys give up 25 each yeah. to pay Kalana's way? Yeah. How much percentage did you have? Don't worry, it's going down. <laughs> That's why I was, yeah. I was going to... Uh, well, she, she, uh, she said, and, and, and then uh, you, you guys uh, hand off the, the gold, the uh, <coughs> officers kind of count it out, and they're like, <laughs> everything appears to be in order here. Move along. And uh, As we're sort of like moving away, right? Uh, and well, Kalana, I mean, they, they kind of start uh, making their, uh, continuing their rounds for their patrol. And uh, Kalana looks to both of you and she says, ah, I mean, you, you didn't have to do that. I, I, I really appreciate it, though. Uh, t- tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll knock off 2%. 7%. 7 Roy, come 50 on. fucking gold pieces. 7% mm-hmm. and two doses of Dream Lily. No. One. <laughs> Half. Half. I'm desperate here. Yeah. Right. You, and you can afford to be desperate because two of our friends paid 50 gold. All right. All right. Free. All right. Fucking 7%. All right. Thanks, damn it. All right. We're moving away, right? Yes. Uh, the the, the cops still, are gone, yes. They're gone? They're, I, mean, I they're wanted them to away. be there. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, they can be there. I mean, they're in the area, like, you know. Maybe maybe around. this was before this, unless it starts something. I mean, uh, I, it's good to start we'll something. Out. <laughs> well, it's um, just on the comment. You guys, you guys hop in, uh, you guys hop in, and Kalani, you know, lifts up, and she, you know, even though you guys are pretty, <laughs> like a lot of people, she so handles it like a champ. Yeah. I don't know, the Warforged <laughs> bigger a little difficulty yeah, yeah, yeah. with all of you on it. But, I mean, she, she's doing her best. To those officers, though, uh, Azarephus probably sort of looks over them and it's just like, trash knows trash, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And they, the pigs uh, know where to find them. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, they just shoot you a look and uh, say, you're lucky our pockets are full, stranger. Mouth <laughs> off like that again. He, Wait. uh... He he. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. No. he You're dumb. He kind of uh, before Wait that. Wait a minute. He, he, yeah, uh, one of them says he, he he has like a forked tongue. He like slithers it, and he's like, and then he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they're like, 
And uh, Kalana's like, Kalana's like, shit, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> she like, like, did <laughs> um, you guys get out of there? And uh, you, you see, like, the shifter was like moving in and is like, ah, wait, I know you. Leave, 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 leave. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. They just can't get within like ten feet of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, start your uh, trek. From we try to back into Kalistan. Get past the combat that <laughs> might have ensued. Like, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, if you guys picked a fight with the Watch, that would have been, 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 been a rough combat. Like, I don't know them, but. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been, been a real short but the wrong way. Oh, yeah. no. I no, you I less than a week. The game would just become very different all of a sudden. Oh, you guys are so sweet. That guy looked like he knew who you were. Who? The guard. What are you talking about? That one? They, they literally said, "Wait." Probably know all of you. No, but no, no like no. particularly. You. you look like he knew you. I don't uh, know it. her. I am. Are you wanted? Um, some might say that. Yeah. Okay, that's all. No, look, okay, who's some? Go to jail, way. Like, is it, <laughs> go to jail, way. Oh. As it as it now sort of pertains to all of us. Uh -huh. If there is a, a a warrant for your arrest, we you probably should. We should know about did it. So. Break you out of the asylum. Brenna, Brenna, we? Brenna, this is not the time. Which one? Uh, the asylum. Asylum. No. Asylum. They okay. stuck with an asylum. Oh my god. Brenna. Of course you. Okay. You were there too. Brenna. Yes. Brenna. Brenna. We talk about this later. All right. What? What better time? No, I don't think I'm wanted. All right. No, please. No, please. Keep going. This is very entertaining. <laughs> You know, I always wondered why your arms are so big. Oh, yep. Yeah. I, I never had to cut around a war forge before. This is the yeah. first one. You're so strong. Thanks. And Gotta be. And you're probably so wanted. How, how many people in here are, 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 are looking for you? I don't fucking know, Roy. That's why I'm in Calistan. Yeah. Sean, you trying to watch for Nobody cares. OK. Well, stick out, unfortunately. Oh, that, I mean, that changes the calculus of how uh, we can move around the city. Are you going to drop me? No, we just need to hide you. And you need to stop talking shit to fucking Sean Watch. There is. Is that then? Alright, fine, 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 fine. They did, but a lot uh, of times. You got, you got your good one liner. You know, you got, you got your good one. <laughs> you know they'll remember that one, too. Oh, they, yeah, that see, one. That that, that's why you always hit them when you always hit them right up there. Right, as Beerbot has pointed out, that is the problem. We do not want them to remember. Mm -mm. Yeah, but we gotta. We stick want together. them to forget us the second they turn around. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. Like, cause he didn't get it. Trash helps trash. Yeah, you just maybe like I don't know. You just really? don't. You don't have to say, you know, the next time. <laughs> okay, Roy. All right. If it eases your paranoid mind, I will lay low. It does. It does very much so. Mm -hmm. You look like you prepare a lot. I do. Oh, I try to. Pockets. Huh? You have a lot of pockets. Yeah, I got a lot of shit in these pockets. Yeah. Is this what what kind of stuff you got in there? Yeah. Uh, like ball bearings, uh, paper stuff clips. In every you have pocket? Rope? Huh? Paper clips? Rope? Uh, some way, uh, probably in my, my rucksack. It's good, you know, I've, I've always heard you never leave without at least 50 feet of rope. Um, you know. Where are, are you going? D fucking dungeon delving? You never know. You jumping in the caves? We did climb down a building. Yeah, and he had lots of rope. It was helpful. A few yeah. days ago. Yeah. Look, most people don't carry around rope, but I do. And if we ever need to be let down 50 feet, yeah. we, we can. So, all right, well. <laughs> 51. I know, like nodding off. <laughs> you know, just, just quiet <laughs> yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, Sleep at this point, you guys uh, are passing through Kalistan, you know, um, Get some interesting looks as you're all being carted through, <laughs> through the thing. Um, she, uh, 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 Kalana looks back and she says, "Don't worry, uh, I, you know, I've worked with whiskers before. I know a good way to get in that, you know, might be out of the way." Um, and so she kind of takes you oh. to a. There's fucking whiskers. That's funny as shit. Is he a little cat? Is he a cat sure. guy? He's a shifter. He's a oh, oh shit. Well, I guess he's a guy. So yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense. Cat guy named Whiskers, and cat cafe. Yeah. Good. Very much cat. Can I just be a humor? That sounds like a story Rena would tell me. That's why it's funny. Gotcha. Um, you guys enter East Bridge. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, again, you know, a little a little more barren. You do see, you know, some scenes of violence kind of like in the <laughs> distance of, you know, Dask and like Dask like fucking mugging people or whatever, um, you know. Somebody should do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Eastbridge. Boromar Clan ain't got no power here. <laughs> yeah. Boromar so Clan might. Let me, Eastbridge is the sector East, that Eastbridge was. is like no man's land. So that yeah. was like the section that was under Boromar control that no then longer. went into just splinter hell because yeah, yeah. It's Yeah, it's, 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 it's controlled by a lot of different like minor street gangs Dask has a foothold there. Um, other other things. The Steel Skins have a good foothold there as well now. Um, oh Every single time I hear Steel Skins, I just think of Smooth Skins. Smooth Skins. And as you guys are being pulled along, you, uh, she kind of takes you back into this like really narrow like uh, like section of alleyways between these these tenements. And uh, you you see, as you like go along. Uh, uh, you see, like, movement of, like, like rats and, like, other vermin, like, kind of up in, like, the, 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 like, broken windows of these tenement buildings. There are, like, these crisscrossing bridges that kind of, like, connect different parts, and you yeah. see, like, occasionally someone will, like, walk across to, like, another one, like, just, like, like trying to keep a low profile, um, as you are, like, the only, like, cart kind of trundling down this path. Very secluded, um, but as you guys are you know, rattling <coughs> down, you do suddenly hear this, this cry in the distance. You hear this, uh, you hear, ah, no, help, someone help, I'm, I'm just a journalist, ah, help! Poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he goes in one every Roy, <laughs> it sounds like Newsy. <gasps> oh, Never oh, mind. Uh, <laughs> I pick up at that, too, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, uh, Pull us up, take us over there. Huh? Why would I say take us over there? What? what, what it's why? Newsy. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Who? Newsy. Newsy. Uh, Roy That's is right. swinging his, um, <laughs> his, Just as his uh, crossbow into place uh, and ratcheting it into uh, oh, combat. Right. Shit. All right, I'll pull us over. Um, I'm gonna just hop off. Gosh. Uh, all right, yeah, you guys uh, hop off and get ready for bear. Run off in the direction of of the the cry from Newsy. Kalana is following behind, keeping a, a bit of a distance so she doesn't get involved in any sort of scrap. <laughs> but um, eventually, you all uh, come up and you turn a corner and you see uh, in this kind of alleyway again with these like connecting bridges. You see um, Newsy like huddled up like against a, a corner of like a building he too is beaten to shit uh, and um and uh, but uh, he's like no no please please don't hurt me as these um these like ta these shifters and orcs and like these tattered uh, uh, these like tattered like cloth clothing that's like smell absolutely awful are like crawling out of like sewer manholes with like these spears and and like Different. like rusty swords and like improvised weapons and with like these Trust giant people. rats that like follow out after them <laughs> and they're like cornering this guy uh, and Wild. and uh, he he looks over and he says Roy boy and we need everybody to roll initiative. Yeah! Oh. Initiative. Operation, let's save Newsy. <laughs> we Uzi. all did nothing. I, I was <laughs> like, come on, guys, you only know one journalist. Nah, I, I, nah, I, nah, I, nah. I picked up. Is I a, a, is journalist? A <laughs> He's trying funny. his best. <laughs> poor, poor, that's funny. Poor bastard. <laughs> oh, shit, Newsy. <laughs> Lose one every day. Uh, <laughs> you see the subtitles, and it's all right. journalist Jack? in, like, air quotes. Yes. Because mm -hmm. right. that's what he is. Can you what, pull um, over again? What are what skill are we using? Perception. Oh, uh, I would say at this point, I would say let's use stealth or perception. I'll allow stealth or perception. Yes, because you guys Jordan, were. If it's I, I would imagine that you guys were trying to move in quickly, but 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 quietly, so that you wouldn't give notice. Uh, no, you know, Newsy's Newsy's kind of given the gig away, but you guys were there. You know, so. Is this an 11 or a 13? What is 13? What is going on? Where's uh, he's going in my space. He's in my space. Uh, I guess I'll use the stealth van, which puts me at 17. 17, all right, let's see the meme. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 17, I'll put you like right here. Oh, this is going to be distracting. Be distracting. <laughs> oh, now yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. uh, now you know. Uh, hi, Kermit. Yeah, hello. Roy. Um, a natural twenty. Oh my gosh! Twenty-six, Roy. Yeah, we get the beautiful. This is 
this is of that time. I pretended to be a mama dog. Oh my god, what is this? I feel like I shouldn't have shown that on stream. It's one of those, this is one of those ones that, that like the guy on TikTok does like, this is of that time I pretended to be a mama dog. It's like, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's exactly well, right. that's, uh, that's that. I, seen the one you, uh, you want to talk about the strap king? Yeah, <laughs> his account is gold. Um, yeah. the, I love the one where he's like, he lied uh, to me. He lied to me. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Uh, my arson charges don't define me. That's the little guy from Final Fantasy. <laughs> that's us! Oh my god. That's, that's actually, awesome. That was a Xerophis like 10 minutes ago. Speaking oh, of a Xerophis. Uh, 24. 24, Jesus Christ, you guys are rolling. I, I guess, I guess why I let get, you guys roll stuff. Get down, Rena. Get, um, get down there. The you saddest people come the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Robert Pattinson <laughs> <laughs> with like a mustache. That's like with the White House. I, yeah, I was going to say. Uh, Severin. Uh, 22. 22. My God. Yeah, you I all rolled, rolled 20 well. and I'm. Uh, uh, oh, it's yeah. a Tumblr post. The Quasar Hero says, I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Severin to a T. Do we want to have minis down or? Uh, yeah, flip over that mat. Hey, that's our mat. Flip over the mat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, hang on. Let me get yeah, think about this, y'all. Right, right. Hang on, let me go. Come we'll all flip it over. <laughs> whoa. I think it needs uh, to be like stick. right here. Emma, 14. is that good? 14. Uh, hey, <laughs> wait, sorry, pause one second. Um, is this middle? Which way? Okay. <laughs> Which right, way? Right there? Yeah. Keep going that way. Right. Okay, cool. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. So, yeah. Or is you? it far away from you two? Uh, I I'm reach. fine. It you says, should. at Blinkies, ordering the little fucking freak meal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a McDonald's originally. You she crossed it out I and put Blinkies. <laughs> well you know done. What you can put behind for the McDonald's meal. <laughs> yeah. The Blinkies. All right. Hell yeah. I don't have a mini. Mm, mini. Oh, yeah. I have my mini. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I don't think I have a mini. Yeah. Let me roll. Uh, yeah, Mia. Oh, well, I have yeah, well, Better do something yeah, about same. that. <laughs> yeah. Mia was supposed to bring yours, Jordan. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> She had problems. She had oh, she had problems. Some yeah, problems. the uh, yeah. 3D printer was uh, they being were a little. No. Yeah. Um, do we have little? She told me earlier today. Yeah. That do we have little notes for no. this, Jacob, that I can mark other oh, people's no. initiative? Yeah. Um, I normally use like index cards. Do we have those? Yeah, I think right there's here. some Ooh. up there. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks. Uh, um, where are the, the pencil miniature. though? Yeah, Whoops. I'm getting it. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, hi, Gwen. Oh, not pencils. Oh. Uh, pencils or yeah? Pencils, please, for me. For free? For free. Pencil or pen? Pencil's fine. Pencil's fine. Adventurers. Mm -hmm. Adventurers. What's their what perception? What if I just be Pythias? <laughs> just be Pythias. You could the just be Pythias. So where, where are we? Um, I will answer that question in a minute. What did you roll as Zerifus? Uh, 20, 20, 24. Four. Four. Okay. Oh yeah, you were 22. The, mm -hmm. the orcs are a little higher than you. Oh. Well, they rolled a natural 20 for their initiative as well. Oh. So they're at 25. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, um, what the? the I rolled a 20. The, 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 the shifters rolled very low. Oh. Um, they're probably going to go last. Um, what's their perception? Yeah, plus two. So that's a six for the shifters. I'm trying to do this very quietly, but uh, um, that's not going to happen. And then the rats. We need to rats. roll as well. We the rats. <laughs> oh, rats. Uh, the rats did not roll too great. Oh, actually, the rats, the rats did not do too bad. I don't like. The oh, rats I wrote the number for the rats and not the actual rats. Like, I don't like rats or consideration. Sure. Okay, you rolled a fourteen. You said. I did. All right, so. Still down. <laughs> I uh, I don't know if you care That's or not, but I did roll stealth, Jordan. Great. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Let me get some combat music going. Do it. And then uh, Wait, I will Jacob, set up the, yeah, the map. Combat. Sorry. The view is different. Did you did you see what different? What do you mean? I, I don't think I've seen this. View. I added a little thing on there. If you haven't seen it yet, I wanted to spruce up the combat tracker a little bit. So um, I added little things from our art pieces onto oh, the names. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, that's a dragon mark. I like on the mine. beer bots. Dragon mark on Jax. Um, like it's Rena's hat, Roy's crossbow, the beer bots oh, hammer. I couldn't get your gun, so it's I had okay. to do your sword. I have the gun because you know. it was the only item I had in stick. Gun. Move, so. It's okay. Everybody doesn't know he's a gunslinger yet. 
That's true. Yeah, that's they, true. They I guess. think that you're the gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm a fucking rogue. I was gonna play gunslinger, and then I was like, I want to play rogue. And so Jordan and I have made sure to play different rogues, which is mm -hmm. possible in Pathfinder, which is yeah. awesome. <laughs> Only gonna get more different. Dip different. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So there's gonna be a shift. No, so the bugbear minis are shifters. Okay. Okay. Um, shifters. Mm -hmm. Where did we approach from? Uh, you guys approached from over here, so you guys are kind of over here in this area. Can you please be kind of near the front of the pack? <clears throat> this map looks really, really good. On so, so uh, the 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 way that this map works basically is um, all of these are like abandoned, broken down, like busted tenement buildings. Basically, they have um, they have little ten foot fire escapes and, and stairs that you guys can climb up. And then any cool. of these dotted lines, these are like bridges that crisscross the <laughs> oh, thing. Cool, so, cool, 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 cool. got some verticality here. Awesome, love um, that. Love that. Is, question: How clean are the streets? Oh, filthy. Cool. Hell yeah. Horrible. Mm. <laughs> Filthy streets. Hit all the streets. Hit <laughs> anybody. Um, and then the, the goblins are rats. <laughs> no offense, goblins. I'm sorry. Uh, no offense, rats. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> well, hey, whoa, 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 hey, what's wrong with goblins? What's wrong with rats? What's wrong with rats? <laughs> You Absolutely know nothing that's been said, rats. no offense. I mean, these rats are about to like eat a man, so well, not a big fan you know, of I feel like a goblin would do that too. I feel like a goblin would do that too. Huh? Is there a You're hungry enough. Too. You know, we'll mm -hmm. see. Um, actually, you know, one of the shifters is probably like up here on this. Uh, from this point. One. My sister's rat would used to bite her lip, thinking it was a kiss. Aww. Yeah. You know what? I, need, I want a rat. I need one more orc, actually. Mm. Rats are so cute. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're very good animals. Very good pets. <laughs> so that, that could be Rena. That I was enlarged. <laughs> that, yeah. And then he died. And then he died. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just looking awesome at, lizard folk right here. I just here. pulled it out. Oh, it was like work, lizard. That's cool as hell. It's a cool mini. Right? Uh, I know. I'm definitely not using weird. a duo truck. Uh, Definitely not. There's an orc. There's an orc <laughs> I'm gonna up the lighting a little bit just so that we can see what's going on. Don't so up lighting. I guess prepare your eyeballs. And, uh, up lighting. This little uh, invisible guy is new C. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's good to know uh, <gasps> that, that that is um, Where? the invisible oh, one is new Z. I can't. Yeah, new is not invisible, oh. but the invisible one is new Z. Is it, is it actually the same movie? Is it Crystal Boba? No, it's not. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. So we're at the top of the round. Roy, it is your turn. All right. Um, Can't so this, see over there. Jesus, it's very good? crowded. Yeah, it's a little crowded. Um, this is a. As it should that be. That is a, a staircase that goes up ten feet. Um, the, anything like so, basically anything that like goes towards this corner is like this is like a platform you can stand on. The floor has like fallen out in these sections. So like. Like here, here, anything that like connects to a bridge basically is fair game to step on. Anything that isn't is and just like a bridge. That is a bridge. Anything that's like a dotted line that like goes across the street is a bridge that you can, you know, go across. You'll probably repeat that on my turn. Too. Yeah. I heard it and it's fine. We'll, we'll find out find how much I, I, I did my best to <laughs> try to delete it. I'm like, yeah. this might get a little messy. I, but... No, I love that there's like verticality to it. That's super interesting. If Roy, so. It takes, to, uh, so those, those are 10 feet up, and then w however long the stretch of squares are, that's how much like space it would take. So like, I think that's that, that one is like a 10 foot climb uh -huh. up the stairs. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah. 25. Yeah. Um, Roy, so he's up on, he's on a platform that's 10 foot high. Yeah, you've got it, you've got a perch. Okay, um, he's gonna try, Roy is going to, <coughs> Make a so he's he's used one of his uh, um, yeah, actions to move. <laughs> Jack, gonna have to get used to that. So yeah, you've used an action to stride. Uh, he is going to make a stealth roll. Okay, I will roll your stealth for you. Mm -hmm. That's another fun thing about Pathfinder is that the GM rolls the stealth for the rogues. I kind of like that. What's your modifier? Mm -hmm. Stealth is plus six. Plus six. Okay. Um, and then Roy is going to. 
Um, take a shot at one of these trash people. Which one? <laughs> trash. So the the little goblin ones. Those are rats. Um, yeah. The the bugbears are shifters, and then the uh, the uh, the orc. The big gray guys are orcs, and then the dragon more up there is also an orc. This one looks like he's got he's got the best downward angle. Definitely, on this and that guy's like right up in Newsy's grill too. So. Um, and they're flat-footed because um, we were able to use stealth uh, yeah. on our uh, um, initiative. initiative. Oh, does that just automatically make them flat-footed? Yes. Sweet. It's All a, right. uh, because because they haven't acted yet, it is, oh, yeah. uh, it is That's the for us. surprise That's a, attack. It's a, yes. it's a rogue thing. It's a okay. rogue thing. What does surprise attack entail? Um, they're flat-footed. So just, we get oh, sneak okay. Attack. Great. Yeah. Sweet. So we get our sneaky sneak. Yep. Real quick. Uh, let's see, my attack roll. So that's going to be... Something after that or something? Yeah. Nope. The, the two orcs on the ground, the big boy is going to be orc number one. The smaller boy is going to be orc two. And uh, then the dragonborn guy is going to so be... Jack do we have the little, do we yes. have the little I'll, things? I'll do them for you. Okay, um, where are if they? You, they should be in there. There's, they're in a clear case. Oh, I see them. You, you just hand me those and um, yeah. do your thing, Jordan. Oh. I want to spend my hero points. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh. Um, Explain by the way. That, please. By the way. Yeah. So I, I was going to say I should probably honestly reward some hero points. Uh, I, I'll reward hero points to Beerbot and Rena for being nice to no. <laughs> Kalana, no. and I'll and I'll I'll, uh, I'll give Alzarifus a hero point for you know fighting that dude. Um, <laughs> Can I have a hero point instead for uh, uh, making fun of the cops? Yes. 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 I'll give it to you for that instead. I got an A cap point. <laughs> Which one's number two? This one? It's on the wall for a reason. The one right in front of Newsy. Mm -hmm. okay. I said it's on the wall for a reason. Yeah, that's true. Of all the settings, this is the most mm -hmm. fitting, you know? Cool. And then, uh, do you need other ones marked? Uh, uh, for numbers? Yeah, the bugbears. Yeah. Okay, and so they're uh, going to be four, <laughs> five, and six. Is that okay? Yeah. Four, five, and six, you said? Definitely. Yeah. It took you so long. I, I didn't know. realize you were still waiting. I know. <laughs> Who's this dragonborn guy? That's an orc. That's a orc. So that one needs one as well. Yeah. Okay. So good thing I didn't do three. Yeah. He'll be three. Great. And then um, the rats are going to be seven and eight. Sure. Nine. Um, there's three rats. So seven, eight, nine. Got it. They are eating each other. Yeah. Yeah. What if you just let them uh, A 19 jack to hit. The, or, uh, nice. the orc, that will definitely <laughs> hit. Roll for damage. Seven. Seven points of damage. Nice. Seven. All right. Yeah, you, uh, you run up. Get down and uh, like basically when when he's when uh, Newsy says Roy boy, uh, he uh, you are just moving so the the orcs and the shifters turn around and they see the rest of the party but they don't see you as you uh, you just run up there line up your shot and then fire it down just like <laughs> right into the neck of of this guy he's still up like or like that portion between the neck and the shoulder uh, he's still up but he is uh, he is close to bloodied. Um, anything else on your turn? Uh, that's all three. All right, it's the orcs' turns. Um, the orcs are now, uh, you know, going to react to this <laughs> this more obvious threat. Um, <laughs> when is um, Newsy going? Um, that's a good question. I need to roll initiative. I'm assuming he's going to try and move or something. Yeah, uh, Newsy rolled a Newsy rolled a sixteen. Uh, well, more like a more like a fifteen. So right oh, before yeah. stick. <laughs> Eat my dust stick. What are you doing? Y'all don't know Newsy yet, but you will. <laughs> He's a special one. Um, all right. <laughs> so the orcs are gonna go. Um, let's uh, let's move orc one towards Zarephus. <laughs> ah, shit. The closest one. Um, so that's a stride to get to Zarephus. Yep. Um, and then he's gonna make uh, two attacks: one with a uh, with a knuckle dagger, okay. and then the other one with uh, with his fist. He's just gonna punch you. Okay, now that these guys attack me. I have a question for you: Are these guys dask? No. Okay. Wouldn't you like they don't look like dask. Okay. Jesus. Just curious. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Why do you um, Why do you care about dask? Do you have like knowledge I, of I don't knowledge of criminals or knowledge of the underworld or whatever? You're a smuggler, so yeah. I am. Where? Oh, uh, is that not? It your... would be a, uh, be lore underworld. Yeah, do you have lore underworld? 
or lore. I have lore, cult. Oh, never mind. Mm. Yeah, you oh, don't know who these guys are. You don't think they're Dask, though. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, Grace. Don't worry about why I'm <laughs> lore, cult. <laughs> best, uh, Wait, best fix saving college. Lore, cult. <laughs> um, uh, so that'll be a 16 to hit you as Arifus. Ooh, miss. Uh, yeah, so Miss he, he runs shit. in with this knuckle, the, this like improvised kind of knuckle dagger. Mm -hmm. As he runs up, like throws the punch, you get under it, but then he's gonna follow it up with another punch. This is a plus three. He's there if it's uh, like, he like kind of pushes it kind of like. Well, the side. and then you walk right yeah, into yeah. the gut punch. Which was a bad so, idea. 22. Oh. Yeah, so uh, that'll be. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. seven yeah. points of bludgeoning oh. damage. <laughs> I, uh, I rolled high on that one. Yeah, so um, he's like, he pushes that, and then like <laughs> he goes up a bit. He's like, yeah. oh! Yeah, uh, but that is that guy's. I'm going he's coming back up. The, uh, the second, the second orc that is in front of so Newsy is going like to ditch Newsy. Is going to run towards Beerbot. Um, <laughs> so stride towards Beerbot. Just to watch first the action. Time. Sure, and then uh, is going to make same thing: kn a knuckle dagger and then a uh, fist Beerbot attack. Looks so Beerbot, no way, that's not going to hit you, Beerbot. AC is sixteen. AC is sixteen. Uh, then that's going to hit you. Uh, that is a. Oh, actually, no, it's not because it's the second attack. It's only a fifteen. So yeah, so this guy, this orc, runs up and uh, and and trying to like pounds you with this uh, this this knuckle dagger. So I get no. Spencer. Um, uh, you know, goes to hit you with yeah. the knuckle dagger, and um, and then um, you know, it, it just kind of scrapes off your armor, and then it goes to pu like punch you, and then obviously that doesn't work because you're made of metal. But um, uh. If anything, he breaks his hand. Yeah, for real. It's like, well, he's an orc. Yeah, you know? he's fine. Boom. It's he's like, okay, that's not going to work. Um, third orc is up at the top. He is going to step out like five feet onto that bridge right there. It's going to get a little confusing with the bridge, but we'll, we'll figure yeah. it out. Um, and is going to... Um, who's the closest at this point? Uh, five, ten. Oh, he could hit, he could hit anybody. Um, uh -oh. You know what? Uh... Who's who? I, I'm, <laughs> who are, I'm who the, are these minis? The I know you're the. I know you're the big one. That's Severin. Mm -hmm. Okay, Severin, you're kind of behind cover. Right now. Yeah. I'm the Modron. Mm. <laughs> I think. I think right now they would probably assume that Beerbot is the biggest threat. So uh, the huge freaking Warforged. They he, assumed right. He's gonna throw. <laughs> Can we please switch out Beerbot for a fucking big guy? Instead of a goofy uh, oh Minecraft square. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, beer, beer bot, that is a 23 to hit you. Yeah, looks like he's going. Yeah. He's like, boogity boogity. <laughs> you take uh, five piercing damage. That's not too bad yet. And uh, he's going to throw another javelin at Rena. <gasps> oh, no. uh, Rena, that's, uh, that's only a three, or no, a seven to hit you. Oh, yeah, no. So, yeah, shoot. He throws another one, shoot. And uh, you, you just like, you just watch it go like, <laughs> Uh, don't even have to react, and then uh, one Who's against stick, but no way. That's oh, a good. that's a that's a minus six, so that's a negative four. Um, so yeah, uh, and he throws another one in stick. It just kind of like clatters off the <laughs> wall above you. you kind of punch, but, um, all right, that's the orc's turn. Azarephus. Um, all right, so uh, still they're still flat-footed, which is nice. Um, this guy's right in my face. Mm -hmm. So I think. Um, uh, uh, Who's this? Severin? That's okay, Severin. so Severin's getting a... Is this Roy? That's Roy. Roy is okay. up in that building. Okay, so this guy just attacked Beerbot? Yes. Mm -hmm. And 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 Stick? No, no, no. The, no, the, no. the guy no, up there is like, throwing guy. javelins. Okay. Attacked. Like throwing like these kind of like crude spears Stick. that are made of like bone Beerbot teeth and, and okay, so scavenged metal. I think I have a spell I want to cast, yeah. but... These guys look way too scrappy to be Dask, and Dask is pretty check. scrappy, but... More scrappy. Also smell bad. While he's... Um, these two. Up on these. The rat is not. Okay. The that shifter is though. Um, so yeah, that that shifter is in the same room as uh, as Roy. While while he's doing calculations, how does a cone work? Same way as D and D. Like like um like what what is the? I'm, fine. I'm gonna uh, stride. Feet. So I'm doing that say, right now. Uh, oh, okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Cool. Stride here. Um, fifteen foot cone. How many of these guys am I hitting? If we draw the cone, <laughs> I'll probably hit all of them. Okay, so uh, I get there, and um, uh, Aziraphist sort of like he gets hit in the gut, um, and uh, he looks forward, and he kind of looks around, and sees everyone, and he says, "Catch up!" And he kind of like um, shoves past this guy. And he's like coughing, uh -huh. and as he's coughing, he coughs up like a um, a bit of like like smoke, 
as if he had just like inhaled like a like like a cigar or something but it like continues vape, to like sputter vape, out um, vape, um. yeah 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 um and he like turns his head upwards um and out of it, it's like just like um smoke and dust begin to uh Ooh. billow out of like his face um and then like beyond it as it goes like in front of his eyes his eyes are just like pinpricks of like red uh, b uh beneath that as um he goes for um all of these guys and like and it uh begins to envelop this uh this entire yeah. area until it it turns from like a mist into like a like a blast Ooh. outwards Jeez. of negative energy. Oh um, my god. Yeah, yeah. I'm echoing the dusts of the graves. I'm casting ancient dust. Um, so oh each god. creature in the area takes negative damage equal to my spell casting modifier, two, and one persistent negative damage depending on its fortitude save. So they each need to make a wow. uh, okay. fortitude save. Okay. So uh, just, just to put this out there, I'm not doing negative and positive damage. That's just going to be like necrotic and radiant and positive uh it's just it's Based like it's, it's necrotic and radiant basically um okay. they're interchangeable i don't know i i just don't think negative and like because it, it's, a, it's a little like alignment base too so oh, like dumb. certain okay, certain yeah. things so like, like can't take negative thing. damage or whatever Sometimes so yeah so it'll be necrotic damage like so so damage. so does everybody in that cone yeah. automatically take two no they have to it depends on the success and I'll oh tell, i see I'll, I'll just tell so you because i have to so i have to roll fortitude saves for them okay so so means they the, take it each turn. The uh, the orc uh, on the stairs above isn't gonna get hit, but the the, the, the two shifters and the two rats are definitely gonna get Sounds hit. Good. So I'll just roll I'll just roll one for both shifters. Cool. Um, their fortitude is plus five, so twenty. Fucking saving throw. Sorry, how do I fucking save? Okay, okay. So and, um, they uh, succeed. And then the uh, the rats. Uh, oh my gosh, the rats rolled really high. <laughs> um, well, let's do this first. So those two that just rolled, uh -huh. they take half. So they just take one damage, and it's not persistent. Okay. So just beep, you just take a little So what, what shifters are those? They're five and six? Yep. So. No, they take the two, and then they take one persistent I was, based on... The creature takes two. half on a success. The creature takes half damage with no persistent damage. Oh, Spells have degrees of yeah. success. Yeah. And they also have degrees of failure. I mean, it is a cantrip. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the rats rolled a 24. Uh, that's a not a crit success, so they just also just take one damage. Mm. Uh, which rats are those? Uh, seven and eight? Yeah. What, what are the rats' numbers? Six, seven, or seven, uh, eight, nine? Seven, eight, nine. But uh, nine didn't take one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they all took one damage. Got it. Okay. Sweet. Uh... Anything else in your turn as Uh, nope. Um, did you roll for the three shifters? Oh no, one of them's one's up on the there. Yeah, one of them's up there. Uh, yeah. no, because that's two actions. That's the end of my turn. Okay, cool. So your turn's done. Severed. Uh, 25 feet, free movement right here. Okay, okay. get up there. Yep. I'm going to shoot that man. All right, blast him. Cool as hell. As you, you dart up after Roy, pretty, you pretty much arrive as Roy mm -hmm. is like firing down that mm -hmm. bolt, and then that guy goes up uh, and then gets gear bought. 28 to hit? 28? Yeah. Why are you rolling so high? It's Good lord. That's a critical hit. I trust this dice Kill him. with my life. <laughs> Kill him. What, what did you roll on the die? A 19? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's a crit. That is a critical hit. Second critical hit uh, for Severin for this game. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm counting them. Destroy. Someone game. keep a count yeah. in the chat. Severin's going to have big There's going to be some big old crits from this boy. Somebody in the chat said that they're going to change it to void and holy damage. But I don't well, know if that's I mean, true or not. But they that's are, cool. they, did, they did say they were getting rid of alignment with the updates, so... Thank God. I'm like, Jesus Christ! I'm like 99% sure that the updated books that are coming out in like September yeah. are going to have the alignment removed. Oh, you could have played champion. Basically any... And then oh, basically I, any mentioned, way cooler. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then it's basically yeah. any mentioned uh, OGL is cool. getting removed. Sick. Yeah. Is what so doing. how much damage did you do? 25 damage. Uh, he's fucking dead. You killed him. Oh Which, my uh, gosh! Which one? Um, the, 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 the one up there, yeah. Seven. Uh, the one uh, right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Does he like Does he get he shot? Right? Does he like yeah. fall? There's like railings right here. Does, there, he, like, there does he like? Does he like? Ping Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> what happens. He also like kind of turns into a husk a little bit. What? <laughs> if I if I remember yeah. that correctly, Grace. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, uh -huh. so you remember husks from Mass Effect Three specifically? No, I didn't okay. Play it. They look like well, they're. Uh, I vaguely Um. They look like. Uh, humans that have been turned into uh, like zombies almost with um, a lot of the coloring being blue and black and they're just horrific. Um, cool. Only his are red and black. Awesome. Yeah, it's just blasts yeah. him and right. burns him away that. basically with yeah. aberrant energy. And he I, does. I remember playing that. <laughs> I never finished it. Yeah. Uh, okay. That guy's dead. Yeah. Um, and then 
actually wasn't expecting to kill him right away. <laughs> but, uh... Mm. No. Oh, well, we all can't be yeah, we're not all pretty cool. <laughs> I'm too cool. Can we just get attack number five? Yeah, I think it's aggro at all of them, so. Yeah. Did you move again? Yes. Wouldn't that be your third action? No. It was the first move. It's 25 feet of free movement. No. Way of the Drifter. Like yes. Ew, that's mm. awesome. Yes. Like I do remember melt that, that yeah. dude away, basically. Yeah. So yeah, all right, Any, open fire. Uh, and that is... Or a Craig Sager and Zelda. My guy got Sorry. siphoned. Okay. Siphoned. <laughs> well, I was sad. Yeah. Uh, 22. 22? Yes. Who are you firing at? Uh, number five. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. Definitely. Ooh, nice. <laughs> it's just a D6. That'll it's hit. not a crit. That's fine. It's not a crit, though? No. No. no, no not a crit. I'll tell you if it's a crit. Yeah. Five mm -hmm. damage. Five? Yes. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Like, Wait, which number you. is that? Five? Five? Yes. Five one five. I, I have to. Right. I He's have bloodied. To. Nice. And that's another crit. All right, cool. It is now Beerbot's turn. Is this a peanut butter Beer situation? Pe yeah, peanut, 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 peanut butter. butter. Peanut Definitely butter. a peanut butter it situation. It's peanut butter jelly time. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, that's Engaging combat mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, Engaging combat. That's going to be our I would like it to It is rate. peanut butter jelly yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engaging no, combat. No, yeah. Number two is uh, going to Right in front of you, yeah. Smack. Oh, yeah. Get him. Um, I found out my AC when I rage. This is really interesting. My AC goes down by one. Because mm -hmm. you're easier. You're a little more reckless. Ah. That's cool. I kind of like that. Um, Whoa. That was a crazy there's roll. There's some some of fuck, you know, rolling in their grave because well, somebody's using peanut seven. butter at this well, activation. Well, I have a good bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good bonus. <laughs> is raging an action? Raging is an action. Mm. Uh, 15? Um, 15 just hits. Let's go. But it's just one action and you have three actions. And you can do anything with those actions. Because like, mm -hmm. I like, forgot that some people haven't played Pathfinder. Seven mm -hmm. plus two for raging. Yeah. yeah. Plus I played a little bit now. Existing. <laughs> plus four for existing. Uh, what? <laughs> my, strength, my strength is. Oh, right. Yeah. So 13 damage. 13 damage to what is number that? Two. Orc number two. Oh, yeah. Orc number two's dead. Yeah. They crush him. Oh, <laughs> he tried and failed. Um, can I? You don't have to keep him there. No. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay. And then uh -oh. with my uh, so here. number so number two got uh, got uh, fucking crunched. So, yeah, so yeah. I guess what this what, looks, yeah, what is what is what does so the look like? So the so yeah, the orc that so that orc runs up and like yeah. tries to stab <laughs> punches and then he just takes the hammer and he just goes <laughs> just <laughs> 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 like just gone. yeah just into the wall just. <laughs> And oh, then, that was really gross. Uh, yeah, and just I just a, a red smear <laughs> right there. Boss, can yeah. I puke? <laughs> and then I don't Why? have any other immediate target, so instead I lo I'll, I'll look up. over at number three, who is close to uh, Stick. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't like that, so I'm going to Intimidating Glare. Oh, all uh, right. With my Very third cool. action to try to dissuade uh, Orc 3 from, from, Going from for stick? moving any further. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's does, what does that do in Intimidating uh, Glare? It's basically a... It's an intimidation check. Uh-huh. Um, but I don't have to speak. I can just... I oh, literally just it. I look at a creature got and it. I can intimidate. Got it. So you're, are you attempting like a demoralized check here then? Yes, it's got a demoralized. It. Got it. Cool. Um, I love demoralized. Which so. uses the intimidation skill. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're vomiting? I'm yes. better at now. <laughs> he throws up. And plus three. Oh, stick stick uh, uses a bonus. A, and, and, and a reaction. <laughs> yeah, to puke. Mm -hmm. Zeref is like... So a 16? <laughs> Uh, 16, 16, that's 16 against the will save. And or 16 yeah, that, to demoralize. That, yeah. That, yeah, that succeeds. Um, you, you, you crush that orc, and the other one looks over and is clearly like, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, doesn't and, just kind of, yeah. uh, like, it doesn't really say anything, but just like, Ugh. Yeah, the, the look he gets is your next. Oh, jeez. So it's like a... Hey, hey, but wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, is the music just really quiet? Or? I think so. Okay. Some, some tracks are quiet. I apologize. No, you're good. Um, check, uh, check the settings on Spotify. There should be a way to normalize volumes. I'll do it later. Um, what? He's going to do that now? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Uh, when someone's describing their turn. Rena, it's your turn. I calculate this out already. Um, right. Action 25 feet. I can move right next to a Xerophis. That's exactly 25 feet. He's like... <laughs> Um, you hear Rena start mm -hmm. to like hum, and the 
Sounds about right. <laughs> the, um, the markings that is puck on her arm glows a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I think it's these three, because of the way I'm positioned. Okay. Um, need to make me a fortitude save ability. Okay, so that's a rat and two yes, shifters? It's rat seven Ooh. and shifter five and six. Are we sure that it's what, what kind of save is this? Fortitude. <laughs> Um, that's a nine from the rat. <laughs> the, uh, the, the not a lot of fortitude for the rat today. Um, these are giant rats, by the way. These are rats that are like the size of like halflings, <laughs> basically. Whoa. You know, Whoa. like you know, oh, on a similar level. They'll eat you. Um, and then the really shifter. Uh, shifters rolled really higher. They did rats. roll a, a twenty-two. Oh, okay. The, the twenty-two yeah, no. passes. Then is it a crit success? The I don't think so. Oh. Twenty-two. Has to be 12. No. Um, what was the rat? The nine. Definitely lower. Than nice. Okay. No, I was, I was just wondering if it, yeah. It, oh, it's like a crit, a crit fail. Yeah. A crit fail. Yeah. But no, yeah. it's just a regular, which is fine. Um, so what spell are you casting? I'm casting haunting him. Ooh. Whoa! You are just doing a little skip and a jog and. Yeah. What does that do? Um, just uh, the him deals chronic damage equal to your spell casting ability modifier. Oh, okay. Which is plus That's why I said three, it. Okay. Um, with a basic fortitude save. Mm-hmm. Got if it. a target critically fails a save, it, it's also deafened for one minute. Oh, wow. But okay. That's it. So, three damage to the rat, I think. Okay. So, the, wh- which rat is it? Uh, C. Evan. Rat C. Evan. So, the rat, that rat does not like that song. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, if you succeed, do you just take no it's damage? It's country. It, it, it says the him deal side damage is equal to your no, you spell try. casting ability <laughs> modifier plus three, comma with a basic four to save. Does it have like a degrees thing, or is it just? It's just okay. That. I think I think what is it a cantrip? Yes. Okay, then so. it's probably no damage on success. Okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah, I, I mean that's all three of my uh, actions. Okay, sweet. Um, up next is the uh, is Newsy. <laughs> Yeah. Newsy is getting the fuck out of there. People on Reddit are saying um, that it, it's a bad spell. <laughs> oops. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, Newsy is going uh, to immediately stride 5, 10, 15, <coughs> 20, 25, Don't slip 30, on you. and it's just going to um, slip on uh, stick. Attacks it's of gonna, opportunity? Uh, no, don't fucking need no. them. No. We don't them. need them. We, we hate them. Um, <laughs> we hate them. We hate the attacks of opportunity. There's the Lord of the Rings reference. Um, yeah. Newsy is then going to. Um, I fucking said pockets. Fucking Newsy do. Stride so Newsy is going to pick up a rock and he's going to throw it at the orc. <laughs> <laughs> Take uh, that. That 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 a beer bot demoralized. Oh, Newsy um, rolled a fifteen, which is the armor Whoa. class. Let's go, uh, Newsy. Oh, wow. The rock is is just going to the, the rock is just going to do Newsy's strength modifier damage, which is one. <laughs> okay, you know what? So, Newsy didn't damage. What, what is that? Yep. Orc number orc uh, number three. One? I think it's one. Yes. Yeah. One. So what do you mean you don't know? It says. <laughs> the rock just hits down. the guy in the head. Um, and then uh, uh, Newsy's like, uh-oh. And he, uh, he runs a little more. <laughs> he gets back there. Um, all right. Uh, next up is Stick. Um, Stick Stick looks down at this this uh, this work guy who's now missing a head and goes, he really didn't have to take his head off. He would have been more useful. I didn't um, mean to. And I'm going to cast Animate Dead on this guy. Yes! Um, Animate Dead! That guy is up. I will say that guy is up by, oh yeah, no, he, he fell. fell down. He That's fell. right, he yeah. did fall. He failed. That's why I asked um, Oh, and he's all gross, too. Yeah. Oh, he's a perfect so zombie. So you said that he's kind of like, like has like spinning red and red and black around him. Mm-hmm. Um, it just he's it just that, yeah. slowly turns to the green color. Oh yeah, oh, the, 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 oh. the, the, the it kind of like bro- swirls in reverse and becomes yeah. that green. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, he's gonna go uh, kill your friends now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like leaning over, he's like, good shit, stick. Yep. The, the zombie goes after your turn, right? Yes. Okay, what's the zombie doing? Um, like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the zombie? Severin's doing? peeking over what at the stick now, doing? just going. The fuck? <laughs> he did it last time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but just more and more, he just goes. Uh, uh, this is this guy right here. Oh, He's gonna attack him. This. Mm-hmm. Natural twenty. There you Whoa. go. So uh, roll that damage and double it, baby. Um, so... Who is it? Is it uh, oh against one of the shifters? Yeah. Uh, 
16 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god, just murders him. <clears throat> okay. Just straight up. 16. Uh, which which oh shifter god. is that? Shifter 5? Five? 5. Yeah, shifter 5 only have 5 hit points left, so um, you, that, that's just insult to injury. This, this husk zombie of a shifter just runs up to this other one and just bludgeons him to death. Because uh, it's a slam, right? Uh, it's, it's his fist. So oh, maybe so okay. Like just... Just it, no, it, it makes sense if it's a slam because it also grabs yeah. and then it on the additional attack oh, and bite. And bite. Yeah. yeah, so I think it's just, just the slam and it's just using all of its strength to just crush the life yeah. out of this guy who was already kind of on his yeah. last leg. Good job! Um, it's just like holding this lifeless corpse. And then uh, it'll use another one to just move, like, move up a little bit and then it'll be done. Great. Yeah. All right. Uh, it is now the rat's <laughs> turns. The rats, um, they are going to... Get a move on over to uh, oh, this rat is like down here. This rat is gonna sneak up behind the surface. Uh -oh. uh, this rat is going to uh, this this can uh, bite Zerifus. Zerifus. This, um, this one is gonna go for the zombie, <laughs> and uh, the other one is also gonna go for the zombie. Um, the sh the shifter that is currently being like. Like pressed against the wall by that zombie yeah. is like, uh, like, like looks at the rats and uh, like, uh, you know, shouts at them it's like, get him, get him! And uh, so the rats are gonna go. Uh, Azerifus will do. Uh, so it was a stride to get to you, Azerifus. Then it's gonna be two bite attacks. Okay. First one is a ten. Miss. Second one is a twelve. That's a miss. This, uh, so you you feel this like nip at your heels. You're like, oh shit! <laughs> Um, as this this rat the size of like a of, of like a golden retriever, it's like <laughs> oh, it's like biting okay. at you. It's like, ah, 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 the fuck! Get your fucking dog, uh, bitch! <laughs> and then uh, two and then uh, bite attacks against the zombie from the two rats. Um, wow, those are what's the zombie's AC? Um, These are bad. Actually, fourteen might hit the zombie. It does hit. the Okay, zombie. so uh, that's gonna be one d six plus one, so four piercing damage to the zombie. Okay. The other one the other one missed, and then I'll roll the next two plus three. Um, one misses, the other one hits. Right. Oh my god, seven damage to that oh. the zombie. Okay, he's still, yeah, he's that, still the up. rats are going he's... to town on this body. It's like dishonored. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to the top. Oh no, not back to the top. It's now the shifter's turns. Uh, or, or should I say, the shifter, because there's only one left. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the shifter is going to uh, uh, draw like a. Um, is, is gonna draw this like kind of crude, like clearly scavenged sort of like improvised blade and is just gonna is just gonna make two attacks against the zombie. Um, it's smart. And uh Alright, I can make more. Um <laughs> first one's a thirteen to hit, the uh, second one is a, is a fifteen. Those will both hit. Okay. So both of those hit you said? Yes. So the shifter deals um Three and three, uh, so six points of slashing damage, and then uh, that shifter is oh shit, and then the shifter is going to use a stride action to jump back down the middle <laughs> and get the fuck out of there. Um, Smart, gone. Uh, it is now back to the top of the round, Roy. Roy, or is Roy Wood? still hidden? Um, God, he's like I, the way I look I don't, at it, he's kind of like laying down like. On his belly with his yeah, I don't, I don't believe he is because I believe the orcs have a good enough perception because uh, you only rolled a fifteen for your stealth check, and that is like exactly enough to to get, hit their perception. So they they know you're there at this point. This guy is on. Is uh, he on the stairs? No, no, he's on the ground. Okay. Um, Roy is going to. Oh, Where are you, Roy? Are you on the corner? Yeah. Okay. He's on the same level as Got him, got it, yeah, I figured. Roy's going to pop a shot here and here. Okay. Uh, at the two rats. Nine and eight. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Roll your attacks. Um Um, attack against nine is 12. 12 will miss, unfortunately. Attack against eight is 18. 18 will hit. Nice. Um, and I, they're not flat-footed against me, right? Um, the, the rats. rats? 
The rats are not either. They also have pretty good perception. I can sniff. You didn't hide again, did you? No. no. Okay, so yeah, you're not hidden at this point. Four. So four points of damage to which rat? Eight. Eight? All right, that rat is bloodied. Nice. Um, Roy is going to use his last... Um, action to uh, kind of like roll uh, uh, and stealth. Okay, awesome. Remind me your stealth modifier? Six. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Next is uh, the orcs. There's mm-hmm. only one left. Uh, he got a lock thrown down. Yeah, no, he's, he's demoralized. Um, so I need to remind myself what demoralized oh. means. Oh, uh, so, but yeah. Same. What does demoralized do again, Jacob? I know you have. Um, it, it gives it, you like a minus some, to will it, saves, it's right? Minus one circumstance bonus, I think, to, to AC, AC uh, attacks and, and will, will saves. saves. Okay, then um, you know, still successfully, um, still successfully intimidated, uh, but it is going to go for stick because the C stick is the weaker target. Um, so oh, okay. there. So, so uh, yeah, it'll step. It'll step to get to there, and then it'll do two attacks with um, one with the the. One with the knuckle knife, and then the one with the st- with the fist. Um, stick the dagger is a twenty to hit, not natural. Oh well, yeah. And then the second one is a fifty. Uh, just a just a twenty hit. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so you take five points of piercing damage Ouch. as that like pierces into your shoulder, and then he does take a swing to kind of <laughs> almost do what Beerbot did to his friend, um, kind of smash your head against the wall, but you get down in time. Nice. Um. Next is uh, a Zedifus. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn uh, towards, um, I'm going to look over around. Oh, wait, sorry, there's one more orc. I forgot about the javelin guy up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. He is going to, which one? This guy right here. He's going to, he's, he's up here. He's going to he's gonna run down and, and, and give some support. He's going to run down to Beerbot. And uh, is, so he strides, and then he's going to use two actions to make two attacks against Beerbot. Uh, Beerbot, what's your AC? Uh, 15 currently. Got it. So the dagger hits, the fist does not again. Um, so that'll be uh, six points of piercing damage to you, Beerbot. Not it one will, does manage to punch a hole in your armor. It will be three because I gained. Because you gained damage temp, resistance. Uh, no, three temp for. Got it. Uh, con mod temporary for being. Oh, yes. Right, for raging. Very cool. I don't actually get damage resistances until like level 11. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, cool. How tall are the buildings? Like the, the where, how far, how high Roy is? Uh, ten, ten feet. feet. Mm-hmm. Ten okay, feet. let me look something up yeah. really quick because I didn't know that. Okay. Um, I just gotta look at a quick rule, um, which it may be the high jump of some of some kind. <laughs> um, you know, if I can do, you know, learn my alphabet. Because it's oh, here it is. Uh, oh, you stride, then you make a vertical leap and attempt a DC thirty <laughs> athletics check. Oh. To increase the height of your jump, if you didn't start at least 10 feet, you fail. This DC may be increased or decreased due to the situation determined by the GM. If you succeed, you increase the maximum vertical distance to 5 feet, or you leap normally. Okay, what's leap? <laughs> leap is uh, jump horizontally 10 feet, 15 feet if your speed is 30 or more, or vertically 3 feet and horizontally 5 feet. Okay, so Three. if I if I succeeded that DC 30, I could go 8 feet. All right, that's fine. Um... So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn towards Rena uh, and just be like, <clears throat> uh, "You need to move. <sighs> Get out of here." Uh, and uh, 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 he's gonna go um, five, and then hop over this ten, Got it. fifteen, twenty, and then can I go twenty-five? Yeah. Okay. So um, he kind of like he he says that, and then he runs. It's Looks sort of like a uh, uh, you know uh, a whipping behind him as he uh, rolls over the, the the stairs, runs his way up, and then kind of follows suit with Roy, just kind of like like shoulder into the ground and rolls to the edge to, to hide. Got it. Um, so my hide bonus is also six. Okay. Stealth bonus is also six, and then um, just gonna uh, peer over the other side, and uh, I'm gonna shoot this um, this shifter. Okay. Uh, that's my zombie. Uh, that's yeah, your that's zombie. zombie. I'm yeah. so sorry. It's just the rats and that and that those two orcs left at this point. Two orcs. Shoot around. Rats. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this orc. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, He's trying to kill You me. are not hidden from this person. You only rolled a 12 for your, for your thing. So you're not, they're not flat-footed. Got it, got it, got it. That's fine. Not hidden from the rats either, I assume. No. No, that's fine. The orcs and the rats have pretty good Um, That is a 21 to hit. Definitely hits. Um, that is one damage. Oh. Uh, 
on this one know. against okay. number one. Bonk. Do you, you not get, get your one. sneak attack for someone being within five feet? I hate to say it, Jacob, but your 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 bullet or your gun did as much damage as Newsy's rock. <laughs> <laughs> Rock bottom. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Zarephus Indeed. has Indeed. hit rock bottom. Indeed. So th th that poor guy, he gets this rock thrown at him, and then he's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like a bullet through him. He's like, that didn't hurt. Uh, yeah, he has to be He has to be flat-footed. He's like flat-footed if I if I attack him, if he's hidden, or for some reason. Uh -huh. Is that all you're on your That's turn? It. All right, Severin. Mm -hmm. The system's nice, too, because you know when people are done on their turns. Because they, mm -hmm. they, they use all your actions. It's like, all right, we're yep. moving on. Yep. Jacob, There's are nothing they flat-footed if they're prone? Um, I was oh. planning at the same time. I unprepared as always. Well, it's kind of cool I have the show. <laughs> the right. uh, uh, my weapon is a show. Yeah, that's combat for you. It's also I'm just really quickly trying to look up rules, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been doing this. Um, they're doing okay with the, the rats <clears throat> theoretically. <laughs> There's an orc and. Big space. Mm. Oh, I, I, got, I got the orc. You got the orc? Yeah. I'm more afraid of these three rats that are going to go for Rana, maybe. Or two rats. Okay. We are the rats. Go right there. Attack eight. Um, That's an go. alleyway. No, it's a bridge. It's a bridge. Yeah. The dotted line. I knew yeah. that. I knew that. Looking down. I knew that too. To Jack's beautiful description. I Probably did. I just didn't uh, see it. Didn't you say how cool this map was? Yeah. You did. I know. Thirteen oh, minutes. God. Thirteen minutes. Go I myself. guess the rats. Yes. Yeah. You lied to your. You know these rats are like pretty. Have pretty high AC. Heard. No, that's not gonna hit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go again. Oops. That counts. <laughs> what counts? <laughs> it, it bounced out. And rolled the same number as oh. last time. Uh, like 13. <laughs> yeah. And Mr. That counts. <laughs> Unfortunately, you fire count. off two shots, and the, the rats, they're just too squirrely. The, yeah. the or rats. They're, they're rats. No, they're, rat. they're ratty. They, 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 you, can't, you can't pin them down. <laughs> There's a little Nyx in his head yeah. just going, hey, yeah, <laughs> they're really Nyx ratty is, over Nyx there. Nyx is definitely like, picking on you right now. Oh, she's good. Uh, wait till she hears about this. <laughs> she, she won't. She won't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. I forgot I moved. Beer bot. I wonder. Oh, <laughs> <perfect>. <laughs> Amazing. He's going to kill you now. Yeah. Uh, 17 to hit. Yes. Did you move to do that? Yeah, just move one. one. Okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, 10 damage. Uh, Mortal. Whoa. All right. Very nice. Get attacked again. I have one more action. Uh, what's the negative for minus first? five? Uh, Unless it's agile, then it's yeah. four. Yep. But I don't think your I don't think your slam is agile. <laughs> my claws are slam. agile. Oh, mm -hmm. my sword is agile. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Sounded so. Weird. Yeah, so I would assume a seven. Mm -hmm. No, unfortunately. Yeah, but you do get that it's one good hit in as as you come in. It sticks like my, my my friend's gonna kill you now. Wham! As you just like <laughs> slam this dude against the wall, and then you try and get him again, but the the orc manages to like barely hold back Ooh. your arm as as you are just like throttling this guy. Um, nice. Rena, get up. Um, just before I start doing things, hero point can be used like a reroll. Yes. Cool. God, I had Got it. Could I re -roll? Yes, you can reroll. Re -roll? I'll, I'll allow you to reroll. Okay. And you can you can keep going. Well, better. Yeah. No, it's better. It's an eleven. No. Yeah. Unfortunately not. Yeah. You got pretty high ACs. Um, I kind of look back and flick my wand up. And the rock newsy threw at the the blood orc slams and slams back into the orc again. <laughs> it's so again. petty. What are you casting? Uh, telekinetic projectile. That is so awesome. Um, so what and happens? I am um, up casting it by one. Oh, so nice! I, I You're up casting roll, the cantrip. Uh, I have to roll an attack. Oh, sweet! That's so cool. All right, you get your hero point if you uh, or you you can use your hero point if you if want to roll. Yeah. That's why. That's why I was asking. Mm -hmm. something like your that. target is cool. uh, is fifteen. Mm -hmm. Fifteen is your target. Mm -hmm. Pointed out, you don't need it. That's oh, a nice easy. plus easy. six. That definitely. is definitely 25. Yeah, definitely. That, that's, a that's a critical hit that's as a well. Critical hit. You don't need Good job, Rena. You don't need a corpse to cast summon undead in this game, it just makes it. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that, uh, but yeah. Yeah. I think does cool. Stick know that? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> 
16. Oh, 16 damage, good God. You, uh, yeah, you so, so uh, yeah, Beerbot, you, you, uh, it's like sticks, like, my friend's gonna kill you now. And then Beerbot just wham, just like, bah. But the, 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 the orc is like holding it up, like kind of pushes it back. And then all of a sudden, just this rock, just out of nowhere, just well, you, I hits the dude. Uh, or yeah, or yeah. What, what so. happens is like the rock like floats up like right next to the guy's head, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and, awesome. uh, he just breaks that guy's neck, uh, and he is dead. Ooh. Good job, Newsy. One. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ren. I, I sure showed him. <laughs> Thank you. Um. All right. Awesome. Anything else, Rena? Um. What's Rena's reaction to that? Nothing. I Absolutely think she, I think she nothing. wasn't looking. <laughs> well, no, she's the turn. Yeah, shoop, shoop. Yeah, it's like, all right. Okay. Stick that safe thing. All right. It's pretty cool that it did that. Yep. It worked out. Yeah, it worked exactly out. Exactly what she wanted it to. Uh, you go five and six. Cool. All right. It is now the rat's turns. The rats are still going to go for that zombie. You know, um, it's for it, the best How about this one? The, that one is going to go... I think it's gonna go after you, Rena. Okay. Um, go right here. Yeah, so it'll stride and then do two feet. bites against you, Rena. Okay. Um, wow, terrible. No. A natural no. one and a three. So uh, yeah, both so fail. yeah, <laughs> goes to bite you. It's like, <laughs> all right. Wait, you um, just skipped me. Uh, what? You skipped me. Oh yeah. Oh wait, There's who goes here? Right Newsy. Oh Newsy. Newsy. Sorry, the rats don't go yet. Newsy is just like. Yeah, fucking got him, guys! Oh my god, this is amazing! Um, <laughs> stick. <laughs> Sorry, Stick. Uh, no, you're fine. I need to write uh, the other things on the I'm back of this I'm going to write... I'm learning. Uh, right. I'm going oh, to yeah, no, yeah. cast... Um, is, that, is that guy in front of us? He's a baddie, right? Yes, yeah, the Dragonborn, yes. Uh, I'm going to cast Torturous Trauma on him. Oh! Uh, Go for it. And I'm going to As you do. do. I think it's a fortitude save. Yeah. It is. For the orc... Um, that is a 13. That is a fail. Oh my gosh, yeah. what is your spell save, DC? Uh, I think it's 17. Wow. Oh shit, that's awesome. So yeah, that's a, that's a fail uh, from the orc. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, I think it's five damage. Five damage. Yep. Owie, zowie. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Does not like that at all. Um, um, it's bones. How many actions does it cost to cast That's two. two. I don't think I'm going to do anything sick, else. Right? I'm just going to have the zombie. It's uh, the actual bone dice? Yep. Yes. Uh, that's also nice. what rolled the natural 20. Um, dice very so fitting. Cool. Um, and then the zombie's going to attack number seven. Okay. Nope. Yeah. No. Well, I was that's going to hit. All right. <laughs> um, it's a 16 plus um, seven. Yeah, definitely hits. Definitely hits. This is number seven. Yes. Um, Draco. Um, Would you have your thumbs to move the dice? Uh, that's yes. nine damage. Oh my gosh. So yeah, your zombie stomps that rat to death. Which one? Um, the seven. Uh, one more thing. thing. Let's see. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be bad. I gotta say, it's so fucking awesome that Pathfinder lets you be a necromancer. Like a real like rise necromancer <laughs> at, at level, level one. Yeah. Yeah. One. And a good necromancer. God yeah. Damn. And the, the zombie is pretty fucking powerful. It yeah. is. Yeah. He's, like, at, he's only at three hit points right now. So you know uh, well, he's, he's gonna better. probably die, but uh, he's killing for right. me. So uh, yeah, he's killed. So the rat moved, missed Rena twice. Um, okay. Could we move oh, that rat God. closer yeah. to Rena? Then uh, the other rat is gonna keep gnawing at the zombie. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, um, mm. The that is a shifter. A uh, 19 for the first one. That'll do, and it will probably kill the zombie. Of course, he makes this uh, Yeah, it yeah. does. Uh, you know, he 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 stomped his last rat. He yeah. the rat neat and like nibbles through the, the 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 foot, and it just like falls down and Ooh. bonks its head and dies. Marcy makes this noise when she is about to eat food that she really likes. She goes, mm. <laughs> like that yes. at that um, level. Amazing. Yeah. And then uh, that the rat is going to use its last action to stride towards Rena, but it can't attack. Um, so Rena is, uh, you know, got her Disney princess moment over here. Yep. She's as all these rats are coming and hanging out with her. Yep. Um, it is now there the shifters' turns. The shifters are dead. That, uh, that's Disney princess moment. 
Roy, I'm your kidding. go. Those are so cool. Um, yeah, um, those are awesome. Is it an action to to uh, drop my um, uh, crossbow? Um, I believe like readying and stowing a, like a weapon is an action. Um, yeah. Let me look. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, that's the thing. To drop a, you to drop, drop something. Uh, it, it would be an interact action, yeah? I think it would be an interact action, yeah. Grab an object, like open a door, draw an, an item, or do a similar action. So yeah, that, that would be an interact action. Well, what is oh. it? Okay. So um, is putting away your weapon Are you putting action? it away or are you dropping it? I was literally going to dr- oh. uh, drop it. I feel like that wouldn't be an action. Mm-hmm. Okay. Taking that. Uh, I'll, I'll let it not be in action. That's fine. It, it, I'll let it not be in action. So you can just drop it for free. I'll give it to you. Well, so I'm trying to think. I have one dagger and a rapier. I'm up high, but it's going to take me three turns to re- or three actions to reload my crossbow. Mm-hmm. But you could fall and stride and attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true, you could. You'd fall ten feet, um, so I think you'd take... 100 damage. No, it's not that much. <coughs> Falling damage is, uh, damage. You, you take bludgeoning damage equal to half the distance you fell, so you take five damage if you I fall. Know, I've already been, that was one of the things I looked at. What if Roy tries to jump on somebody? Um, if you, I, I believe <laughs> there's something rat, written actually. there if like somebody is arresting I, your fall. I, I kid you not, um, hang on. Jump on you have, The creature has to fall? make a save. Was um, looking for it. I could probably jump on this guy. Over. Here we go. Falling on a creature. If you land on a creature, that creature must attempt a DC 15 reflex save. Landing exactly on a creature after a long fall is almost impossible. Uh, if they if they if they critically succeed, they take no damage. If they succeed, they take bludgeoning damage equal to one quarter of the damage you took. If they fail, they take equal to half the damage you took. So they take the same falling damage you took. <laughs> or no. Uh, and if they critically fail, they take the same amount of bludgeoning damage that you take from the fall. Just Roy, so just you like still take down. the damage. <laughs> yeah. That's um, fun. You do have to stride and then jump. And take the damage. But But that's two actions. You could still attack with your third one. That's true. You could also kill him by dropping on him. Is he, like, hurt? He's looking pretty, yeah. I mean, he's he's wounded. He's not bloodied at this point. But, I mean, they don't have a lot of hit points. So here's what I guess... (laughs) um, (laughs) I guess Roy would drop the crossbow. Yep, it kind (laughs) of... On the, on the ground. It doesn't break, but, you know, just makes like a clattering noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, boss! Uh, so, Jump on, so, on three. You know, technically, technically, that orc is pretty tall. I would say you technically, I would say you technically fall five feet for that one, so it doesn't actually do you any damage, but it also, in turn, does not do that guy any damage, so you're just kind of, you just kind of land on this guy. Uh, I'll kidding. let you make an attack. It's only one. It's only one to go 10 feet, because you only went 10 feet, right? Your leap was 10 feet. I believe so. Then it's only one action. Okay. You got two more actions left. Stab him. Pull out, stab. Yeah, release. Yeah, I'll pull out a, um, release his interact release. with my uh, rapier and try and yeah. just run him through. Absolutely. Um, I am flanking with beer bot. Is flanking a thing in this? It probably is. Um, Jordan, is flanking a thing? Yeah, no, flanking is a thing. Flanking is a thing. Um, Because, I mean, if there's no other way to get Can you draw a straight line between you and Beerbot? Yes. Yes. Then uh, it is flat-footed. Nice. Wait, that's flat-footed too? Flanking uh, flanking gives a creature flat-footed. Which is is what it was. Um, Is what, five feet? Well, like, define flanking. Like, uh, well, if you can, you draw, can draw a straight, straight line, line between the yeah. two people who are on either side. Yeah. So if you were over here and I'm here, we're right. not flanking. But, but because think, you do your thing, I'll read it. It's me fine. here. Probably has to be a melee. Yeah, it's a That's, melee thing. Yeah. I was going to say, what about range? No, range doesn't count. <laughs> no. Oh, no, I, I can't do as much damage. 15. I can't kill people. Uh, that hits. That Yay! hits exactly the AC. I mean, with my D6. Mm-hmm. My D6 gun. Well, your D6 gun, the oh my D10 gun. 2-1? Oh, no. Snakey. Oh, oh, bummer. Two damage. Two damage? Two damage? All right. Huh? Oh, you, can. uh, you can't re-roll damage. Um, 
So two, all right, yeah, you land on him and you know, like you said, you probably thought, like Roy was like, all right, this is gonna do, I was like, oh, this guy's tall. Uh, it's, like, it's like, hey, how's it going? Um, hey, now you're eye to eye with Beerbot. Uh, so I would say- You don't have a bonus damage due to your- Nope. Nope. Range uh, weapon. Uh, Only Pathfinder, melee weapons. De uh, dexterity, you just you just is the rapier my, let me uh, uh, let me uh, address you to my ten strength. Uh, oh, dex weapons don't gain a bonus. To... No. You use your you use your strength uh, your strength bonus no matter what. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even spells. Even All right. Uh, so the, I mean, the, it's the okay, it's the well, orc's turn. The orc is gonna. Um, I mean, I, I'd say after you land, you kind of uh, you kind of then fall to the ground. Like you're not like on top of this guy anymore. No, this yeah. orc is just gonna is just gonna look around and He's say, to break you know ball. what? I'm getting out of here too. <laughs> 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 this is gonna stride down the the manhole. Just gonna jump down gone. and take the damage. Um, so those guys are gone. It's just the rats just left jump now. Down, take the damage um, and die. <laughs> imagine. No, no. He, he, he had a, he had eight hit points left. Uh, he'll he'll take it. Um, oh, he didn't fall. 30 feet. <laughs> no, you didn't fall 30 feet into the sewers. Um, all right. Uh, Azarephus. Um, There's some rats. Yeah. Some rats. Uh, uh, Rena is being cornered by rats. Try, try hide again. Okay. The rats can okay. smell you. I shoot. You are, you are hidden. Yeah! <laughs> you rolled a 19 this time. Um, all right, cool. I'm going to shoot rat number nine. Okay. Uh, that is a... Uh, a. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry. 21. 21 hits. Okay, so um, that's uh, uh, my hand cannon again. Why? Um, what are they called? Are these called wand, wands? Arcane fire. Arcane fire or, or in Eberron. In Eberron. <laughs> <Eberons. laughs> like, like, Eberron. Yeah. In, Eber in Eberron, they're called wands Eberons. or arcane fire. Arms. 10 damage. Oh, you blast that rat. It's gone. And then I'm going to fall suit. I'm going to fall suit with Roy. I'm going to land on this other rat. And claw it? Oh no! Just to, or you're just cool gonna jump shit. on the rat. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna land on nine, it. Uh, nine, and then I'm gonna look down and just like step, and then uh, okay. just land on this rat. Uh, so you're falling ten feet. Yeah. So it needs to make a reflex save then. I think um, he kind of like waits, and they're running after Rena, and then he stands up at the top, <laughs> and he kind of like points down, and he <laughs> he fires at one. one. Oh my oh. god! And then he looks forward, and then he just takes a step, so and he you just take, lands you take on it. Five damage. Yeah. Um, it also the it rat takes critically failed, so it takes the Ten? same amount of damage oh. as you. Okay. Uh, I believe is how that works. Yes. Um, let me go back. <laughs> yeah. So it takes the same amount of bludgeoning damage as you, which kills the rat. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Mar Super okay. Mario stomp that rat. <laughs> I, it's, um, more, it's more like he takes a step, and then yeah. it's like the foot like uh, just comes down, and he like um, he almost like uh, on the back of the spine, like upwards, and then to the front of its head, and just like just steps just, downwards. Yeah, just And crunch. then he he's forward, and he looks over at Ren, and he's like, <laughs> and, he, and uh, right. puts his gun away. Well, and <laughs> thanks. I'm yeah. taking That's another gross. five. We are out of initiative. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Severin from uh, we're fucking uh, in the, the heights of Sharn. Yeah. Who the fuck is Newsy? Uh, <laughs> I think he's this man over here. The Newsy, uh, the uh, kind of limps forward, and he says, "Oh, that, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness, you, uh, you guys, man, I'm so glad you showed up when you did. I was in a real rough way there." Yeah. Uh, and, and, and you can Newsy, see, and, and you, you fucking read us out. Huh? Oh, somebody knows that we did a job, no, Newsy, and there's no, only no, so many people no, that know that. No, 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 Zerfus, Zerfus, Zerfus. I, I didn't say shit. All right. I mean, I mean, I told them that that I that it's I knew about the job. Pretty convenient. We found you here, and they found you here, and this has been. Well, I don't know on. where these fucking guys came from. They crawled out of the sewers like there was some kind of monsters. I, I, I don't and know. They attacked you, a journalist. I, I don't know who these who guys actually, are. I, who those monsters are gonna start looking at bodies. Yeah. Um, Roy, roll knowledge of underworld or lore I guess of underworld. You're right, they aren't steel skins. I think he just was in the wrong uh, places. The wrong I did get really? jumped. I did get jumped by the steel skins so earlier, though. You. What? Uh, yeah, Newsy is like beat to shit as well. Um, so these guys didn't do that. No, uh. they, I, I I was hiding here from the steel skins, and and the, and then these guys just kind of crawled out of the sewers, and they were they was gonna eat me. I think I don't I don't know. Okay. Um, Newsy, uh, <laughs> for the <coughs> folks at home. Is a uh, is an old is like an like a kind of like a, is like early fifties like beggar character who uh, has just wears these like tattered clothes. He has this big like bushy beard and this bald head that he wears like a newsy cap on. Um, oh, but his cap isn't isn't on him. He doesn't have his cap. It's not really cap. him. What'd you roll in your lore? I rolled an eight. 
Um, you don't know who these guys are. You know that there are a bunch of tribes and 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 like and things in the sewers that like make a living down there. <clears throat> Might be one of them. As to which one they are, you're not super sure. Uh, can I? I mean, I mean, I, I don't know if there's a whole lot worth taking on these people. Maybe a few copper pieces. I'd say like maybe you go around and you find like ten copper. Uh, um, all right, he'll then oh, run up and right. grab his crossbow. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Newsy said, I, 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 I swear, you know, they jumped me and they, they were telling, they were screaming at me, you know, they wanted me to know how I learned about the job and, like, if I, if I told anybody and I, I didn't say that I told you guys, they, they were, they was beating the shit out of me, and then, uh, and then some, some, some folks from Dask showed up and I, I, you know, kind of distracted them. I got out when I could, but, but, uh, and then I, I ended up here and, and, and then those guys showed up and, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's rough. They, okay. Roy boy, they, Roy boy, they took my hat, they took uh. my journalist hat. Steel, the steel skins, they have it. Well, then it looks like he got beat up after the lead did it, so. That's true. Newsy, uh, you got a place to lie low. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you told me I'm not allowed to go to your place anymore, uh, so, uh, I, I mean, I could go somewhere else. I, I, I don't know, I could, uh, I could go to the general, uh, you know, and uh, hang, hang out with them. Uh, you know, it's safe there. The general? Uh, it's a statue, you know. A lot of homeless hang out there. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> Look, find a safe place. We're on it. Uh, but, yeah, if you know anything about the job that you know about, uh, the streets are no longer safe for you. No, yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the, the heck out of here, Roy Boy. I, I tell you what. But, hey, those guys, those guys that jumped me, they, they ain't too far from here. Okay. They're just, they're just, just, just down that way. I, I just booked it down the alleyway. You know, Dask showed up and they, I, I think, had like a bit of a standoff, but I, I don't really know what happened after standoff that. Standoff with the steel skins. Yeah. Or, or something, I don't know. They, All right. But, Let's but they, but they was down that way. All if right. they're still looking at their wounds, then this might be a good opportunity for yeah. us. Anyone down. need, uh, anyone need some help? Uh, Roy reach into one of his pouches and pull out one of those healing bottles. No, you should mm -hmm. save it for yourself. I got hit, that's on me. He takes out his healing potion, I'll drink it. All right, uh, you gain 1d8 hit points. That's very nice. <gasps> All right. That ra the rat damage. The yeah. rat damage. <laughs> <laughs> you heal yeah, stack damage. That's interesting magic that came from your gun. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, what? Where'd you learn that? Oh. I didn't. How did you do that? I just did. It's just something that your gun does or something you do? All right, I'll ask again later. <laughs> Try again later. Yes. Um, uh, as like as uh, as you know, Newsy is is <laughs> getting ready to like head out and kind of limp away. Um, <laughs> Kalana comes around the corner <laughs> with the cart, and she's like, "Oh shit!" Uh, so are we? Are we still going to Crooked Cat? Or? <clears throat> yep. I pick up a rat and I go, "Hungry?" Uh, not really. Not okay. at the moment. I ate lizard. Or <laughs> <laughs> I look around and I wait. And I'm like, I'm not actually gonna eat it. I just want to see if you guys. No, you should. Place. You should actually. Actually, should. toss them in the back. Toss oh. them in the back of the car. Yeah, take a bite. that's good mm -hmm. eating. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, it tastes like shit. Yeah, it does not taste. But you know what? It's kind of better than Blinkies. Stay there. We gotta check something out. You want some? No. Uh, all right. Well, seeing as you just uh, killed everything uh, in this alleyway, I think this might be. Oh wait, that's the news. Like a voice string. A little bit. Like, yeah. Well, seeing as you killed everything in this alley, I uh, guess this might be the safest place. Well, after all. I'll just uh, hold yeah. tight. That's good. You want to hang Something out with the dead wrong. bodies? Yeah. Nope. I'll just uh, I'll just hang out with the uh, the crazy guy. Hey, Newsy. <laughs> Does everybody know who Newsy is? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, Newsy's like. Uh, By the way, did you hear that they invented airships? Crazy. Yeah, it's a brave new fucking world. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, as you all uh, as you all walk down the alleyway, loaded for bear, ready to hunt down some steel skins. That is where we're going to end yeah. tonight's episode of Emerald oh, City of Towers. It was amazing, Jack. Oh, it was amazing. thank you, thank great you so job, much. Great job, great job. You guys, you guys job. were amazing Everybody as well. God, so what good. a what a wonderful opener. I I was Scott. I admit I was super nervous, but you know, you guys. As soon as we did like the intros, I was like. Dude, we're fine. Well, we're I don't know. This I guess it's therapeutic for us to play some let's play play uh, some <laughs> horrible more, people. Yeah, horrible people. But yeah. it's oh, fight fun. some rats. I'm so excited. Yeah. This uh, game no. is so fun. I'm sorry. These two are not on that bandwagon. No. <laughs> what bandwagon? I, I'm on the, the horrible people bandwagon. <laughs> here. Yeah. I just want to say I think they killed more than we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, did they you see that orc? But you I literally like, didn't have a skull anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, shades of gray, baby. Shades of gray. It's Everon. Let's give people. I didn't kill anyone. 
Good job, Stick. Mm -hmm. You just gave people You're drugs. True. If anything, mm -hmm. I you did the opposite. Yeah. Horrible yeah, you, you, people. And you healed the... Uh, and you healed, just uh, kind of along uh, for the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Give a shit. I'm not sure about Severin yet. I feel like Severin just may, uh, may, 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 just may be Severin. a victim. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Severin is my favorite, like, character. Wow, yeah. I'm already playing favorites. I have, I have uh, the Some little, little like, tin shot we did or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. When yeah. Marcy was born? When, yeah, yeah when baby, when baby yeah. Balrog's Eberron Boogaloo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. <laughs> no, that, 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 uh, yeah, that was when Severin was born and when Severin, uh, was <laughs> Severin was born too. Severin was born too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh my God, Severin and Marcy are twins. Oh. That's so sweet. He's a uh, thanks everybody joining for tonight's game. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, we're going to be playing some Fallout tomorrow. So yep. join us for that. And then we'll see you guys next week with more Strixhaven um, with a pre recorded Witch Light. And then two weeks from now, more Eberron. More Eberron. I'm so excited. Oh. I can't wait. We're, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks everybody for joining. And that is the end of the stream. Woo! That's just finally complete. Yes. Back to regular. We're back to regular. Uh huh. Kind of. Kind of. Is this yeah, the part of. is this the part where we're live for 15 seconds? Oh yeah. Realize? Okay, bye.